All right. Let me let me uh, see if you can hear me. Hello, Siphonia, Mothman, Split, and Rick James, Kyer, Penguin, Illrath, Zarabax, Blame Resistant, Pirate Idealist, Mango Fett, Salison, Ganso, Literal Trash, Seamus, Trinus, Evolved, Skiwi, Rogue Bear, Not Ethan, Flame Resistant, 108, Mr. Chocho, Shea Shine, Rutari, Empty Perspective, Armpit, Brisby, What's What's cracking, dogs? Hello, Commando Walrus the Ninth, Western B Music, Salty Marcaroni, Microtonal Matt, Aetherius, uh, Daisy says hello too. Hello, Sir Claude. My back? What about your back, bro? You need me to pop it for you? Hello, Jess Long. Stream time? I found out today there's apparently a set of emotes that people were posting in the pre stream chat with the prefix gay freak. So there's, like, gay freak sit. And I don't know, dude. Is that some weird shit? Hello, Charizard, Augmented, Sozoi. The gay freak emotes. Hello, Mooksy. So, yeah, again, so Kaizo's posting them. Uh, what is this one? Gay freak dogs. Oh, it's a foot emote. Okay. What's going on, Royland? Arrow always. There's some weird places on this website, that's for fucking sure. Hello, hey specs, Ryu Sensei. Now me, however, I'm not weird and my stream's not weird and we don't play weird games. We're normal, we're well adjusted, and we're gonna be playing some normal, well adjusted video games. Hello, Midnight Note, Bruce Iron Staunch, I ate a whole stuffed crust pizza made with burn hot buffalo sauce. Nice. That sounds awesome. Hello, most creative name. Uh, me too. So maybe maybe class of 09 will lift our spirits. Uh, thank you, Sendar, for the 39-month resub. I appreciate it. Hello, Joel Jutsu, Odaka. A tall bird. Nothing odd. I've been hyped for the sequel since the first one. Well, I hope this sequel is good and not dog shit. <laughs> it, would, it would be kind of a boner killer if it ended up being uh, just boring. Hello, Imperi. Oh, man. Just got home and realized I accidentally grabbed barbecue Fritos instead of black bag Cheetos. That's a fucking... Like, I don't know how you mix those two up. That's... To me, that's like mixing me and Caroni up. <laughs> how the fuck does that happen, dude? Hello, most average. Kiyabusa. West Gray Fox. Barbecue Fritos are bomb as hell, though. Not really, like, sometimes I like regular Fritos if I'm, like, hungover or drinking. But I'm not really big on Fritos. Hello, Drowning Skies, Pokal Lumen, uh, Clay underscore Young, Lunar Chaos, 1780, how could it be bad with Kyler in it? I don't know. I don't know how many characters are going to return. Hello, Cifferoni, Cody Spear, Jono the Red, the Beans, thank you for the 18-month resub, Beans, I appreciate it. Hello, Bach186, is Kyler not dead? I don't know which one would be the canon ending. Hello, Duckworth. Italian Duke. There's no way Kyler's really dead. I hope not. Hello, Nacho Man. Golden Plato. Pop it at Dan PMK. Rewatch the first class of 09 stream for this. Yeah, you wouldn't. You need to have a full understanding of the lore in order to really understand and comprehend what's going on, for sure. Hello, Venom Gauss. I want to see what happens in this very anticipated sequel. Maybe they'll be, maybe they'll be bring everyone back like scary movie too. Betting on an abortion ending for this one. You think so? What the fuck? You're gonna hear some weird noises coming from my my downstairs. I guess Autumn and, and her siblings are making a uh, an isopod containment unit for the rats. I don't know what the fuck it is. I thank you, Jack Hammer, for the 51-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hey, Tolomeo, can you sing a song for my friends Beanie and Misa Coco? It's their birthday today. I'll think about it. I thank you, Zamonica, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Beanie. K. 
Casriel, Misa Coco, and anyone else who has a birthday today, yesterday, or tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. What's going on, Matoko? Ah. Daisy's singing too. Yeah, Daisy, whenever Daisy's playing with the other dog, she has to make Sasquatch noises the entire time. It's it's interesting. Hello, Little Miss Pink. Are they going to be able to top the white supremacist to school shooter endings, though? I'm I'm not sure. Hello, Valkyrie. Sorry, I have like a, a, a million Diet Coke cans on my desk. I can barely move anything on my desk without triggering a chain reaction of Diet Coke cans. So, I hope you can forgive me. Wait, Tolomeo is the craw me daddy guy you? Of course. Who else would you craw daddy, Frozen? Come on. Hello, Colonel Martyr. There's going to be a furry ending then? I sure fucking hope not. I feel like every game has like a furry thing going on now. You're white? Yeah, what the fuck else would I be, dude? I sound white. I always knew your fursona was a rat. I'm like the whitest sounding person in the entire world. Hello, crap time. How are you, dude? Oh, man. I have this cherry lemonade slushy from Sonic, and I have to suck to get that shit out, dude. It's like frozen solid. What does sound white even mean? It's like, it's me, you know? Elaborate, please, about every game being furry these days. Uh, it feels like every game has furry shit. Like, Fear and Hunger 2, like, leaned even further into the Sergal shit, for example. Uh, Alessa, last night, had specifically had a furry ending. Um, it just seems like it keeps cropping up in unexpected places. <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. How do you feel about Twitter changing to X? That's not really happening, is it? What's going on, Dracula? Lock on. You say that, but don't people... Nobody has said that in a long-ass time. Hello, Justin Gamer John. It is. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think so. Hello, Dampy. I think it's a publicity stunt. I'm still calling it Twitter. Yeah, literally everyone else will, too, if it happens. It's, uh... I don't know. That would... That would... Yeah, that sounds really fucking stupid. What's wrong with furry shit? Um, a lot of it appears to me to be obvious pandering. I personally don't particularly like being pandered to. Um, and I also don't like playing things where furries are being pandered to because it makes it makes me feel like they're trying to pander to me. Like, they, like I'm a furry. And I don't want to be a furry. Hello, Croaxu. It sounds really dumb. Do you think Texas will ever get better? No. If you're not a furry, I don't see how it matters. Can you pander to D's? No. The furries are loaded, though. Who cares? I have bad news. AI made me ejaculate. It's over. I give up. The machines won. Nothing at all has changed for you, JFC. Hello, I like to paint. Thank you, Master Twin, for the 41 months. How have you been, dude? What's up? If I told you I was going to move to Texas, what would you say? I hope you like the heat. You're a furry by now with all these games you played? Probably. probably. Yeah. Yeah, I... I, I it's going to be hard to beat those allegations. JFC straight up gooning in the goon cave. What's a good thing you can say about Texas? The food's real good. Um... Yeah, that's about it. Hello, Scully Sully. Beating the odds. Tolo is getting indoctrinated into becoming a furry. I mean, just look at the screen. He's already got the rat mask. No income tax? Well, they get you on property tax, though. They fucking own your ass on property tax. And isn't sales tax also extremely fucking high compared to other states as well? Like, the government gets their pound of flesh one way or another. Um, you get fucked by taxes somehow, some way, unless you're making gorillions of dollars. Thank you, Dragon Gayer, for the 38-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. What's Texas state at sales tax? I fucking know off the top of my cock. Thought Texas didn't have property taxes. No, no, Texas has some of the highest property taxes in the nation. 
Texas has sales taxes? Yes. Um, the thing that Texas specifically does not have is a state income tax. You don't have to do a tax return for, for Texas or the state of Texas, rather. It's just federal. Don't they also have horrible roads? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. Y'all think we don't pay taxes? I wish we didn't have property tax. That'd be cool. I thank you, Artemis, for the 43-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Don't do state or local income taxes, which do be nice. Oh, wow. It's a dog storm out there. Which is actually really just considering that you get, like, nothing in return. Okay, okay. All right. Another good thing about Texas. I'm, I'm a... I don't know if the law has changed in recent years, but I'm pretty sure they're not allowed to take your house over medical debt here. Like, you cannot... You cannot have, like, a heart attack and go to the ER and get put so far into debt that they can possess your house. I, I believe that's illegal in Texas. Hello, Schrodinger's hamster. So that that's nice, right? <laughs> Got a lot of good things here. Good th oh, no. It's it's definitely more bad than good, for sure. But someone asked me what, what good things were about Texas, and I'm trying to think. Um, HEB is pretty cool. I like HEB. Don't ever fucking go there, but it's cool. Bucky's is all right. Don't have to worry about speed bumps when you have to drive five miles per hour because the potholes will kill your car. HEB is based. Hello, Mr. White. Whataburger is pretty good. Yeah, well, I said food. I think, I think Whataburger falls under the umbrella of food. If I could vacation in America, it would be pretty cool to go somewhere rural with cool nature stuff to see I'd hate hanging around the urban centers. Are the cities cool in Texas like Austin or Dallas? Not really. <laughs> Not, I don't I don't I don't really think there's anything special, but uh, that's just like my opinion, man. Thank you, Hinze, for the sixty three month resub. I appreciate it. Maybe it's just because I'm too familiar with, with Texas that nothing about it seems very impressive to me. Um, <laughs> Seth. Texarkana is very cool. We have... Uh, I mean, we, we, have, uh, we have Bobcats. I want to taste American fast food. San Antonio has some epic strip malls. So I'm going to say this. I feel like if strip malls are in the top 10 most interesting things in any given city, the city blows ass. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know, dude. Uh, I, I don't I don't see that as a as a particularly big appeal personally. I think I'd rather go to Ohio or wherever the fuck it was that had the corn henge. That sounds about a hundred times more interesting than going to like a, an especially nice Morphe or Sephora or whatever the fuck. Hello, Just a Robot Mom. How are you? Tower of the Americas, Alamo. The strip mall we have is fucking dead. It has nothing in it and mostly people just walk around in it. Gotta go find a corn pit. The bar really is that low, huh? Hello, Honey Punk. Only time I've ever summoned my Karen stand was over a pothole. I literally measured that shit because it bent the fuck out of my rim and it's 14 inches deep. God damn. 14 inches deep. Would you go to the Mall of America? I guess so. Uh, I wouldn't go out of my way to go there, but if I was just around, I'd, I don't see why not. I'd rather go to the, the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid, though. I think the... I think the pyramid would be worth a trip. Fast food where I live is McDonald's and Burger King. Does Mall of America have a Lego store? Probably. Hello, CN. I'm always scared to go to the U.S. because my car is super slow and you Americans drive like maniacs. I'm guilty of driving like a maniac. I'm sorry. Mall of America has an aquarium. I mean, we have a mall that has an aquarium here, too. It's the Sea Life Aquarium, right? The Sea Life Aquarium. We have one here in... Uh, Grapevine, I believe. It does have a huge Lego store. 
We have a lot of malls in Dallas. It's kind of fucking annoying. We have a koi pond here. Mall of America's fun for a day, but you're better off going to, like, a baseball game. I've never been to a, a sports ball game in my entire life. I, I'll probably die without ever having gone. The only appeal to me would be to get, like, hot dogs or something, but they're, like, $15 each or some crazy shit there because you're a captive audience, right? Live near Lake Lanier. It's cursed, and people are always dying there. If you drive like a maniac, then you should drive a maniac car. Can you, anyone give me a rundown of the last two months of Tolomeo lore? Um, I mean, basically nothing at all has happened except on Sundays we play, not this Sunday because we're doing something different tonight, but we have bingo now for, for itch.io indie games. We went to, I guess we did go to Bronyland and we interviewed a brony creature. Um... What I don't think really anything else has happened. Uh, that's about it. We banned another weird sex offender who was like DMing all the women mods. So uh, hopefully Shub has company now. Don't forget the cat attack on your yeah. That's right. Uh, I I was gaming, and my cat Zeus came in, and he was making biscuits on my lap, and his he got the tip of my cock and then like jumped, and ripped to the tip of my cock open. So, I guess it's been a pretty eventful month or two, actually. Uh, you know, maybe maybe it's been more eventful than I've thought. Uh, we played Class of 09, which was probably the funniest stream I've ever done. Confirm for being a Texan, not enjoying hand egg ball. I don't like sports. Is it infected? No, don't worry. It's not going to fall off or anything. It's fine. It's healed. It was like a week or two ago. Restore your foreskin armor someday. A second pistol. What What else has happened? Um. Oh. 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 Hold on. I know. I know something that's happened. No, not this. Get this off. Hold up. Get ready. What's up, Tolomeo? Boogie 298 coming at you live as we get to the power of the internet. And as a bonus, my friend. Keep me on the internet who I am. Keep kid behind the camera is here today. And we wanted to wish you a happy birthday uh, from me, from Michael, and from Chad. Now, I understand that you're turning 31 and you're going to spend the whole day streaming obscure video games, which is great. Find your niche. Drinking Diet Coke and eating Whataburger. Listen, if you're, if you're eating Whataburger... Yeah, just get the regular Coke, man. That's, right? that's to extra it's, calories. It's, it doesn't matter. It just get the regular like, Coke. Diet that Coke point. is just as good I also want to say happy exists. birthday to Mesa Coco. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. And I also heard, by the way, heard you're working on your teeth. I got to tell you, I hope your smile looks better than mine. I like mine, but I hope you like Mesa yours too. Coco. Happy birthday Mesa to Coco. you. Happy birthday to you! Yeah, yeah. Happy Mrs. birthday, Mrs. Mrs. Yeah, 172 Tom years old now. Happy birthday so, to that's cool. you! Thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I will right, speak that's with you again. enough from this freak. We don't need to see that ever again. That's the last time I'm ever showing that. Oh, better than the CWC shout out, Tolo. You're so lucky to get this. Am I? I don't think I am. I think you're lying to me. A thank you splitting for the 10 gift subs. Thank you for gifting us up to Digital Pizza Man, Hunter Art, Kyer, Lawlet88, Severin, Grizzly Adams, Cannon Fang, Underscore, Jerg, Bop War, Bub, and Yabis0202. Thanks, dog. Here for the normal wholesome stream where nothing weird happens. Yeah, you're in the right place. I greatly dislike how cracked and green his tongue is. I didn't even, I didn't even notice that. I'm not trying to look at Boogie's tongue. I looked into a Caroni shout out, but it was like 30 times. No, please. No, I don't want any more weird people on the internet saying shit to me. Unless they're going to come into my chat and say it to me personally. Will you be seeing the Barbie movie? Yes, eventually. One of these days. I think the cherry on top is 
to know that this was shot in his car. At least it wasn't shot in a school zone. Am I right? Empty perspective? <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you, Kid Pro Quo, for gifting a sub to Cody Spear. Lutarius, DJ Frostbite, Lutari998. Very, very good. Not me, Sky High Sun, Hawk of Yore, Joshua, District Attorney, and Freaking Gamer. Uh, bro, set you up for that one? Yeah, fucking bada bing. What if I paid Tony Hawk to shit talk you? That would probably hurt my feelings a little bit. I'd be like, wow, someone paid money to try to ruin my day. Cool. Their implants? Yeah, yeah, they sure are. Yeah. <laughs> the retirement stream is you going into a school and getting into a fist fight with a child. I don't think Tony Hawk would say mean stuff. Cold ones tried to get him to, and he didn't do it. Tony Hawk, from everything I've heard, seems like a very nice person. Tony Hawk seems really cool. Um, I haven't heard very many bad things about that man. Now, I'm not going out of my way to study all of the in-depth Tony Hawk lore, but that's someone I've never heard a bad word about. Which, I don't know. Maybe he's secretly a sex offender. His implants on his, on his teeth. He got all of his teeth pulled and paid... Uh, I think he got the implants for free or something because he told, like... I don't know how true this is, but I recall he made, like, a deal with some dentist or something to, like, shout them out on his YouTube or something. <laughs> Which honestly sounds like nonsense because implants are unbelievably expensive. There's no way that would be worth it. Uh, they're, like, $3,000 a tooth. There's no fucking way. That that was a worthwhile transaction if that actually happened. But he said something along those lines. I don't remember specifically. But he did he did get all of his all of his teeth uh, removed and had has a full mouth of implants. So every pro skater seems to love him. Usually those kind of guys screw over everyone else in the sport when they do stuff like that. My birthday is on Tuesday. Can I get a birthday song? Okay. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to your heated milk wang and Misa Coco on a Tuesday. Happy birthday to you. Heavy stone crab, why are you posting the eating cat emoji? She got a mouthful of new teeth. Do you even need to go to the dentist ever again? I don't know. I imagine they would be considerably more durable than the natural teeth. But I'm I'm sure you can fuck them over and like break them and ruin them somehow. In high school, a classmate did a crazy skate trick to end up airing on Good Morning America. Then he got to meet Tony Hawk in California. Nice. Just looked up. Yeah, I'm not lying. They're like three, four thousand dollars a tooth. I fit, like the last time I checked. So, full replacements are really durable. Bridges are super nasty. Will there be gnomes in this game as well? I don't know. We'll have to see. We will have to. We will have to take a gander here in a bit. Yeah, dental shit is unbelievably expensive. It's really, really, really pricey. If you could, what material would you like your teeth to be made of? Well, I already have a gold one. Um, but if I could pick any material... Aerogel. That would be cool. For like a, a day. Aerogel for sure. Ugh. Probably jump off of a bridge after the cool day was over, but <laughs> getting my wisdoms out later today gonna cost me two cakes. I don't have insurance. It's not too bad for four teeth. Um, four fake teeth in the top front. One of every rock, like it's the title of a Pokemon game. Been to the dentist since I was a kid. I'm so scared because I know they're gonna want to do 50 procedures. Hello, empty chair, Vanta black teeth. That would be cool. Well. Maybe it wouldn't. Maybe I could get, like, fucked up shark teeth. Like, that one dude who's gonna blow up and act like he don't know nobody. You know? 
Medical in general is expensive when you get a sleep study done because I think I may have sleep apnea and a doctor. I have a doctor see me about getting partial disability because of the car wreck, but I have no insurance. So she, yeah, yeah, it's a nightmare. It's fucking ridiculous. I would enjoy the texture of waxed wooden teeth, TBH. Good old George Washington, huh? You want a diamond tooth? You want a grill? All right. I think all gold would be kind of cool. Since Boogie has a mouth of fake teeth, is he a cyborg? He did get chromed. When did they chrome Boogie? Is he like Metal Mario now? What the fuck do you mean? When did Boogie get chromed? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? What's going on, gum jar? <laughs> I hope not, dude. Chrome is his niche. Metal Mario music, though. Boogie becoming the Silver Surfer. 2988, gonna get a Mega Buster installed and fire off Warning Blast. Do you think someone's pawned off their gold tooth? Yeah, for sure. Time for the best video game ever. Are you excited? <sighs> I'm apprehensive. I, apprehensive is how I would describe my current emotional state. I'm scared. I imagine Bowser SM64 music plays when Boogie walks up. I actually had uh, literally five minutes before I started the stream. I was fed a foreign substance called mochi. Never had this shit in my life. I'm sure most of you probably know what it is. like Japanese ice cream or something. Like cookies and cream mochi. I hated it. I I did not like it. It was it was like marshmallow, like frozen weird gooey marshmallow. <laughs> I didn't like like it tasted fine, but I didn't like the way it felt. It was not what I was expecting. It's like marshmallow ice cream, the fuck? Yeah. That's the point, so I don't like marshmallows. I don't like marshmallows. I'm not a marshmallow head. Unless it's like the Lucky Charms marshmallows. Like the dehydrated ones. Ice cream ones are kind of hit or miss. Like regular mochi. Also, speaking of mochi. Brother-in-law, 14-year-old, got green tea pocky. Do, do you know who fucking loves green tea pocky now? It's Sif. Sif went crazy for this shit. I don't know why, but Sif fucking loves like the like the the the, the green tea mocha fucking pocky bullshit. So he he would give me he would give me a stick and I'd just give the entire thing to Sif and I'd be like, hey, give me another and I give it all to Sif, but I did it like four times. So you know. Doing good. Uh, thank you, Wes Gray Fox, for gifting a sub to Schro Schrodinger's Hamster. I appreciate it. Fuck. I'm pissed because I was supposed to go to a horror movie convention this weekend. Me, Bruce Campbell, but the people running it and fumbled didn't post publicly. They're sold out and also want to charge tickets for limited autograph availability of Bruce's panel. Damn. That fucking sucks, dude. There is no chocolate in it, Rutari. That sucks, MCK. Green tea poops. Weeb dog? I mean, yeah. I think... I think if she could, Sif would Naruto run for sure. 110%. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. I want to charge you for entry and limited chance of an autograph? Well, welcome to the future where people have developed algorithms to determine exactly how much a consumer will pay to get something. So everything is priced to be just on the edge of being too expensive for you. Uh it's it's all it's all part of the design. I thank you, Big Boss TPD, for the five year e sub. I appreciate it. Can I get an AI generated video of Sif Naruto running? I don't think so. I don't know anything about the AI. Thanks for the resub, dog. These prices have been you think I'm joking, dude, but I'm serious, dude. I thank you, Lave, for the fifteen month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. It's getting even worse now that now that all the corporations in America are trying to like, uh, oh, inflation, but it's actually just they want more profits, so they're seeing how much they can get away with to find the sweet spot. 
Sif's dad builds Gundams. What do y'all expect? We're all moving to Brazil. You win? Yeah, I'll move to Brazil. Why not? Pricing a product at $59.99 instead of putting it at $60 pisses me off. Well, I don't think that's ever going away. Our prices are scientifically proven to keep you poor. Corporate gouging is putting the world into recession. What's in Brazil? I think I think Chovi, Pamiram, and Third World Weber in Brazil. Uh, hello, Stray but not lost. They're, they're kind of cool, I guess. Well, well, Chovi is Third World Weber is. I don't know about Pamiram, but yeah. Jesus in Brazil. Yeah, the statue, right? Neymar Jr. is in Brazil. I don't know who that is. That's a cool name, though. It's like how the D&D books have gone up by $10. Wasn't there some scandal with Wizards of the Coast price gouging magic people not too long ago? I don't recall exactly what it was. I wonder how to call you a pinchy gringo in Portuguese. Why would you do that, Visku? Started playing OSRS last year, and I understand now why you like idle games. Hello, ABC. TOS updated, and they want to squeeze people for money. More than a few scandals from Wizards of the Coast, honestly. They lost so many sales. They want to charge people for doing custom campaigns. They're trying to edge the standard price of games up from $60 to $70 now. Yeah, that's been happening a while. That's another reason to play indie games, you know? Fear and hunger is like 10 bucks. Just saying. Lease is like 10 bucks. You know, there's, there's, there's so many just amazing fucking games out there. Some of them being pretty long ones, too, that you can get for, like, a pittance. They also called the Pinkertons to take back a card they gave away. Oh. I think they just came out with the Lisa Definitive Edition, too. Kind of pulled a Reddit. Oh, you make this much? We now get this much. If they're doing more than trying, Fatman, if those goddamn freaks make video more expensive, I'm going to put my pirate hat on, I swear. Crystal Project is $10 and literally my... Yeah, yeah, exactly. My game of the year, uh, last year, a year that had Elden Ring, was an indie game called Crystal Project. So, Dread Delusion and Cruelty Squad give you more enjoyment than every $80 from the last two years. The Pinkertons, the same bad guys from Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know. Never played Red Dead. Otter in the back. Yeah, she's, she's qualering at the dogs right now. Companies really do send the fucking Pinkertons on your ass. Now, yeah, welcome welcome to the oligarchy, brother. <laughs> fucking. Uh, that Lisa was a funny haha -ha game. No, dude, that game's very, very sad. Start out Crystal Project, and I got jabbed by that tentacle boss in the basement. Pinkertons are the, from the bad guys from real life and murdering unit unions. Pinkertons were glorified gangsters hired by the government. They also turn into the police later on. I knew some Pinkertons in church who I don't think they were mercenaries, but I don't know now. Trepang 2 was an indie shooter that was absolutely... I've been meaning to play that Zorch game, too. It looks like a Turok uh, FPS kind of deal. It looks really good. Lisa's a phenomenal game that keeps... Speaking of Jimmy and indie games that are really good, uh, Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass is a really great JRPG that's like 50 hours long. So, ancient time of anti-union shit, yeah. Yeah. Supposedly VPNs and using public Wi-Fi makes it safe. Zorch, yeah. Oh, man. Almost done with my slushie. A private detective agency, but they're most famous for violent union busting. The music in Jimmy and the Pulse City Mass is so good on tier with Mother 3. I still remember the, the one song where it's like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that sound is you sharding? No, I got, I got it. Sorry, I guess that's fucking. Damn, nah, no farting here. It's one funky cripple. Hell yeah, dude. No ableism here. We support the wheelchairs. Hello, Misa. Can I have a sip? No, I don't think you you want it. When did you guys have your daily sharton day? I don't. I don't think uh, I don't think people actually shard. I think it's a psyop. At a VPN years ago, that was free and a proxy server I would use, but those services went under. I can't seem to find. So the only VPN I've ever used is Mudfish to play Frontier. I can't be fucked with the VPN stuff. I sharded when I was in third grade. I must be like the world champion of not having shit my pants as an adult. 
<laughs> like, I wonder how long I can keep the streak running. Shitting yourself is not sharding. Isn't a shart like a wet fart that spews out shit? What do you mean? I would say that counts, personally. So if you fart and there's doo-doo stains on your fucking undies, I think that... I, I'm gonna say, I think that counts as shitting yourself. Obviously, it's not like you had a full-on, like, fucking diarrhea blast in your in your skivvies. But I, it's still some shit. I think it counts. We got pants-shitting gatekeepers here. That's my... That's why God made me, dude. Have anyone in here who's American ever sharded in a Walmart? I don't know. Maybe. 30 minutes in and we're already talking about shit? Yeah, I mean, that's just how it goes, right? Stop posting the wide autumn emote. What is it about chat and pooping themselves? This is just, we gotta get it all out, you know? My stream is like the, the pillow. That you scream into when you're angry. I shat in a public pool when I was five. Got grounded for a week. That's awesome. Ah. Then my daily shart tonight. My way to see the Tolomeo stream notification. It's a puddle of blood in Walmart from a nosebleed as a kid. I have a feeling it's going to get a lot worse when the game starts. Well, we'll see. We will see. When I worked at Walmart, there was shitted clothes all over the bathroom stall one night. What if, okay, what if I make a game where the premise is you have such a titanic volcanic shit in a public Walmart bathroom that you have to strip your clothes to where you're naked and stealth your way to the clothes section and steal clothes and make it look like you're, you're and you have to do it all without getting caught. It's like a stealth game. Worked at Walmart, got a vid of shit on the floor. Nice. It could be like a Kojima game, basically. Absolutely sounds like a Sunday game. Why does that sound fun? Because, dude, I'm, I'm a visionary, man. <laughs> what can I say? I feel like that's probably the plot of a Nick Akato game on Itch somewhere. I don't know what happened. It was overnight shift, so I don't think anyone would notice a naked guy walking around. That's probably what happened. They probably went and stole new clothes. That's what I would do, non-ironically. Like, if I... Oh, I don't know. How hard could it be? Shit pants on New Year's Eve, then again after ball drops, finish strong, start strong. Hell yeah, dude. Local grocery store has some grandpa who escapes the retirement home every four months or so and shits all over the floor on his way. <laughs> that fucking sucks, dude. I fucking hate old people. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to be old. I'm probably not going to make it to the point where I get non-ironic dementia. But, I maybe, I don't know how they shadow over their entire outfit, though. Yeah, it's a mystery. Hello, Rosden. Race to the Walmart bathroom before your shark reaches your socks. Any percent speed run. Hello, Miyukuki. Miyukuki, you need to call Jenna. I have a feeling she's still crying. <laughs> I hope you're doing all right. I, that was one of the most savage fucking burns. I, I got to give you respect for that one. Probably use their own clothes to clean up their ass. That's how. That. Why? All right. Feel me on this. If my options were. No, no, you are going to feel me on this. So, so I will literally force you. Um, you specifically are in the no consent zone right now. You have to feel me on this. If it were between. It wasn't ass swipe streaks? Well, no. Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. If I had to pick between wearing my clothes covered in shit or just not wiping at all, I would pick the latter. It would be extraordinarily uncomfortable and awful. But, like, surely that's a better alternative than getting it all over your clothes, right? The only sane choice? I just don't know how you get to that point. I'm trying to figure out the science here. Maybe they were maybe it was just a legitimately mentally disturbed person. Like legitimately uh 
like really severely mentally ill people make pukasos with their shit all the time. Straight guys' racial passive passive is to leave shit on their ass anyway. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, being naked isn't as bad as constantly smelling shit everywhere. And the shit dries up. You gotta get off. You can, you can go get off and uh, go to your shower. Gigi Allen's brother sells shit paintings. Surface area poop covered skin is significantly reduced with just the unwiped hole. How many straight men asses have you seen to say that? Clothes are expensive. I'm not getting dookie all over my outfits and abandoning it in a Walmart. <laughs> what would you what what do you what do you say it like that? It kind of sounds fun. <laughs> like you, it's all about the phrasing, right? Getting dookie all over my outfit and abandoning it in Walmart TikTok prank. Like I could see that catching on. I think the worst I ever saw was some dude in white pants have shit stains all down his leg while walking out of a Walmart. How did you know they were shit? What if he spilled, like, a Coke? Rather bring clothes into the changing room and use those. Keep my normal clothes. Did you see the naked woman rub the cakes all over herself in a Walmart? You just know? Okay, well, I don't I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone shit themselves, so... Maybe one day I'll be, I'll be blessed with that sort of experience. Maybe it's the smell? Yeah, that's fair. Trailed directly from his ass all the way down. Well, I, I, yeah, what if, there's gotta be, like, a non-shit explanation for it, right? Like, you gotta have faith in your fellow human beings. Well, thank you very much, Leto War. What's up, dude? I hope you're doing well. I hate when I spill the coke I stash in my ass. Well, managing it a family dollar had to kick out a shoplifter that had a leak coming out of their dress the whole time. Whoa. Last time I was at Hershey Park, they had to close one of the roller coasters for an hour because someone be shacked themselves. I like the word be shat. That's a good one. That sounds like something Helbundo would try to say, like pronounce an English word, but it's not right. But I don't know. It, I'm not saying that is the case, but that's what be shat kind of sounds like to me. At Hershey Park, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you got to have the Hershey squirts. I miss Helbund so much. Me too. Me too. I, 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 Helbund is definitely one of my favorite people on Twitch. Oh my goodness. There's so much noise in my house right now. Hello, Renizzle. One of these Pitman 4 levels is inside of an aquarium. It looks sick. What happened to him? Well, you're never going to believe it, but he actually went to fight Anita Sarkeesian in one-on-one -on -one combat at the Bass Pro Shot Pyramid. And she straight up com swallowed him whole. She devoured him, and he's gone. We'll never see him again. And, you know, rest in peace. You were a real one. You know, I'm glad you finally uh, you finally died the way you always dreamed of. You're right, I don't believe that. Happened to a buddy of mine. I thought he got vored by Lugia. This is not the vore bingo square I wanted. Sure he's still fighting in there? Yeah, maybe he'll burst out one day. We could go back to the chopping... Or we should go back to chopping the non-dominant hand off of thieves. I don't think that's true. I think that's insane and barbaric. I'm one of those freaks who thinks that the overwhelming amount of times that people are stealing... It's like my single mother's working two jobs stealing like a fucking thing of Cheetos or something from the Walmart... <laughs> like, I don't, I don't feel comfortable punishing those people more than they're already being punished by life. <laughs> like, obviously, there that not all cases of stealing or that, but I don't know, dude. I think that people, I think that, I don't know, man. Hello, Elbow. I think it's young people stealing little shit for the throw. That happens sometimes, too. I've, I've known some kleptomaniacs. Our neighbor used to be, like, a a serial, like, break your window and steal your shit from your car kind of person. Other people stealing were pieces of shit, but corporate... Yeah, like, I don't, I don't really have any... I don't really care if someone steals from Walmart or Target. I'm not gonna pretend I do. I don't give a shit. Um... 
you know what? I, you can just say you're getting the employee discount for having to scan all of your bullshit at the self-checkout. <laughs> like, um, now, if you're stealing from like a like someone else, like if I were to steal something from Mew Cookie, that would be super fucked up. And maybe then you should chop my left hand off. But I don't... I, I think there needs to be a separation there, right? How is Jo going to help a man stealing bread to survive? Also, fuck these megacorps. Walmart deserves it. Be careful, though. Because a lot of people think they're really fucking clever. But I know a lot of these places that do, with the self-checkouts, they know when you're stealing and they wait for you to steal a certain dollar amount so they can, they can actually pursue action against you and fuck you over. So don't take too much. What would you steal from her? Her clothes? I would steal her dog. I would steal Mocha. I'd, I'd take the doggy. Wouldn't mind going to prison for a long time, even if I was innocent. At the end of the day, I would just be leeching off all the wage cucks. Lol. Get owned. You said Mew? Oh, sorry. You're the same person to me. My bad. I thought I said Misa. God damn, yeah, I'm being racist right now. My apologies. I'm just getting in the mood for Class of 09. I gotta be a little racist, right? <laughs> like, gotta be a little bit of a, of a piece of shit to get in the mood for this game. How much dogs do you need? I wouldn't actually steal anyone's dog. If someone stole my dog, I would be, uh, I wouldn't be happy. Let me put it that way. I scam the cheap frozen dinners instead of the expensive ones. Yeah, that's what I do too. My, uh, all right, if you want a sick ass life hack, what you do is get, like, five Stuffed Crust Supreme DiGiorno's, the really expensive ones, and then get, like, one Red Baron and scan the Red Baron six times. <laughs> like, that's, that's what you do, dude. It's it, it, Then you have plausible deniability. <laughs> I didn't know, dude. Sorry, I'm just stupid. <laughs> Tola would buy a gun for the first time in his life if Sif got stolen. Yeah, maybe. Unethical life hack. Well, yes, all these. Well, the, dude, literally no one is going. Like, there is not a single fucking uh, asshole who is going to be able to tell that you're doing that. Walmart by me has a camera that also scans the items so it knows if you do that. But they're all black pizza boxes, dude. That's going to pass like 99% of the time. I have a pyro, man. You get two totals, so you can stack one on top of another at the bottom of the thing. I would notice, but I wouldn't say anything. All right. Maybe, maybe it's, uh, they read the receipts at my Walmart, but they do it mine too, but they scan for specific items. Never, ever neglect to scan the soda, for example. Um, cause a lot of them will just see like, okay, there are three things of soda. You're good. Um, they don't like go down the entire fucking list and make sure every, they never check like the little things inside the bags. You just got to make sure the big items are paid for. Always seems weird to me how some people justify the stealing or pirating games like they deserve to steal or pirate shit because fuck the companies is weird to me. I mean, you literally... I don't know how you can understand that when you we have corporations literally admitting to price gouging people and blaming it on inflation. The price of food has, like, doubled in, like, the last year or two. It should not... It's You don't have to support it. I'm not saying... I'm not trying to convince you that it's okay or just to do... But you cannot be surprised when people are, are are a little upset that their food bill has doubled. <laughs> like, with video games, it's a little different. I think that... I really don't think you should pirate indie games ever, personally. I really think it's, it's an it's extreme character flaw to stream games. Like, be a streamer and pirate your games as well. Uh... But I don't. I think games and food are different. Different stories. It's more of a reaction how people are getting fucked over in the first place. Price of food has doubled for thirty three percent less portions of shittier packaging. No amount of inflation is going to excuse such fuckery. Just walk. Yeah, they can't stop you. What's up, Coco Loco? <clears throat> Pirating indie games makes you an asshole. The same way stealing from a mom and pop shop. Yeah, not all companies are equal. Like I, I like I said, I don't give a fuck. If someone takes something from Walmart. But if you were to steal shit from like a hobby shop or something like that, you'd be a real big asshole. Um, you know? 
truth is that the games aren't even worth pirating. They're all shit for free, too. Not just food, but utilities, rent, interest rates. There's no cost-cutting avenues left. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're fig figuring out exactly how much they can get away with milking us so we have nothing left, right? Farmer's market or some shit? Sure, I agree, Cifferoni. Piracy is good considering EA is still releasing $40 DLC with little content for Sims 4 still. I can't fucking believe that people are still playing the, the Sims 4. Christ almighty. You guys still hype as fuck for Diablo 4? Yeah. All games are shit except Train Sim. $50 in food at Target, get like sandwich stuff and have some cookies on sale. It's ridiculous. Yeah, like, it's 100% okay if you disagree with my, my, like, my idea that it's alright to take from Target or Walmart. I understand that, but I just, I'm just saying you cannot be surprised that other people are not agreeing with you when they were already barely making ends meet. I hired indie games because Super Hot pushed an update that removed an ending because it triggered someone on Reddit. Hello, Responicus. Sims. F did that actually happen? The Super Hot ending thing. What did they remove? Misa had a store. Would you steal? No, I wouldn't steal anything from Misa Coco. Even if she's a Californian elite, I don't think she actively tries to fuck over people. Except for me. She won't get me pizzas. Walmart takes food that is expired and will literally fire employees for taking it when it's just going. And I literally, well, the last time I went to the Walmart deli, one of the people working there was like really pissed that we ha they were throwing so much food away. So they removed the ability to shoot yourself. That's stupid. So you pirated a game because they took away your ability to kill yourself. I guess. I guess that's that's. I think that's a little bit uh, drastic of a response, but yeah, go for it. It's the true ending. You will pay for your RPG Maker slot. I don't even remember the last time I paid for RPG Maker. Most of the RPG Maker games are free, dude. Slippery soap when people justify stealing is a sign of the downfall of society as we know it. I'm, I'm literally just going to turn that back around on you and say the fact that, like, Wealth inequality is becoming so titanic that the that pe there's like no middle class and more and more middle class are sliding into barely being able to afford food is more of a sign of a society failing than stealing a couple bags of Cheetos. That's just like my opinion, man, though. But I think it, I, I think it's, it's also not really you can't if you, you really believe the society is failing. It's more always, of course, going to be more than just one or two things. Maybe. Yeah, I, I'm not saying you said that was, like, the sole sign or anything, but I don't know. There's a few things I could think of that would be indicative of the society collapsing before I would go to the, the taking the food. Um, well, first worlders complaining about how society is falling without ever looking at any other societal collapse in the past to see how fucking horrible it has to get. Eggs are five dollars, millions must die. Society is fine for many of us. Stuff is happening I don't like. Society must be collapsing. Mm. I don't know. It's actually really fascinating to me. Because it's like... I'm not I'm not saying you're wrong, uh, no show, or anyone else who agrees with you. But it's just like, I cannot imagine... Like, giving a fuck about... Taking shit from Walmart. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like I said, I don't, I don't, I obviously don't support all stealing, just from the people who are fucking the, the little man the most. West has fallen, people are, well, to be fair, he's not saying the West has fallen or anything like that. People think society collapses because they saw two people with a penis kiss on their television, who cares? Never feel bad for corporations, it's my American right to pay for overpriced bullshit. Pop culture has become, woo, society falling crap. Well, I mean, times are fucking tough right now. I don't know if I agree with the idea that society's collapsing. But if I, if I were to think about reasons why it might be, like I said, there would be several things that would come to mind before the stealing. So, like, the fact that we're getting completely dominated, sexual grandpa style, by our government and corporations, the, the climate is, is a fucking disaster. It's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And... Just, I don't know, dude. I wonder I wonder uh, how the, the society is collapsing people are going to feel once the climate refugee stuff starts happening. 
Who cares about society? We sit inside all day watching people play games. That's true. That's true. If our society was good, you wouldn't have to be here talking to me. <laughs> you know? Uh, it's a symptom that... that, that it's it, You're only doing this because of what they've taken away from you. Power Grid is still running strong, right? Yeah, I guess so. I don't care about lost profit for companies that have a large portion of their employees on government aid and are noted for wage theft. If it's a company that pays their employees well and fairly, that I agree. That's a, that's an eloquent way of putting it. That I I, I feel like uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you think if we continue on this path, we'll eventually get to the point where we get to wear cool jackets with lights in the collar and fuck robots with three mouths? No. Can't wait for the oil to run out so we can all starve to death and I don't have to listen to the internet anymore. People justifying shoplifting made me laugh as if the corporation wants to shutter the store's doors and put people out of work if it gets bad enough. I invited my friend to karaoke and he's saying Hurt by Johnny Cash. Bro was going through it. I think King Cobra JFS saying that when, when he went to karaoke in the new documentary that got released about him. A reminder that Johnson & Johnson just tried extending their 40-year patent on tuberculosis treatment by four years, resulting in the death of six million people who would have otherwise been able to get the treatment over those four years. Someone really made... There's actually three King Cobra JFS documentaries that I'm aware of. Um, <laughs> he's got a few of them. Johnson & Johnson is a horrible company. Glad they're getting sued. Hello, Witch Evie. What's up, dude? I'm waiting for societal decay to get far enough that I can build my barter town and start going Mad Max out here. Well, I'm going to be the first one to say I don't want society to collapse. I want us to live long and prosperous lives. I want I want us to somehow manage to turn things around and, and fix our problems. Uh, and I hope it never devolves to the point where, where we're out Mad Maxing it for a variety of reasons, chief among them being I'll be one of the first ones to die. <laughs> like, played the last decade playing uh, i've spent the last decade playing video games on the internet dude I, you know i'd be fucked i'd be i'd be eaten like first thing doesn't mean we can't have fun dying tolomeo chat mass grave maybe we maybe we could work together dude maybe we could let misa the coastal elite be our leader one of the bitches mounted on the front of a death machine with wheels Ultron in the Marvel movies had the right idea. He was on the internet for five minutes and decided all of humanity has to go. Hello, Pop-Tart. Mm. We all will. Tolomeo, Mass Chat, Grave. Misa makes us Kool-Aid. Society collapses, we would still have a Tolocon. If you die, you don't have to suffer. If a part of town to run, you are invited to Tolo. I'll pay you for entertainment. Tolocon is a post-societal collapse caravan. And that made this much easier. There's still an extreme disparity between the first and third world, and we have a long way to go before we can consider ourselves a failed society. Scavenging for all the Diet Coke possible is priority in a society collapse world. I mean, yeah. I wish... Maybe we could just be the Diet Coke bandits, but none of you get any. It's all for me. You guys can have all the onions. That'll be our, our bargain. We'll, we'll hunt for two things. Diet Cokes and onions. And I'm, I've got dibs on the Diet Cokes. Give us the cans. You can you can be the, the onion class. You're not... No, I don't like onions, bro. Uh, thank you, Justy Gamer John, for the 55-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Always wanted to be a usurper. Shit deal? My asshole is an Audi, not an innie. Something is wrong with me. Well, pink sock happens to a lot of us. Don't worry about it. I hate your taste in everything. Okay. Name name two other things, Wakwazu, or are you just blowing hot air? You'll be a rat overlord and we'll steal all Diet Coke. When someone gets you normal Coke, you eat that. Your taste in men. Onion heads are so mad. Diet Coke martinis with an onion wedge stuck on the glass like a lemon. Broccoli and oblivion. I think that I need to rest my case. Onions, broccoli, and oblivion. 
I don't even need to say anything. <laughs> as long as we can make onion rings out of the onions. A full course meal? Motherfuckers really eat onions for breakfast and then and then broccoli for lunch and oblivion for dinner. Ew! Thank you, Zamonica, for gifting a sub to Steven. 999999. Hello, Matt Mank. Fallout. So in the Fallout, what do we do? Like, what skills do we got in chat? What are we good at? Cifroni can teach some plebs English. I don't even know about that. Have you seen the way she types? What's going on, VI Pizza? Love onions, but I respect your opinion. I don't understand why people get so mad over the onions. Um, I don't know. Oblivion wouldn't be very filling. Not a lot of content. Well, Oblivion, if it was a food, it would be like a city square sized piece of lettuce. Thank you, Zamonica, for gifting a sub to Slavin. I appreciate it. People who get made about other opinions are just unhappy on the inside. I just kind of scoff at people who may be having a legit bad time, but not only are now realize that times can be not good. So the response is extreme. Let's tear the whole society down when other people have been suffering for much longer and dream of tearing the society down for everyone because they happen to be having a bad time. Well, okay, I will say I think we're extrapolating a lot out of one comment. You know, when someone says society is failing and there's no context to why they think that, you know, I we don't know the extent to what they mean. We're, we're making a lot of assumptions. Like, I generally am inclined to agree but no more Doomer posting. They could have just been just taking the piss for all we know. What kind of lettuce? Iceberg. Taxes in the apocalypse, even the IRS still gets theirs. I touch myself in the shower. Am I doing something wrong? Yeah, water's a terrible lube. Don't use water. Doomer posting. This has been my fantasy since middle school. No, no I know Iceberg. I know Romaine. I know two lettuces, Sozoi. I'm the best. I'm like a lettuce mastermind. I'm a fucking god. It always seems like a cool idea at first. There's another type that I knew at one point, but I forgot because I don't eat lettuce. We can have an anarchist exclusion zone in Seattle. I think society is healthy enough. Iceberg lettuce bag. Bad. Don't at me. I said bag. A spinach of lettuce? I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a vegetable expert unless we're playing Fear and Hunger as Olivia. Lettuce serves no purpose. No, I agree. I'm not a I hate lettuce. That's what I'm saying though. Like if Oblivion was a food, it would just be the world's widest piece of lettuce. It's a lot of content, but what's the content? Hey Yonster. I'm a dry guy too. Lotion is messy. All the lettuce I hate. Iceberg lettuce the most. Lettuce, tomato, jalapeno, and ketchup. I hate those dumb regards who post stupid shit on their social media and go to college for meme degrees and be like, whoa, society is failing. Rutari, you need someone to pull you out of the miasma. You, you can't be that mad over other people on the internet. <laughs> you, you, you can't be that, that perturbed by, by people who have no bearing on your life. What's a meme degree? Do I study the doge? A meme degree would be probably... Uh, probably they would cite gender studies or like basket weaving would be the two things I would anticipate as a response to that. Society is working exactly how the shadow elite want it to. I agree with you. I wish it weren't the case, but I think it's all... A, 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 my, I, I, as, as said in Death Note, it's all according to Keikaku. I want a degree in memes that would be the funniest thing to bring up at dinner parties. People make fun of underwater basket weaving, but it's actually a really important technique. I was going to say cause lettuce too, but apparently that's another name for romaine. Cause, or some say romaine. Hmm. You should tell Vadi Vigi about this, Papa Dap. Orphan of romaine? <laughs> yeah. AI can't weave underwater, the only safe job. You guys want to go saturation diving with me? Sociology is a tough fucking subject, too. The literature is full of unnecessarily fancy words. What is that? 
Um, Layman's explanation is it's when you dive and you use like moon pools and shit to stay underwater and saturated with gases for an extended period of time. Because when you dive underwater, you get you get a buildup of gases that if you surface too quickly, you will get what is called the bends and perhaps it could kill you. It's really bad. And the longer you're down there, the longer it takes to decompress to where you go down for a quick job and the decompression period of going back up takes longer than the job itself. So you have like, uh, I think the gas is nitrogen. Yeah. And the goal of saturation diving is you stay down there for a long time so you can get a lot of shit done. And in theory, it's safer than having to do multiple smaller decompressions for smaller jobs. But uh, you're down there for weeks with, with the fucking nitrogen up your asshole. Sounds like an inflation. Well, you don't actually like inflate or anything. It's just that if you, you, you can get, I think it's called like nitrogen narcosis. You can get all sorts of fucked up effects if you do not decompress properly. And doing it over and over again is really dangerous. So saturation diving is making one long trip where you only have to decompress once to minimize the amount of downtime. The, there's, a, there's a point oak tree where you're saturated, where you no longer accumulate more. I think it. I, I don't know the exact time. You'll have to look it up because I don't. I, I'm, I'm a layman. I don't know that much about it, but it only accumulates up to a certain degree. So the the goal is to get to that point and stay there for a while. It's called a tummy ache. IRL dive stream when I would probably die. I think like I would get attacked by a grouper, or perhaps an eel. I don't think you're a lame man. I think you're a cool man. Okay. All right. Can I saturate in my bathtub? Are groupers aggressive? Yeah, they fucking are, dude. Goliath groupers can kill you. I have a fear of deep sea, so I think I'll pass on the total sponsor diving. Is there a better way to go at this point than dying on stream at the bottom of the ocean? I don't know about fish? No, it's all good. Yes, groupers can fuck you up. Groupers are big, mean fish that can eat baby sharks whole. Uh, all right, so do you think we should stop talking about nonsense and play a video game? Maybe it's time for gaming. Groupers taste great, they do. Let's boot this bitch up. Let's 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 start this shit. I want a trigger fish to disassemble me like a lobster. Can you hear the music? Is it a good volume, everybody? How are you, Zero TB? We won't be doing this today. No? Okay. Very quiet. Let me... What about now? History says it will be bad, but Copium says it's funny. I'm deaf. No, you're not, Mothman. It's funny when a girl tells her story, yeah. only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Okay. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. Uh-oh. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Thank well, you, no, Snapple Apple, 25 months. It was really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, Word. I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Hey, that's fucked up. I'm not an introvert. Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. Okay. All I said was hi. 
I wish I was high. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? <sighs> what is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like oxy or morphine or something? They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, Mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now Word. I feel better. This is why we have friends. We're really right. Uh, oh, guys, what's up? <laughs> Oh my fucking god, not this loser again. That's uh that's cool. We talked to you like once a month. Oh. Thank you, Damien, well, yeah, for 49 crazy, months. Like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's uh no, nah, but like there's all these cool apps. It is like, not me, dude. Shut the stuff, fuck up. There's apps where you can like shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. You mean games? It, it's not even like games, it, it's it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a joke or are we... Just go! <laughs> Holy oh. shit! Damn! Is that right, 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 too much right, 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 are you gonna skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day or I'm gonna go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Uh -oh, uh oh, you're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine, so where are we even going? Okay, so hold on. Oh. The, the text goes fucking fast. Can I slow this shit down? Thank you, Alawichu, for the 67 month resub. I appreciate it. What's up, dog? All right, I guess we'll save here. The game has so many things happening at once. All right. We could go to the mall, we could skip school, or we could hang out at home. What do you think we should do? The mall? All right, let's go to the mall. Why did we come here if we don't? Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I do want something, it's just torture. I have, like, no money. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. Okay. Oh, oh, oh okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might be in town this Saturday. Oh. Is there a problem? No, I'm just surprised you like MSI, because you're so normal are you but clicking i wasn't like clicking for half of that better shit to do okay that's not how it uh, okay so what are we getting i want a cd and a shirt if they have one it's one or the other why can't we steal both you don't steal twice in it the is going trip. fast it is here is us and some dad buying sketchers who do you think the security guy is gonna have more fun gawking at he wouldn't look at us we're like children skipping school oh those children are so hot how many men do you need to see outed as sex offenders before you start seeing there's a trend but you know what pick for me nicole lead the way Steal a $10 shirt or steal a CD in 2008. Can we get groomed by Metallica? Auto is too fast. Hold on, let me see. Let me save, and maybe if I go to the main menu. Is there... It doesn't... It doesn't seem like there's there's options in the fucking settings to... Hold on. You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the way. Oh. Um, fuck. I cannot see. The CD is Nickelback. This is going to have to Yeah, we're, this is going to be a, a short stream. Let's steal a CD. I always wonder if the big gaudy security tags are for show. They don't even reorganize the CDs. How am I supposed to find this? You're at FYE. What the fuck do you expect? Acknowledgement of the alphabet. Don't you have the songs on your eye touch? What do you even want a CD for? Collection. You put them on a shelf somewhere. Look at my CDs. Who's gonna want to look at your CD collection other it than you? It just I opens the pause bad. menu. See, they think they can manipulate me by pretending to care about my taste in music, but I'm actually manipulating them into learning about my favorite artists. When all along, I have no intention of fucking them in the first place. That's genius. Is Why it? Is flaming lips in the M section. Wait, what is Flaming Lips? This Shitty. game is terrible. Okay, Come on. Can you hurry up? I feel like we're 20 seconds away from a guy in a Spitfire shirt asking us what bands we like. Uh -oh. oh, just found it. So how do we sneak it out? Say that again, but just as loud so everyone in the store can hear. I don't do this all the time, Nicole. College stuff and major in shoplifting. Quick, come on. 
Flaming oh Lips God, is Kino. Yeah, spending money's for posers. Oh, it'll sound so good on my dad's stereo too. I don't think I've ever Maybe heard if a you click say stereo without. Oh, it'll sound so good on my dad's stereo. Yeah, spending money's for posers. And just goes oh, back. It'll sound so good on my dad's. I don't. Oh yeah, stereos are for old people without iPods. Do you think we'll ever end up old people with iPods? Hell, I don't want to think about being old. Yeah, I probably kill myself before that happens anyway. Damn. If you do, can you like leave a note on how you killed yourself in case I want to do it too? Wow. Dude, yeah, what are friends for? Yeah, because my mom was telling me about the Zodiac <laughs> killer and I don't think anyone's going to go out that cool again. Oh, is he the guy with the symbol notes? Oh my God, yeah. It would be cool to go out like that. Think about it. Some infamous shadowy figure kills you and then writes to the news in code about how hot it was when you died. You probably say that about every girl he kills. Yeah, no, that's true. If he doesn't specifically say I'm his hottest victim, then fuck off. He can kill Yeah, else. yeah. I feel like this is how people who watch the serial killer that? shows no, are actually like. Hot. These are hot girl problems. Totally. <laughs> hot girl problems. Oh my god. I can't believe that song <gasps> got. Since when are the scanners here? Looks like the jig is up, girl. Uh oh. Damn it. Caught over stealing a 1299 CD. I hope it was worth it. What band did you like so much, huh? He's not wearing a Spitfire shirt. Dude, the CD was hers. She brought it from home to trade in. With the price label and security tag still on it? She collects, right? Yeah, they lose collector's value if you take those off. You girls are gonna need a Tamar? better Tamar? Who the fuck is that. Tamar? Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. So, hold on. Let me save. Tamar? Yeah, yeah. This Vetus... Let's flirt with him. Well, do you want the truth? Of course. See, we saw you standing guard over there looking so strong. We kind of wanted an excuse to get arrested, right? Uh, oh, yeah, we have a thing for handcuffs. Just being tossed around by an aggro man in uniform. What the being fuck? Back, Hello, Crumbly. Some good payoff sometimes. Uh, is there something you girls would like me to know? Yeah, actually, we want you to know your wife doesn't need to know. Totally. Your wife is probably such oh a bitch when you come God. home, but we're two hot girls with what no expectations fuck? at all. Huh. Well, you're <laughs> some bitch cunt whore who I'm killing with to get fired. And see, that doesn't scare What's us What's up, Logan? Oh, yeah, you're dangerous. Yeah, yeah. We want you more. I don't know, dude. You want to just forget about the CD and hang out somewhere? Top Golf just opened. Fuck Top Golf. Let's go to the Super 8. You're so naughty. How old are you girls anyway? Well, we're a package deal, so 34. <laughs> 34. Oh Dude, my uh, god. Hold on. Shh, you're a cop. You don't need to know math. Take water for a little young. No one needs to know. Yeah, take us to Cancun where we're legal. I got a place where I'd really like to take you. Thailand? Downtown. Shit! Over fucking MSI CD? You miners thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? Though I will admit, you both look very mature for <laughs> You're a team, and they let you have a gun? What Can't all fuck? be algebra experts. <laughs> Jesus what Christ. What the hell is this again? The school's sex addict rehab program. Lexapro. I need Lexapro. Just because we flirted with that guy? I know. We get the one male cop who isn't a pedophile. Yeah, that's is pretty that unlucky. Maybe the mall cop snitching to the truancy officer is. It's a little entertaining to see what kids we know here. Oh, hey! Didn't know you... <laughs> God damn it! Head. Not this fucking manlet again! No. no, it's not. Hello? Earth to Nicole! Oh my God, make him go away. Jeffrey, how does a guy who sounds like a cartoon <laughs> also have right. a sex problem? Sure. Uh, <laughs> Faded. No Fuck, yeah, this dude's legitimately me. Guy in Microsoft Office. Hello, cynical dude. Sorry, I'm a Mac user. Is that why you're here? Yeah, Jacka, is that why you're here? Oh my god, totally. Every time he pops up, I just want to rub against him. R rub against him? Ugh, that's so... Ugh, sorry. Ugh. Last week, we covered how to avoid sharing inappropriate thoughts with other girls. No kidding. A whole Wait, lesson? what's up? Yeah, is that why you're here? Well, if I shared why I'm here, then I'd be relapsing. Come on, we all need to relapse every now and then. Uh, Are you uh, peer pressuring me? More like peer helping you. My Valium ran out a couple months ago, but this morning I took so much of my mom's Valium, I can't even feel my lungs when I breathe in. I'm just zen. Yeah, and zen's a good-ass fucking feeling, Jeffrey. Uh, okay, fine. Oh, no! 
playing Jack and Daxter on the PS2, and uh, what a setup for this. Yeah, so I'm playing it, and no one else was around, and I just kind of felt like, you know, feeling around down there. Yeah. Well, one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was out in the open touching with one hand while the other was still playing Jack and Daxter. You jacked off Jack and Daxter? What? No, I didn't do it to Jack and Daxter. I did it while playing Jack and Daxter. <laughs> and you finished and everything? Don't ask that. I wasn't trying to do that. I just spaced out, and eventually the club sponsor walked in on me. So I had to go here or else they'd expel me. You really put the Jack in Jack and Daxter, I was huh? going to say that. So God you're damn doing it. it. And what's Jack and Daxter doing? He's just running around? They were running around. Jack and Daxter is two separate characters, Jekka. Oh. So you just told two girls how you got off to a video game, but you're more concerned if we know the characters in the video game. Uh, yeah. Why would you do that to a game for little kids? It's T for Teen. So is this a group thing? Did Daxter Jack too? Uh, I never played Jack 2. I wouldn't know. <laughs> we need to get the fuck out of here. He's probably the worst one here. What the else fuck? Be Forgive me, Father, for what I have said. Please make these urges go away. My cousin is not hot. My cousin is not hot. Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. I wish we could walk out, but the principal's watching the door so hard. I think we're gonna need a distraction. Oh my god. Okay, so Jesus Christ. We're really fucking. Okay. Chat, rile up potential stalker or get the sex addicts to fight. You, you're you going to pick two. Misa almost always has her finger on the pulse of chat. She knows what the chat wants. That's why her Morrowind streams are so good. Huh. Hey, Kelly. What's up, Nicole? Jeffrey was just telling me how he wants to shove his face in your boobs. Uh, what? But, hey, I didn't say that. Oh my god, Jeffrey, don't lie. The first step is admitting you have a problem. This is going to work out in Jeffrey's I'd favor. Let you, but you're just another ugly stalker. Yeah, keep it in your pants for once, Jeffrey. Poor if Jeffrey. I was in a relationship with Jesus now, I would hurt you so bad. Okay, okay, please don't. But then he said that you were way cuter and less slutty than Ari. Oh my god, that's actually really sweet. Thank you, Jeffrey. I'd still never fuck you in a million years. Same. Same. Oh, so you think you can just talk shit about me? Bitch, don't be jealous. Bitch, I don't get jealous of sluts. <laughs> yeah, Ari, I'm not a slut anymore, okay? I have a relationship with God and Jesus now. Is that who told you to sell your ass for an iPod Nano last Damn. year? Damn. Damn. Not even a video one? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Face it, bitch. Jesus is a pimp and born-again virgins like you are his army of hoes. Damn. So let's settle down and try to be at least halfway respectful here. Why don't you fuck off and finish last virgin? <laughs> Oh, now you have me with Jeffrey? Sorry, didn't mean to insult your future customers. Do you actually want to fucking fight right now? Bitch, I brought a knife to school. Don't even try me. Yeah, right. What are you going to do with that? Stab you and watch the skeet pour out? Not if I choke you first. I'll spit in your face. I'll spit in your mouth. I'll like it. <gasps> what is happening? Shh. Will you spit in my back? I'll bite your bottom lip and make you fucking bleed. Okay, to now this is weird no. now. No. Help me, Jesus. Help me. It's not love. What it's the fuck? Love. It's not love. It's just love. Did Jenna fucking... Did fuck? Jenna okay, make this game? Break it up. Oh, now you stop them. One phone call and I can lock you both into a real rehab program. Let's go. Oh, yeah. This is so Jenicore. I don't want to think about What are you playing? I No, yeah. What sure. you see is what you get, dog. Those girls. For we get to be kind of fun. You want to be sexed up. I actually like the ghost shirt. No. Why not? Cuz you'd be doing all the abusing. Oh, like what? Just weird shit? You'd like put a cigarette out of my neck and lick the burn mark. Who would do that? So you want to try it? No. Fine, whatever. You never told me that Ari girl was so ghetto. Ari's not fucking ghetto. She's like the whitest girl I ever met. She had a knife on her. Because she was a Girl Scout. It's just a pocket knife. They don't have pocket knives in the ghetto? Nicole, trust me. She's kissed her brother on the lips wife. What the Hello, fuck is that? Oh, We're no. Talking about kissing, okay. Uh, no. What's good, Red Herring? All right. I'm your counselor. You can trust me with anything. No, I was just telling her how white some girl is. Now, now. That sounds like it might be name-calling. I'm not particularly thrilled that this year, guy correct? makes a return. Why are you, um, here? I was informed that you both attended the sexual addiction <laughs> rehab oh meeting my yesterday. God. And I just wanted to follow up with you. Okay. Uh, no, it wasn't that deep. We just flirted with a cop. How deep was it then? Oh, no. You really get paid to fucking work here, don't you? 
I'm certainly sensing a lot of hormonal tension from the two of you. As always, if you'd like to explore these urges, my office is right around the corner. Okay! What is that supposed to mean? Teachers are broke, right? I think so. Why? If he has a part-time job as a mall cop, we could really use this to our advantage. No way I'm ever doing that again. What if he had a part-time job as security for an MSI concert? I'd practice flirting in the mirror to get in for free. Are there no limits with you? Bitch, you have no limits. You want to put a cigarette out on my neck? Oh, whatever. So, are you going to class this time, or what are you doing? Oh, fuck. Okay. <sighs> hmm. I don't get uncomfortable with this. I... I don't know how I feel right now. Maybe I, sh I, I kind of feel like I need an adult, but I, I'm supposed to be the adult. Art teacher has to be hot. Actually, no theater. Oh, we want to do theater. Hello, Kangles. Theater's going to have a sex play, surely? Okay, the theater does seem like where all the weird freaks would be, huh? First one, this isn't that bad, but we don't know yet. We're still at the beginning. Crispin. Oh, for fuck's sake. Emily? Uh-huh. Emily? Dude, I'm literally standing in front of you. Just making sure we do Thank it right. Thank you, Turtle Pool, for you the 10-month right? resub. Taking I appreciate attendance. it. Nicole, Thank you. Tardy. The fuck you mean tardy? I'm here. Meaning you're late? Since when are you in charge of that? You're a student like the rest of us. As of last week, not anymore. Miss Teagan made me student teacher while she's off working on a professional stage production. And what makes you so special? I was top of the drama class junior year. We can't have a bad actor teacher class. Knows well, about I don't think you're a good actor either. You probably couldn't even lie to the police. Yeah, honestly. Don't take her side. Why not? She's right. Because I'm your student teacher and I have the power to write you up. Any other questions? Has a guy ever killed himself while dating? Damn. <laughs> So anyway, today we'll break she up. She didn't into answer. Two that means yes. One will do a table read exercise. The other will be improvised acting. So who wants to do what? I don't want to do anything. Uh, you Did know what? I actually you? like Crispin's shirt. Out? Why would you sign up for drama if you don't even care? That's about a good acting? fucking it's shirt a fuck right there. Class. Like we're gonna be actors one day? Yeah. No offense, Megan, but you're kind of not pretty enough to be in movies. I don't get why you want to act. Acting isn't about looks. It's about talent and creativity. When's the last time you saw an ugly girl star in a movie? Stop calling me ugly. What no, does Megan look ugly. like? I am. You're just like... Uh, like what? You look like the girl from Harry Potter, but not photogenic. Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> All right, I'm done with this. Get in your groups or I'm writing... Is the brunette... Is, it, is that who she's supposed to be? I was wondering. Her face wasn't changing, or at least not when I was looking at her. Okay. Oh, fuck. The choices, dude. Uh, remember all the characters' names? Her eyebrows. Okay, my bad, dude. My bad. Let's do table so reading. just read aloud, but act it out as if you were saying it on stage. Who's playing who? Emily, you'll play the cadet, and Nicole, you'll play the captain. Swell. Uh, what do you think you're doing, young lady? Sorry, I'm just nervous. Like that? Yeah, great. So you guys play out the scene. I'll be back in a bit. Nervous about what? Missing home? I am nervous about dying in a war I didn't start. You better finish it, cadet. Why don't we start loving instead of fighting? This sucks. <laughs> yeah. No I feel like this huh? one's going to have a lot of lesbian this? shit in it. How you guys doing so far? Decent? Yeah, this script's ass. Who wrote this? I wrote it. It's not ass. It's pretty ass. It's JLo after her second kid ass. Like, you could write a better script. Than this? I totally uh -oh. could. About what? About a girl whose superpower is all her insides are poisonous. So if a guy molests her, his eyes melt out of his head and he dies in a slow, grueling pain. So then he can't deny it. That's good. What would the superhero would name be for that one? So her superpower avoids getting molested altogether. Molest a girl? <laughs> like, <laughs> what fucking... Maybe happened. Molestia from the Brony idea. game we Just played. Keep reading. It's for a grade, you know. <laughs> Whatever. My heart beats to love, not fight. Molestina? Who the fuck is this for? It reads like the anime cartoons Jeffrey likes. Who's Jeffrey again? He's the weird kid with glasses who draws pictures of girls he has crushes on. Oh, he would like shit like this. Guys, I'm right here. We know. Can you get back to reading? I gotta grade your acting. Oh my god, your heart beats to march, cadet. Hut one, two, three, four, hut one, two, three, four. Uh, Nicole? What? I'm reading. It's like a drill, Sergeant. You read it like one, two, three, four. 
do I remotely look like I'm even in the same universe of giving a shit as Damn, you are? Tough Decides, crowd. we're the ones acting. Creative liberty. Exactly. Whatever, keep going. How can you march for someone else's death? I'll march this foot up your ass, ho. That's not what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I like that way better, like though. That. You literally said acting's about creativity. Yeah, so is it about looks again? Maybe we should teach the class. F for the day! Damn. Yeah, this class is easy. Oh, no. Nicole? Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just needed to have a little talk with you. Okay. About? Your participation today was a little concerning, gonna be honest. Okay. Is that it, or? You're not getting it. I am your teacher in this class, and you'll treat me as such. This disingenuous attitude isn't gonna fly in my program. Got it? it? I didn't Dude, go to school. I was homeschooled. Was this what this shit was like actually like? I'm your teacher. Is that how you talk to your teachers? Actually, yeah. Don't lie to me. Oh my God, chill out. If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna call Miss Tegan and tell her everything. Then she's gonna write you up for in-school suspension. What did I? What did I miss things, out on? Nicole. Yeah, sure. A side note: Are you withdrawing from bipolar meds right now? Don't change the subject. We're talking about you and your issues right now. Jesus Christ, okay. Think you can just smirk while Emily calls me an ugly Hermione? I had no part of that. Go ahead, call me ugly again. No thanks, uh, can I go? Aw, oh, see, now you get it. Now you're treating me like your teacher. This is weird. Okay, Megan. It's Miss Megan. Miss Megan, can I get the fuck out of here now? You're excused, sweetie, but work on that foul language. Work on getting a fucking therapist, holy shit. We need to kill this one. I think. So then she went shut the fuck up over how special color TVs were. Who was this again? The English sub today. She was so old and talkative. I don't understand how you can be phone, old right? and talkative. That was the worst part. She'd stop her boring story to yell at anyone with their phone out. A sub that won't let you screw around. What a Hello, robot. Tyrone. What's up, dude? I don't know manages to be more boring than the regular shit. Weird. Yeah, I had a sub today, too. How'd that go? The drama teacher nominated a student to teach the class while she's out of school. What the fuck? I know. Why would she pick a student, right? No, why are you Jack in drama? Jack is such a powerful name. Like Jack class. is a Don't fucking worry, I have stupid no intention name. of being an actor. Good. The drama kids are so fucking annoying. They're all ugly yet somehow think they're going to be in a movie one day. Yeah, that's pretty much the student teacher. Who's hey, okay. Quick intermission. I saw a Twitter post that said the the lady who was like the lead actress in Barbie was ugly. So maybe maybe you can Maybe you can get movie roles if you're ugly. Oh, it's stupid. Probably. Inky Winky. Margaret Robbie is pretty, though. Twitter, I think you mean X. My mistake, dude. Sorry. I'm never going to call it X. Never, ever, dude. The hit website X? Fuck that shit. So on X, so many hot takes... Nobody's going to call it X. They're just mad. They like her. Tolomeo dead naming Twitter. I asked you a question and you guys are getting up my ass about, about calling it X. Come on. Change it. He's talking about doing it. But, dude, it would be the dumbest thing in the world. Nobody knows what X is. He's doing it just to stir controversy and get more attention and clicks. It's not going to happen. Quote me on it. It would be so monumentally stupid. It's like the IHOB thing when they're like, we're going to be the International House of Burgers. It's not even going to fucking happen. Hello, Third World Weed. Quote me on it. I'm just trying to outrage people. Trying to do it to PayPal back in the day, too. He's doing it. No, the Elon Musk would never do something stupid. Come on. Come on. Facebook became mad because Facebook is stupid. That's a dumb fucking name, but I guess you're kind of right. But Meta is like a bunch of things, too. It's not just Facebook. What is X going to entail? It's just Twitter, right? Let's change their parent corp name? Uh-oh. The Threads changes their name to Twitter. Maybe a SpaceX stuff. Facebook, the social media is still all Facebook. Smartest thing Elon Musk can do is drive off of the cliff. Well, I don't know if I agree with you on that. She's a massive bitch, by the way. Do I know her? Do you know Megan? I was in second grade with her. Why is she a bitch? So I'm just doing whatever, not really caring. And then she stops me outside after class and gets super in my face about it. Because you weren't acting good enough? Twitter's I already guess. a she's porn like, site. She's like, I'm gonna fucking write you up, get you suspended, like all this shit, and I'm just standing there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Sense how? 
She was a tantrum kid in second grade. Every week was a freak out. Once a tantrum kid, always a tantrum kid. Yeah, control freak for real. So you gonna drop the class? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna drop her ass though. Aren't you a little old for revenge? Oh, nah, dude, you're never too no, old for no. some good revenge. I support you, I'm just not getting involved. Cause you have such a future, right? Apparently more than you. Future or no future, revenge is a dish best served cold. Like Agreed. Well, do you seriously eat pizza? Yes. Or? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Now I know you're out of your fucking Oh, mind. okay. Hot pizza's just grease. There's grease in cold pizza. It's just solidified, schizo. Okay, can we talk about this in the courtyard? Cold oh, pizza is so good, dude. Especially stuffed crust. Not in the mental ward-like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Such I'm on Jackus? Nah, day. dude. Fuck off. Cold pizza is so good. Tickets, right? Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you really forgot again. The dinner theater? Oh, yeah, I can, like, order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually <laughs> sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. Yeah, I'll, I'll try better next time. <laughs> this dude reminds me of me. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, whatever. Shut the fuck up. Too. What do you mean, student? <laughs> you, you didn't know that? No, but it checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. I know for a fact he wants out of it, too. He's flirted with, like, three of my friends so far. Not surprising. A bitch like her, I cheat on her, too. She's in that Are there weird anal gnomes in this? I hope not. pretty enough to be super demanding. God, the sex with her must be so bad. I don't even think he's getting that. She was raised Catholic, like, super prudish. Do you just know everything about this bitch? What? I've been around longer. You just hear this shit. All right, don't worry about it. Because I think I have my in. And for what? Megan's life? A boyfriend she isn't fucking is the perfect uh -oh. weakness for me to exploit. This is starting to sound like a red tube video. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, I'm not gonna fuck him. Okay, just checking, because every video on there sounds exactly like that. Like what? Like, oh, you killed my parents. I'll show you with the most suffocating blowjob ever captured on video. It's true. Dude, how much <laughs> you it's true. Anyway, me and Hunter share a science class next period. That's convenient. What are you gonna do? Let's just say I'm gonna order a hot pizza. To what, Misa? Cold? You know me so well. And so, that's why I wasn't super broken up when my wife killed herself. <laughs> <Questions>? Jeffrey. <laughs> Yeah, what's your science class gonna be about today? I meant questions about what's killing herself. Oh, sorry, no. So for today's lab, we'll be <laughs> this is my favorite which character. element is which based on its mass and volume. Get into your groups while I grab the supplies. Oh, my partner's out today. Damn, that sucks. Are you gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's gonna be bullshit effort doing it alone. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both in drama, so it might help to know each other if we're gonna act. I thought you hated that class, too. I'm warming up to it. But, Nicole, I thought we were lab partners. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Go away! Damn! Oh. That's how people talk to me, dude. I empathize with Jeffrey. Yesterday, he was telling me about how he kills dogs in his backyard. Oh. I can't work with someone like that. Huh. Okay, I guess that was justified. Sit with me. Cool. You don't mind if I look at porn on my phone, do you? Uh, no. <laughs> also, yeah. It's something I do when I'm bored. That's not TMI, is it? Uh, I'm okay with it, but uh, well, why do you do it at school? Kind of add something to it. I don't know. So what are you doing after school? I gotta go to the dentist for a cavity. They always make me. Oh, she's gonna make a joke about her gagging. I can't relate. You like the dentist? What? No, I meant gagging. I don't have the gagging. <laughs> oh, that one coming a mile oh, away. You're so lucky. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I like testing my limits. Oh, you mean like, uh? Yeah, like that. But don't worry, I know Megan's your girlfriend. I won't cross any lines, I'm just honest about myself. Uh, honesty's good, I don't mind it. Sweet, I think we'll get along just fine in drama. By the way, I realized you're technically dating your teacher. Ultimate fantasy, right? Um, I guess so. She's this is awful, what do you mean? Too. Do you guys ever roll? Come on, this game is amazing no, and you know it. Can't say we do. I guess she's burned out after acting at school all day, right? Yeah. I guess you could say that. But me personally, I love role playing. Oh, cool. 
what are some things you play? You have a girlfriend and you're asking me about my role playing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. Dude, relax. I'm fucking with you. Honestly, you don't need to worry. I have a sixth sense for relationships, and I can tell Megan's a lot of fun. You can? How fun is she? Okay, don't tell her I told you this, but just based on her personality, I can tell she gives amazing head. Am I right? <laughs> Uh, your sixth sense might need some work. <laughs> oh my god, was I wrong? Is she really bad at it? She doesn't really do any of that. How long have you been dating? A few months now. Wow, I'm really sorry you're in a relationship like that. Do you want my number in case you want to vent or anything? Yeah, okay, I'll punch it in. Now that you mention it, the relationship does feel kind of manipulative sometimes. And that's why I want to be there for you. Because trust me, I know all about <laughs> manipulative relationships. Oh, no. Okay, so this is a romance. In How is this going to end? We need to see who's best for our mini production of Romeo and Juliet. Oh, no. First. Well, we need a guy and a girl. Hunter, why don't you go first? All right, sure. Now, who's going to play the other side? Emily? This is for romance? Yeah, romance improv. No, he's ugly. <laughs> that shirt is dumb. Seriously? Yeah, I won't get better if I don't practice, right? Okay, go ahead. What's the scene again? You're about to go to prison for 10 years, and this is your last conversation with your girlfriend. Scandalous. This might be the last time we ever talk face to face. Are you sure? You'll beat the case. I know you will. My lawyer said it's not looking good. If I'm lucky, I'll get out in five for good behavior. Well, you're just gonna take that? You're free now, aren't you? What do you mean? Let's run away to Mexico. They won't find you there. I would, but this ankle monitor isn't doing me any favors. Just cut it off. I don't have any scissors. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you're really just gonna serve the time? No other options. But what about me? What am I gonna do with myself without you? Do you think you can wait for me on the outside? I don't know. All your friends really <laughs> want to have sex with me. Look, I can't control you from the inside. What Just the fuck is this, dude? You're giving up that easy? I thought you loved me. I guess not enough. <laughs> you're yourself back to feel less bad about missing me. But actions speak louder than words. Whenever you touch me, I know the truth. But... But what am I supposed to do? Touch me one more time. Take me to my limit with your last night of freedom and don't ever forget the feeling. Uh, uh, and scene. What? We can't keep going? That's enough, Nicole. Okay, who else wants to try? Maybe a little too scandalous. Emily, do you know where to buy whippets without getting carded? Uh, no, sorry. I didn't even do whippets. Damn, because you really look like a girl who does whippets. Does so she look like a girl who does whippets, chat? It's a little weird she took that as a compliment. Nicole, I need another talk with you. Shit, I went overboard. Over what? Nothing. So what's the problem this time? Actually, there's no problem at all. I just wanted to let you know I really appreciated the effort today. Seriously? Yeah, your scene with Hunter today showed a lot of passion and actually kind of moved me. Wow. It's like you were really Maybe Megan's not that bad. I fall in love with you. It showed a lot of talent. Oh, well. Okay, thanks. And Nicole, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for She's a so No, much. no, she just At No. I thought you were just another disingenuous white kid taking drama cuz it's easy, but you really care. Yeah, I guess. I so hate we'll disingenuous later, white uh, kids. Nicole? Yeah. I told you it's Miss Megan. Is this you? No, there's all right, all right. No, what's that? There's not going to be any cuckold shit in this. Waffle House fights and butt implants gone wrong. Butt implants. Wait, what the fuck yeah, are we talking I don't get it about? But when they screw it up, it just slides around in their leg. Ew, gross. Do you want to see it? Yeah, but later. I'm texting someone right now. You've been on the phone like all day. Who are you talking to? Little Caesar's cold and ready. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, how's it going with Megan's boyfriend? I'm making Little some pretty Caesar's good progress. Cold and, and so ready. far, God I got damn. 10, 11 pictures of his dick so far. What the fuck? Yeah, but I'm trying to get one with his face in it too, so I can prove it's him. Yeah, or else that could be anyone's dick. But what if he's just tricking you with a picture of someone else? Why would a guy carry around 11 angles of someone else's erection? He could be gay. He's definitely not gay. No gay guy would skeet in his mom's story box for me. Uh. Why would he do that in his mom's jewelry box? 
I told him it would really turn me on, and within two seconds, he sent a picture of it. You want to see? Ugh. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's like filled up. Pearl necklace on a pearl necklace. What's that thing in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised! That's disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking... <laughs> 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 you better figure something out quick before he breaks up with her to go for you. Shit. Holy shit, dude. It wouldn't cheat anymore. Meaning it wouldn't hurt Megan anymore. I don't agree with this message. With this guy for literally nothing. As it stands now, you're technically into him. I cannot let that happen. Directed so, at Tola? Um, what? We divide the mass by the what is his shirt? Couldn't tell ya. Or maybe we multiply the density. Hello, Jenna, what's up? I was just know? thinking about you when she that. told all, like, men to kill themselves. Right now? Not really, it's just... Caring about science is for white guys who correct your grammar. Oh, right. Actually, there's sort of been something I've been thinking about lately. Oh, you don't correct my grammar. No, not that. Just us. What about us? I had fun texting last night. Did you not like it? No, I liked it too. It's just... I think about how I feel talking to you. And compare it with talking to Megan. And I don't think she actually likes me. What? How so? She just doesn't humor me the way you do. It doesn't feel like she actually loves me. Are you sure? I think you could stick it out a little longer. I could, but I don't really want to. It's no fun being with some bossy prude. Damn! If she liked me for me, she would have done something by now. Hey, now, I don't think that's necessarily true. She just needs time, and you gotta be there when she's ready. Even so, though, aren't I cheating on her if I keep this up with you? Keep what up? Like, sending you all those pictures? You mean when you came in your mom's jewelry box? Did anyone need my help over here? Yeah, actually, for the- No, we're fine, just thinking. Okay. Jeffrey, could you draw a better picture of my dead wife? <laughs> yeah, the jewelry box? What the fuck? Yeah, among others. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I, I had another one like that, but I forgot to send it. Another jewelry box? No, it was on my brother's <laughs> Like, like Uno the restaurant? No, Uno the card game. Oh. How can you have a collection of Uno? <laughs> like all the different versions. NFL Uno, Batman Uno, Simpsons Uno. And you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them? <laughs> yeah. While I was doing it, I was thinking about you and, oh God, listen to me. What's wrong? We're just having a normal conversation. <laughs> Megan has no idea we're doing this. It feels kind of messed up. Look, it's perfectly okay. Just think about it like this. Your relationship with her is a long-term romance this Dude, so like fucking Joe Core. She really loves you, but needs time for the rest of it. Well, yeah, but the time is killing me. And if time's the issue, you just need a friend to kill time with. But what would Megan think? Megan doesn't need to know. If she won't explore your urges, there's nothing wrong with finding someone who will. Besides, it's only cheating if you say you love me. Seriously? What the uh, fuck, dude? Forever. As long as we don't kiss and do all that mushy stuff, oh we my can God. hang out however we want. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never looked at it like that. That's what I'm here for. So, are you doing anything tonight? Actually, I wanted to invite you to something. Oh, no. For real? What is it? Do you want to go to church? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, church? Yeah. yeah, it's a parking lot function with food and games, but also little ceremonies in the middle to appreciate the Lord. The Lord? Like Jesus? Yeah, the one and only. So you snap pictures of your penis while frequenting a church? Yeah, I know, but that's what confession's for, right? True. And you're gonna tell a priest you came in your mom's jewelry box? <laughs> yeah, I'll have to this Sunday, huh? Go on blind and just forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. So you're telling me you blindly say to a guy all the sex shit you did over the week and call him father, but not daddy? What? Well, I don't... What do you mean? Sorry, Red Tube. What's... Oh my god. So you wanna go? Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Uh-oh. Nicole, please report tell a to the counselor's Dude, office. I... Thank you. Nah, man. Like, I gotta go. I'll get back to Wasn't you on that, that kind of church so goer, you know not Catholic. This is the first time being here is less awkward than where I just was. Nicole, 
Hope I'm not interrupting too much with your class. It was actually the perfect amount of interruption. Regardless, I wouldn't want to knock you off of your newfound drive. Driving where? I meant your effort. Your sudden passion for scholastic participation. Your total is confident. Since when? Dude, nah, you just like. Try to get me in here? Of course not. You're saying that you haven't. There's literally nothing wrong with coming on your mom's science. pill. That's all I'm saying. The teachers and both spoke very highly of you. And there's no uh, way there's a priest in here. They have? Yes. They're both very impressed with your sudden initiative when it comes to participating in the classroom. Wait, hold on, hold on. All right, we need. Uh, okay, okay. I'm seeing some slander in the chat. All right, you know what? I know a priest. I actually, I thought about it, and I do know a priest who has been in my chat before. When we played Mech Warrior, there is a literal, there's a literal Mech Dad who is in like a 60 year old priest who plays Mech Warrior. What if I can get him to do a confessional live on stream with me? You think that would be good content? <laughs> I would not. What do you mean? Probably find it cringe. Play Mech Warrior afterwards? Yeah, maybe after the confessional we could be best Mech Warrior friends. It'd be good content, but please do not do this for your own sake. I like my Tolo stream secular. Be a confession on a live stream? Yeah, what's wrong with that, dude? I'm sure Jesus would approve. Thirty? No, it's like a 95% chance of falling flat on its face. But that's why it would be funny. Quite frankly, it's pleasantly surprising to hear, given your prior reputation. As your counselor... How is he allowed to play no. Mech Warrior as a priest? What's up? Oh, um, drama and science? Couldn't tell ya. What's up? The rats love the soil. Yeah? They're digging around and hopping around. Are they gonna eat the bugs you put in there, though? The bugs were dead. It was a dead culture, so I have to get another one. Oh. But, uh... A dead culture, huh? Yeah. That sucks. How do you tell? Like, were they alive when you bought them? Well, I didn't look in. I should have looked in, I guess. Oh. I should have opened it, but I wasn't sure if I was supposed to open it. Um, but yeah. I learned my lesson there. But they love the soil. That's good. They're having so much fun. I need to get more to make it even deeper. Um, yeah, sorry here. Fully explain what I'm talking about. So I decided to make a bioactive... Um, uh, set up for my rats. Um, so, not going to be using, um, like, paper bedding anymore. I'm giving them cocoa core. Not radioactive, <laughs> bioactive. Um, and you kind of just have to turn it and kind of maintain it a little less. And uh, they also love it a lot more. They can, I'm going to make it really deep. I underestimated how much I needed. Um, but they'll be able to dig tunnels and um, scavenge for stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put little seeds that'll grow into grass for them to munch on. So, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Martian, for the 15 month resub. Appreciate it. Will Tolomeo finally admit he's had dirty thoughts about Barra drawings with the priest? Are you experimenting on that? Rats will be dirty, though? Well, I mean, they're rats, dude. Rats are very clean. They'll clean themselves off. All right. No, it's all good. <laughs> I'm just really smart, I guess. Well, either way, great to see one oh. of the most beautiful students is in Jack to this sex face. offender. What a great opinion to have of a teenage girl. Not to mention a daring fashion sense. You have a knack for turning heads, don't you? Whoa, now you're really flirting. Nothing flirtatious about admiring a creative mind. You picked out such vibrant shorts. They I'm also really good at picking out vibrant Sorry, I'll shorts. Try not to show off next time. Nonsense. You're more than welcome to show off in here. Why don't you give me a twirl? You're literally 40. Why do you want to see my ass? Now, Nicole, it's not about that. Just to admire you as a whole. Now, go ahead and give me that twirl. Dude, I'm white. There's nothing to see anyway. Can I go now? Damn. Oh, well, that sounds like a low self-esteem. If I could volunteer a few more compliments... I'm gonna go while I can still voluntarily leave. Bye! Wow. I got your text. Sorry, I was caught up. What happened? I was in French 2 and called the weird kid Rugrats fetish and got held after. <laughs> like, Rugrats the cartoon? Yeah. 
That's a really good guess. I know. Everybody laughed, and the teacher made both of us stay after for me to. I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna lie that, to you. I was forced to say three nice things about him while he was there to his face. Yeah, talk about awk as fuck. That's literally cruel and unusual punishment. What'd you even say? One of them was, you don't smell that bad. Like, I had no idea what to say. Did he get turned on while you did it? Like, think of how often a regular girl would say something nice to him. Was trying to block that out. When he gets home, he's going straight for your Facebook summer photos. Shit, and I forgot my password too. So what were you freaking out about? Megan's boyfriend. I thought she said the counselor was horny. Oh, that's like every week. I'm already over that. But no, her boyfriend is out of his fucking mind. Well, yeah, he sent 11 dick pics for nothing back. No shit. No, he invited me to church this Saturday. Isn't church on Sunday? He's so involved with the church. He goes more than I used Sunday. to go to church oh, on Wednesdays. Those, those. Wednesdays and Sundays. Sundays. I didn't think a guy who cheats on his church girlfriend camp, and too. photographs his dick would have a strong relationship with Jesus, hey, I Texas guess. Hey, Texas man. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen it. I, I was so forced to go. Pictures if it wasn't for my faith in God, like, okay, thanks. How'd you even get that far with a guy so religious? That's when I found out. Like, what the fuck do I say? I didn't know Jesus was the escrow in titty pics. Who even is Jesus anymore, anyway? Someone pedophiles find to say they're not pedophiles anymore? You think our counselor Damn. will ever find Jesus? Yeah, if Jesus is a 15-year-old girl wearing Juicy Couture. High hopes. So, I guess Home I'll just go to church really days? Yeah. drama class tomorrow. Went to church camp? Shit was no. awesome. You just distract him. Just played Smash hey, Brothers so all day. I church, but you know what I do want to do? You know what I want to do really fucking badly? That was cool. How do you do that? Dude, 90% of dirty talk is just rhetorical questions. So like I warned last week, here's my casting for the school's <laughs> Romeo and Juliet production. What Let's the see, fuck? for Romeo we have... Wait, they made a play about Romeo? Uh, Does this yeah, game Romeo ever miss? Character. Isn't that Master P's kid? Why'd you take the little out of his name? No, as in Romeo Montague? It's Shakespeare. I feel like this one's gonna be a lot longer than the other one. So it's not Lil' Romeo and Juliet then? Yeah, what the fuck? Enough. So... Playing the part of Romeo is Hunter. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. A little more excitement. Can we applaud the castings? Yeah, yay. Thanks, guys. It's probably just one of a ton of routes. Yeah, for sure. Juliet will be... Not me, not me, not me. Nicole! Oh, thank God. Seriously? Yeah, you earned it. I know we got off to a rocky start, but you're on stage synergy with... Maybe the she is a cock. I can't think of anyone better for the part. I'll Maybe... I'll you about rehearsal <sighs> later tonight, Nicole. Cool, yeah, sure. For a pairing like this, communication is everything. Good luck, you guys. You're gonna need it. Oh, you too. Do you guys think she's a cock? No, I don't want to talk about the fucking script. Just send the shit. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, dude, that does not sound like nothing. This guy's the best character. A guy? Whoa, a guy? Is he getting serious? Ew, I'm not having this conversation with you. Is he asking for ass pics or something? Can you not? I can give you the ass pics trump card if you want to know it. Just so you can see it coming if he tries using it. What trump card? Oh, it's real simple. If any girl's holding out on me, I just make it about myself <laughs> and kill myself if she doesn't trust me. What? There's no way that works. No, it works like every... Well, not every time, but like 10% of the time. <laughs> Jesus what girl Christ. would respond emotionally enough to a suicidal guy begging to jack off to her? Well, you're a sociopath. You don't respond emotionally to anything. He's you're right about that part. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, suit yourself. But in case you fall for it, the light's really good in the bathroom. You're my brother. Yeah? Why would you care about the quality of my ass pics? Uh, no, it's, uh, I gotta go. They had to teach us about ancient Greece in school. <laughs> Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's been 45 seconds, asshole. What the fuck? I've gotten anywhere Hello, else. nerd bird. Oh, well, let's try idiot's way. Okay. Can you not trust me? I just want to see you all in He's one. just looking out for his little sis? Make another simp jump off of a building tonight? I feel like this is probably oh going to be one of the, the most you milk toast what? routes. Blink tickets? They're not even together anymore. The Wait. Did she say what I thought she just said? Blink 182. Cifferoni? I don't even think Cifferoni's still here, but there's one other person in the world who likes Blink 182. And it's Jekka from the class of 2009. Pictures? Oh yeah, for the revenge you're still plotting. How's that going? Let's just say I have the key ingredient. He really sent you a picture with just everything in it? He sent a lot of pictures with everything in it. After the first one, the floodgates just open. 
I've already sent that many pictures of the same thing over and over. Oh, I had him write different things on himself and send pictures of it. Stuff like loser, Nicole's bitch, <laughs> Megan's <laughs> shit. So that's why you weren't picking oh up Oh my yesterday. god. You the worst shit imaginable. I don't know. Last night was the closest I got to any sexual gratification in this whole plan. Literally how? It's just some ugly guy writing shit on himself. No, not the visual. Just the raw control felt really awesome. Nicole, that's what rapists say, just so you know. <laughs> I mean, I guess, like, I'm a girl, what am I gonna do? Guys will fly off the handle for barely anything. Yeah, guys will not get a Lego set when they're five and 30 years later molest kids over it. Exactly. No, I'm That's why I got the Star Destroyer, bro, just to make sure that I didn't do anything bad. Like, that was me taking care of my trauma. That's how you know I'm never gonna do anything bad. Because I got this Star Destroyer. Oh. I'm gonna hold on to these until the time is right. And what time is that? Oh, you'll know. I think everyone's gonna know. Oh, God. Pry didn't get his Lego set, I suppose. Run less than five guys, phones off. Let's oh. get it together. Megan's number? Check. Picture of her boyfriend with his weird dick out? Check. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, Nicole. Good luck tonight. This is gonna be fucked to up, too. dude. Do you think we're actually gonna feel bad for some of these characters? Oh, no. Okay. We got two minutes into the first scene before... Shovel Megan knows a lot out. about seducing Honestly, boys. Maybe I he could help me. Check till intermission. What an amateur. So she ran out on stage in the middle of a Romeo line, yelling out of control, and just broke down crying in front of everybody. They were taking videos, laughing. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. Then she had to go to the ER for a panic attack, and that was really fucking cool. Was Jenna it? Kept asking me why I'd go through rehearsing for a whole play, even though I knew it'd end like that. Well, I had to commit to it. Otherwise, she was going to see what was up. If I sent the picture as soon as I got it, she'd have time to resolve everything before the play anyway. There's no satisfaction in that. You see these movies where people kill someone for revenge, but it's like, you're gonna let them off that easy? I didn't break a single law, and this is like ten times the payoff. She's gonna be mentally fucked for the rest of her life over this, and I just feel good about it. Now Megan's gonna end up a cat lady, because any guy she dates will just remind her of me. Remind her what any girl's capable of. If you push her far enough. She didn't even do anything. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Wow. Oh, we got this shit again. Okay, what's our message? Thought you were done after one ending. Not by a long shot. Explore every fate of Nicole and you might just see, see things her way. Or you're some loser who gets a trigger response when talking to women. That's not us, right? Hold up. So... Oh, we did table reading, right? Tola, what? Oh, oh, the message. I'm sorry, hold on. Do you still want to talk? I want to let you know I'm not mad at you or anything. I still want to hang out. She broke up with me, but that isn't why I'm texting. I just genuinely like you, not even for the sexing, because I think you're a good person on the inside. And you want and want a real relationship? If that's cool with you. Thank you, Potato, for the 41 month resub. I appreciate it. Damn. So how do we do this? I give you guys a scenario and you play it out and get oh, feedback no. afterwards. Oh yeah, it makes sense. So the scene is your new <laughs> husband and wife in 1949, and the wife wants to know what the war was like. What if he doesn't know what the war was like? His name is Crispin? Yeah, dude. Everybody was just getting out of the war, or at least knew someone, right? Okay, so, so we go now? Yeah, uh, action. This is gonna hey, be great. you seem kinda upset. Is there a thing you want to talk about? Nah, I'm good. No. Megan said you can never say no for improv. It just makes it go nowhere. That was the plan. Well, I guess don't do that. All right, let's try this again. Hey, wife, something on your mind? Yeah, uh, there's something I've been wanting to say lately. Oh, what's that? The N-word. <laughs> why, 
would you want to say that? <laughs> it's 1949, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, Don't we usually dude. say the N-word? Oh, may maybe, yeah. The N-word is probably my favorite thing to just scream in public with no repercussions. 1949 is a great year, for us anyway. Uh-huh, I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. Oh, do you see that? See what? That different colored family pulling up in a Lincoln? You want to do the honors? <laughs> Jesus what are Christ. The honors? Calling them the N-word, duh. Why would I do that? It's 1949, why wouldn't you? Oh, right, um... Is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, do you want to join the KKK? <laughs> it's normal right now. No? Dude, what the fuck? Megan! What's the matter? Crispin said no during the improv. What the hell, Crispin? We went over this. No, but... Another no! I told you to get that word out of your vocabulary if you're... Men are not allowed to say no! But the situation got kind of... The situation doesn't matter. It's improv. No matter what, you never use that N word. If you do it again, See, they were just I talking about no. For the quarter. I don't know what you guys were right, thinking about. So, uh, resume scene. But yeah, honey, what? should we sign up for the 1949 KKK initiation? N okay. Great to hear. By the way, could you tell me about the war? Oh, and use the N word as much as possible when describing it. And scene. Oh, all right. So how do we do? I'm getting uh, banned. I'm gonna have a talk with Megan. Shit. All right, so I don't feel bad for Megan anymore. Nicole, do the classes? Open? I just need a beer. Okay. You're not. Do I, I don't. Oh my God. It, it, don't, okay, is this I the same off. shit? If you're excused, sweetie. We're going getting a fucking therapist. So then she went. Sh Who was this again? The English. Okay. Okay. So. English sub. Um. All right. So we did theater class for this one. Let's do art class. Right? No, there's not a lot of decisions in this one so far. Our class. Let's go to our For class. For this week's assignment, let's really open the floor of creativity. Okay. In the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencil, we're going to draw... It's him! Character. He's beautiful! On newspaper? It's like newspaper. He's as beautiful as the day I lost him. What did my mom pay a $50 supply fee for for drawing on newspaper? <laughs> yeah, isn't that cheaper than printer paper? It's not cheaper, it's just specialized. Art classes are here to remind you you're special. So, are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? <laughs> you're Wait, Kira Buckland, the voice of... Wait, so someone who voiced, like, the... The robot in near auto tomato voiced a character in this game. Is that what you're telling me? Yup. Wow, holy shit. That reminds me of when Cooler Matt eats at McDonald's. Mind you. <laughs> <laughs> a special ad. I guess we are. This class. And with the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencils, we'll be drawing characters. Any characters you'd like. These characters okay. could tell a story, show how you feel, portray a social cause. Anything you feel okay. is worth the time to draw. Can my characters murder bitches? Be <laughs> that anything we do in this class <laughs> must be school appropriate. Can my characters be the gym teacher trying to molest us? Nicole? What? It's in school. I think you're all smart enough to know what pushes the envelope. It's your first assignment. This just game makes me question it. my desire to become a teacher. Any other questions? Are we allowed to just draw people hanging out? Of course. Though it might not be the strongest test of your creativity. Think, why are they hanging out? What purpose brought them all together to hang out? Teloniocon. If there are no further questions, I'll hand you your papers and we can begin. Okay. There's a choice here. Sif, you need to stop being belligerent. Come here, you belligerent little dog. Huh? What's your problem, you little freak? Huh? Yodel and pooch. All right. Let's draw something. This is going to suck ass. Yeah. I'm sensing some negativity over here, girls. It's negative to think your class is a waste of time? That's not negative, it's just accurate. Yeah, like you're gonna fail us if we're bad at drawing. I'll fail you if you're bad at giving effort. So there's no tangible achievement in this class. That's fucking stupid. Watch the language. Watch The Office. The Office? The TV show? Yeah, it's for people who aren't funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
So now we have to draw and paint. It's our last year Jesus. of high school. You're never too old for creativity. We don't know what we're doing. We're just finger painting with brushes. Well, if you put the effort in, maybe you'll learn what you're doing. I didn't have or Kyler pegged to someone who would watch The Office. The no, I'll do it. It's just dumb as shit. That's terrorist attack. Better be in art school. Yes, and Nicole, can I trust you'll participate? Can I trust the housing market? Your friend's doing it. Why not join her? Because she wants to go to college and shit. I just want to hang out and get fucked up. Respectable. So you won't be participating? Nope. Then maybe you could serve as my teaching assistant for the year. And what's that entail? Cleaning brushes, organizing supplies, and posting to our MySpace pages. Why would you put any of this on MySpace? Online networking is the future. Uh, what if one of you kids went viral and spun a career out of it? Have you heard of Owl Town? You mean Owl City? Either way, in the arts, we Owl embrace Town. the future. And my space like that. is that future. Welcome aboard, Nicole. Oh my god. Is that excitement I hear? Fine, I'll do your little baby drawing, okay? To the best of your ability. Oh yeah, you'll see. What do you think she's gonna draw? Your hand's covered in that weird charcoal stuff. Yeah, I washed my hands for like two minutes. It doesn't come off. Damn, art sucks. I'm so glad I'm not in it. Do you like drawing or whatever? No, I was just randomly placed in it. The kids who actually wanted to be there are so annoying too. I like taking art class. Mr. Laurie's the best. Speaking of drawing dicks. We have a, uh, a, a lamp that I guess it's a glass lamp with six sides and it's dusty. And I woke up today and I found that a, a dick had been drawn on every single panel in the dust. I guess that's my punishment for not not dusting the fucking lamp. That's what having a 14-year-old in your house is like, I guess. 14-year-old boy, fucking Evan, just drawing drawing dicks on my lamps. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Christ, dude. Let's see? No, I see. See what? I gotta work on my lab. I'll okay. see you later, Nicole. Sounds like an me? honor move? No, she wouldn't do that. God, I drew for an hour, and then in two days, I'll have to draw for another hour. What's so bad about drawing? Jeffrey, you, you just learned from lab. the best? Oh, no, what's wrong with it? Or do you not like Mr. Lori? Uh, both. Oh, I wish more people understood him. Uh -oh. He's been through a lot this year in his home life. Uh oh. How did you know, he's a teacher. They don't tell us anything. I have lunch in his classroom because no one sits with me in the cafeteria. We talk about a bunch of stuff, like his house foreclosing and his wife cheating oh. on him and- Wait, 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 cheated on him? With who? It was, um, I think this might have been private. I don't know if I should tell you. No, come on. I can't. Come on, Jeffrey. Don't you want to make me happy? Oh, uh, yeah. So you go ahead and tell me, okay? It was the UPS man. <laughs> Not the UPS man, come on. You're a mailman? He's so bad of a husband that she's fucking down. Nah, dude, Not UPS motherfuckers anyone, make dollars, you? right? Jeffrey, don't you trust me? Uh, okay, I trust you. Thank you. She's fucking down? Yeah, he's pathetic, right? What if she's just really ugly? I think ugly? that's the case. When you're ugly, all you can do is fuck down. Unions? Yeah, but unionized? she's cheated. But I know they're about to go on strike, but I thought they made a decent oh, amount of money. Mr. Lori had to have been into some terrible shit. But what, though? Sup, bitches. What if I didn't hear? <laughs> me, motherfucker. You guys want to go to the fair with me this weekend? The fair? Yeah, with, like, games and shit. Is it 1920? Why would I go to the fair? Yeah, we have internet and Xanax. Fuck the fair. What's so bad about What about stuff? the fair and the Xanax? Year. You would like a year where rape was legal. Rape was not legal in 1920. In practice, it was. God, shut up. There's cool shit to do there. They don't even card you. Honestly, it's your loss. Hey, whoa, what's going on? Chill with the yelling. Leave me alone, bro. Don't be a bitch. Don't make me fight you. Dude, what? Don't be lame right now. Why are you still here? Me? No, both of you. I was just trying to, like, he, he was kind of going after Oh, he's not my white. He's my knight in shining armor. Oh, whatever then. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of every week, are you still watching Real Housewives yeah. Atlanta? No, I got tired of it. Is it bad now? No, just every commercial on Bravo is like, guess which celebrity's gay? We got him this time. It's annoying. 
Or the gay channel, it's kind of homophobic. Yeah, I only watch at midnight when they're selling Girls Gone Wild and Enzite. Okay. You think they pay well? Who, Bravo? No, Girls Gone Wild. There's my artist. Hello, girls. Oh, God. Let's keep the conversations to inside the classroom. Oh, I won't be long. I just wanted to compliment your effort today, Nicole. At first apprehensive, but then sinking your teeth into the assignment more than anyone. Good showing. Thanks, Mr. Laurie. What did she draw? I look forward to the final prize. Beautiful I guess girls not, make okay. beautiful pictures. Right, girls? But it's a mirror photo. I'll see you on Thursday, Nicole. What a fucking weirdo. What's his problem? I think he's a tiny bit into you. Cool, another child predator. You've literally said that about every guy teacher here. Well, it's literally true. You still have a dad, so they don't go for you as much. Really? Yeah, sexual father figure is like top five male fantasies. Right after murder. Oh, and if they hook up with you, there's no angry dad to kick their ass over it. Exactly. So you could be prettier, but I'm way more desirable. I've had my fair share of guy teachers squirt with me. I just don't jump to all of them wanting sex. Well, no, not all of them. Just like 90%. That high? Yeah, I'm pretty sure like 90% of men have the urge to <laughs> Is this true, chat? Girls. Anyone who opposes that is probably like some ugly white guy. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> I wonder if Jamie Lynn Damn. Me. Excuse me, Nicole. First week of school, and your friends are already pregnant. Uh, no, Mom. Jamie Lynn Spears. I don't care who her parents are. I don't want you hanging out. Feel like I'm losing brain cells. Decision. Me too. A little late for that. This is a new year, and I want you to start it off right. As if I did last year wrong. Oh, let me count the ways. Far too many for a number. Yeah, right. Name one incident. The time you dated your gym teacher? I that did happen. Account. Then how about when you caused a boy to get locked in the cycle? That also happened. It's not my fault I'm beautiful, Mom. I didn't know it was common for beautiful girls to ask for a gallon of their I don't think I remember that part. they're beautiful and hot? Absolutely. Okay, then explain the time you set a Palmia flag on fire in the cafeteria. It was funny. Honestly, answer that for all of them. It's excuse after excuse. You're driving me crazy with your bullshit, Nicole! I just got the fuck home. Can we do this later? Another excuse! Get your shit together and we won't have this problem! What shit? I'm fine! Stop lying! Quit shoplifting! Don't talk back to your teachers and fix your fucking drug problem! What drug problem? What are you talking about? Stay out of my medicine cabinet, Nicole. Mom, you are so fucking paranoid right now! Am I? You wouldn't mind if I looked in your backpack, would you? I would mind, but you wouldn't find shit anyway. Because you did it all at school, right? What is this, the Salem Ho Trials? <laughs> you have two options, Nicole. Live by the rules of society or live on the goddamn street. Right now, your schoolwork is the only thing keeping you here. You wouldn't kick me out. We I need to have the Salem Ho Trials. Except find a good husband, right? Shut your fucking mouth! The wow. math window's closing, Mom. Oh, I want to hit you so bad right now. Where's my valve? Top shelf on the left. Why do guys say we when they talk about football teams? Uh, uh, dude. Hold on. What are you drawing? Can I see? No, no, not yet. Surprise. I don't know what you're drawing for this class, but it better be really good if you care this much. We're graded on effort. I wonder if art studios hire based on effort. Oh, I'm part of Manchester drawing. United. What do you draw? You don't Bitches understand. Killed. Women die. <laughs> You should move when you graduate. <laughs> Unfortunately, shit. the deadline for your character drawings has come. I, I cannot wait to see to these pictures. Feedback and collect your artwork. Jekka? Oh, here. Care to explain the piece to me? It's me and Ryan Sheckler at the Warp Tour. Blink 182, oh, dude. She's sexy. That's an unlockable character in Tony Hawk. He's not even real. You are really. <laughs> Watch the language, Nicole. Fuck, sorry. I mean, shit, sorry. I mean. <laughs> Whatever. Now, I'm very interested to see yours. Are you sure? You worked hard on it. Let's share it with the class. If you say so. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a picture of you killing yourself while your wife blows the <laughs> Where'd you get this information? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Was it FedEx? This isn't funny, Nicole. I think it's pretty funny. Insubordination, inappropriate imagery, and sexual harassment of faculty. Wait, we need I'll to see Kyler's picture. Handle you. I'm sorry, sexual harassment? That's precisely what this is. There's nothing sexy about you. It's just regular harassment. <laughs> Damn. This bitch better have some Valium left. 
Are we so e I just want to see more pictures. I told you you were on thin ice and what'd you go and do? What the fuck are you talking about? You really think they'd refer you to the board for expulsion without giving me a phone call? The fuck you mean expelled? I got suspended, thank you. Suspended indefinitely. Yeah, indefinitely. Meaning not definite, like not for sure. Meaning until they know what to do with you. That's how much trouble you're in. Fucking whatever. It's not a big deal, mom. They always threaten this. The mom's like, voice literally sets off my fight or flight response. I don't know if that's just like my inherent misogyny, but that shrill tone of voice literally is like making this. It's the most uncomfortable thing in this game so far for me. I don't know. It's not even your problem. Just fuck off. So I take it you're not my problem either. Definitely not. Fine. As of tonight, you no longer Tolo live hates here. white women what? now. You heard me. Now? Pack your shit. Get out of my house. Go drink some wine. You're such a bitch when you're sober. Get the fuck out of my house! Are you serious right now? Like, come on. Should I call the police? You know what? Do it. God damn it. Uh-oh. It's making my ears pulse just like the good old days. Oh, my text is like five minutes ago. Where the fuck are we? Okay, what the hell is oh, going on? I guess that makes sense. Do you sense. still have that futon in your basement? Yeah, it's covered in dried Mr. Piv, but yeah. I guess that's fine. Can I sleep here? Tonight? No, bitch, tomorrow. Are you really getting expelled over that drawing? That's bullshit. Just tell your mom Would you that. sleep on the on the, the Piv futon? She can rot in a tanning bed for all I care. Well, you're gonna Hello, rot in the Avin. street if you don't work it out with her. Dude, you have a house. Just let me stay with you. If it was my house, you could stay all you want, but it's my parents' house. Mom will get pissed. That'll probably hit on you. It'll be weird. Okay, so you and your dad against her. That's perfect. Let me stay. No, Nicole. Like, I wish I could help, but I don't know. Well, can you at least you kick your kid out at any age? Yeah, just sense? kick your eight-year-old out. Just buy a little bitch. Live strong, homie. I <laughs> get the fuck on out of here. <laughs> Go on down the street. Those are the worst benches ever. It's like they don't want homeless customers. Damn, Nicole, you're here early. Yeah, you too. What for? Just buying something. Buying what? Are you a cop? Bitch, do I look like a cop? Yeah, just waiting for Kyler. He's supposed to sell me his oxy. He's got a lot, right? Totally. These dumbass white guys break their legs and turn into pharmacies. I'd buy more from him, but then I'd have to give him my phone number. No, you don't. MySpace. Make a ghost account. A ghost account? Or they call it a burner or a puppet. Basically an account separate from you, where you do illegal shit. Hell oh, yeah. I think I already have one of those. What do you use it for? Stalking people who blocked me. Kind of a waste. You add the right people, you can buy anything on there. Drugs, guns, ass, whatever. Drugs, guns, and ass. How are you, Cops Ghost by Goer? It's, no, it's tumultuous. Like they can't figure that shit out. Cool. Yeah, this is good to hear, because my mom kicked me out yesterday. I should buy something to forget about this shit. Are you couch surfing or straight up homeless? Homeless straight up. I slept on a bench last night. Damn. Well, go make some money I on on a lot. No, not me too, dude. I don't remember any of this shit. I was homeschooled you know I mean. playing World of Warcraft I don't know if I'm ready in 09. Space escort. Have you never thought about it before? No, I think about it every week. I just never thought I'd have this crossroad in high school. Shit happens, dude. I wouldn't think any less of you. Yeah, but would I think less of myself? Yo, what's up? I, I got the shit. Where the fuck were you? Places? I got shit to do. I'm not some drug addict like you. They're not for me. They're for my boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? I don't even want to sell this to you anymore. Are you kidding me? I got a hundred for the bottle right here. 110. You said 100 on MySpace, asshole. Yeah, but you didn't say you had a boyfriend. Fuck me. Okay, 110. Here. Thanks. And, and let me know when you're single. <laughs> let me know when you're not. What? Have fun, Nicole. I'll try. I've got to get home before Mind of Mencia comes on. Kyler, can I have a pill? I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Panhandling pills? What are you, homeless? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, you can have one, because I fucking hate the homeless. <laughs> okay. Seriously, like a lot of politicians just say that, but I actually want homeless people exterminated off the planet. Yeah, but that's an opinion. Like, the only way they could contribute to our society is by jumping in a meat grinder so we have something to feed farm animals. Give me the fucking pill! Well, fine. Are you like an addict? You could say that. Sweet, yeah. Drug addict girls are hot because they're really easy to control. Jesus Christ. What? Oh, uh, I think Mind of Mencia is starting soon. Oh, you're right. I, I gotta go. Okay, I gotta figure something out. Oh, oh, what what a fucking crossroads. Holy shit. You know what I'm thinking, chat? Car wash. In a hard Working at the alone. car wash, now yeah. I know it feels to be racist. Oh, hey, Nicole. Uh, oh, wait, it's not awkward. 
Uh, what's awkward? Usually when I see someone from school in public, I try to avoid them. But I just realized I'm not in school anymore. Did you drop out? No, I'm getting expelled. For what? Some bullshit. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. Well, at school, stuff's been going good for me. Do you know where the sponges are? I'm trying to start a car wash. Near the chemical supplies, but I'm still class president. Could you not interrupt me? I'm not in class anymore. You're not my president. Well, I'm still a person, so you should respect me. Dude, I'm out of high school. You're just a memory now. There's zero consequences for anything I say to you. Are you even- You're a whore. Excuse me? I have a boyfriend and a purity ring. For real? How do I get one? A little late for you. No, it's never too late to have your boyfriend fuck every girl but you. I don't even Damn! Sex. I'm on the honor roll. Something wow. I'll never do. Bitch, why don't you shut the fuck up before I slit your throat and watch the honor roll out? Holy shit! Me? No, I'm hitting on you. Flash me a titty, bitch. Cokehead slut! And there is no one she can report me to. Awesome. Hand wash for only eight bucks. Great deal. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing much. You interested? What are you selling? Car washes, eight bucks. With one of those peanut sponges? Yeah, the big yellow one, hand washed. Get a car wash to support the homeless. With that sponge, fuck the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> you drive a Corolla. What are you worried about? <laughs> Maybe I should flirt more. You washing cars? What does it look... I mean... Yeah, and I'd really like to wash a car like yours. I bet it's fast. Yeah, 300 horsepower. Not to brag. Of course There's not. There's no way this is, is going to go is, well. right? Yeah, it's the GT, so leather seats and everything. Leather is so sexy. You want to take me for a ride after I get this cleaned? A ride where? I don't know. Your place, maybe? I don't think my husband would like that. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, <laughs> the only gay person who would drive a Mustang. It's, it's him. Damn, he went 60 and a 10. Oh, hey, sweetie, what you doing? Oh, here on my Saturday? fucking God. Are you, car wash? Are you sure you're allowed to do that at school without staff supervision? I'm here we go. Here, it's whatever. Are you sure you're allowed to go that fast? Ah, there's no kids around today. And even if I hit one, it's just a write off. <laughs> How is that a write off? Because you write them off the student list. Wow, so you want a car wash? <laughs> I might have some time. How much? Eight bucks. Get that shirt wet and I'll give you ten. I'm in high school, Mr. Colby. You're right, you're right. Fifteen, then. Not what I meant. Fifteen what? What's Here's going on, Neko Kurakawa? Nicole, what do you think you're doing here? She's a student. She could be here. Yeah, I know, right? She got expelled, Mr. Colby. What? Is this true? I didn't get expelled. I'm suspended indefinitely while they consider expulsion. Wait, hold up, hold up. I prefer the counselor over the coach. That's like saying you prefer Ebola over AIDS or something like that. Like, dog, yeah, okay, maybe, but what a bizarre thing to say. Here. You gotta go. Why? Or else what? Or I gotta report you for an unsanctioned car wash. Well, I'll report you for trying to buy a wet t-shirt car wash. Uh, well, well, maybe we could just forget about all this. Oh, what? I didn't see anything. You were literally walking up as he said it. No, actually, as I recall, you were offering him a topless car wash. Oh, fuck. Right, Mr. Colby. Oh, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Are you actually fucking kidding me? Uh-oh. Who's more now, Nicole? You Jesus bitches are fucked up. God, my space sucks. Jesus so bitches are fucked up. Account. Oh, shit, what's up? Hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere. It just tastes good. Are you still homeless? Basically. I'm trying to use the Starbucks Wi-Fi right now. Did you try what I told you about? No, I'm making the account for it now, though. What should my name be? I mean, something that just lets people know you're down, honestly. Gotcha. How about dirty little rental? Oh, my God. Little slutty. All right, what about pierced princess? Hmm, I like the innuendo. Super cute, but really emo. I got shit to be emo about, don't I? Yeah, true. But that's probably already taken, so put X's in the name. Okay, XX Pierce. I hope you don't hear the Chihuahua barking in the background. It's available. There you go. I'm sorry if Damn, you can. Damn, like, hesitant to making awesome screen names. What happened over the week? We do? I'm gonna have to go tell him to stop. grips with the fact that 
when you're pretty, retail and escorting make you feel equally disgusting. Yeah, either way, you deal with hideous people against your will. So who do I add? How do I even know they're around here? There's one guy who's Put the much dog on the mic? In the area. You add one, then the others start hitting you up. What's his name? I don't think he would uh, bark. Cream Pie Casanova. Oh my god. Yeah, I see him here. Added. So when he accepts, just PM him and he'll shut you out. Cool, but how does it work? I don't have a car. A nude? Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. And if you let them pay you in drugs, you get way more for your time. Have you done this before? I'm on there, but I never sold favors. My friends in Laurel have, though. Damn, there's some white trash in Laurel, too. Would they get paid in drugs? Yeah, but only because they had people to sell to. Anyway, I gotta go. Good luck with the Wi-Fi. God, this is sketchy. What the fuck? I guess if one of them kills me, it'll make my mom mad. That's a good way to look at it. One week later. You know, for two weeks of being homeless, you don't really look that homeless. What do you think, everybody homeless wears a barrel with suspenders? No, but you're still so, like, clean and put together. The homeless dudes on the bus are covered in dried spit in Burlington Coat Factory. A lot of the guys let me crash, use their shower, everything. Guys that you're meeting on... On MySpace, yeah. I never thought I'd ask this not as an insult, but... How's being a whore going? Escort? Or that... Whatever means... Money for sex? On MySpace, we don't call it sex. We call it favors. So, what are the guys like? Are they really weird? Well, they're buying favors so obviously, but the actual doing it isn't even the worst part. It's after. What is it awkward? Uh, so after they finish, depending on the guy, you get this what the wide fuck, range dude? of emotions from wanting to save you to God. You. What's in the middle? Wanting you to get out before their wife comes home. They're married? What did they get you Who needs snoop the game when you There's got this? Yeah, yeah. Favors. I don't do lower favors. Those are for ugly girls. Shit. What do they pay if you're not giving it all up? There's not really a number, because I usually trade for drugs. Guys okay. in this are like pharmacies. That better be some awesome shit if you're not getting paid. Oh, it is. I probably did a thousand dollars in free pills this week. They're not free if you're doing favors for them. Let's not get that deep. But you're only doing this because you're homeless. For real? What I'm saying is being a regular hoe for actual cash would be better than where you are right now. Then you could get your own place, maybe. No shit. I ask for drugs because I can't do this sober. I can't beg sober. I can't starve sober. And I definitely can't fuck a stranger sober. Yeah, but... Why not go to a women's shelter? The dongster emo. That that is an appropriate, in a shelter, appropriate way to feel about this. To sober in. I guess it's just a month ago I couldn't imagine you doing this. I could never do this. It's so gross. Well, a month ago I wasn't homeless, but when your mom kicks you out and your friend won't let you stay with her, that kind of forces you to do shit you wouldn't normally do. Are you trying to guilt me right now? I don't need to try. I gave you fruit roll-ups. What do you want? This <laughs> 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 is so much easier than phone my space. Let's see. Checkmate. Only in cash, if that's okay. Shit. I guess I have enough on me to get me through it. Also, Fuck. please keep this to yourself. I have a high-profile career and don't want this getting around. High-profile means rich. And rich means... It's gonna be the money. counselor? Yeah. But I can't hold up a camera phone in his face for the proof. Nicole, you're not allowed to use MySpace. Who the MySpace. fuck is this bitch? Karen, right? Do you know how to set up a timed photo on the sidekick? The phone? Don't change the subject. I'm the librarian assistant. You're gonna get me in trouble. Why can't we use MySpace? It's not an educational website. I, I like... to break into a car on MySpace. I like how the guy in the back. What do you Who think he's rules, looking at? Nicole? You need to log off now. Walk off. I gotta reply to this. Dude, can you just act like a hot bitch for once? But I'm not a hot bitch. No, I... Your, um... Your glasses are cute. Just cute, though. Did I say cute? I meant hot. Like, sex for free hot. I don't know. I feel kind of nerdy wearing them, but contacts hurt my eyes. Nerdy? No, they're, like, really distinctive in a hot way. You could, like, be in Playboy with a quadratic formula tramp stamp. <laughs> tramp stamp? Like the back tattoo? Yeah, dudes could study it while hitting you doggy and shit. <laughs> Let's see, your man's in the street, dude. Karen, it just looks like a hot bitch. Act like one. 
What are hot bitches supposed to act like? Hot bitches aren't worried about losing their depressing unpaid internship at the local library. Well, <laughs> but I guess shut you can use up. the computer for five more minutes, but then you really gotta log off. Close enough. So how do I do a timed photo? Uh, okay, so you go to the camera section, do new capture, then go over to the I don't the know how to do this shit either. Settings. If you had a gun to my head and told me that I had to do like a timed fucking photo, I would be that dead. Camera angle should be good. Where is this guy? And I wonder how rich he's gonna be. He could be like a basketball player. He's not gonna be Steve rich at Jobs. all. This is gonna be a but this the guy is who invented Adderall. This is gonna be something stupid. Oh, I think that's him. It's so dark, you probably can't even recognize me. It's gonna be Jeffrey. Hey, you weren't looking for favors, were you? Guilty as charged, pierced princess. What the fuck? You're not rich, you're Mr. Lori! Oh, God! You work at a school and you're on that part of my space? Uh, Nicole, please don't! Oh, no! That's why your wife left you! You kept paying for ass on the internet! Emily, come out here! Damn, I was hoping you were the guy from Transformers. <laughs> what was this? We thought you were gonna be a celebrity, so Nicole had me hide with her camera phone. Oh, two witnesses! Why not just use the self-timer? I couldn't figure it out. How long have you been Word. doing this? Girls, please! I'm just very anxious! He's in a I dark place right fans, now, you don't I'm understand. Out. How'd you think I feel? No, come on, Let, let's work something out here. Like what? No, fuck that! This dude got me expelled! He ruined my life! I'm sorry, Nicole, just... Please don't tell anyone about this. You better pay up then. Starting at a thousand each. But on a teacher's salary and my house payment. Your house was foreclosed. What do you got to worry about? Bitch, take a loan out. Yeah, ask your wife for that UPS money. All right, fine. Fine. Uh, I'll go to the ATM if you promise to just not tell anyone. Oh, for sure. Yeah, trust me. We won't tell a soul. That was the least assuring for sure I've ever heard in my life. You know, damn well we told after we got the money. I told Jekka. Jekka showed the photo to Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn informed the school board, and the school board deemed his accusation of me unreliable because he pays for sex. My mom got a call from the principal saying I'm back in school, so I'm not homeless anymore either. Everything cool. just kind of worked out. Aside from all the trauma I got from selling my body, but whatever. Yeah, Jekka what was worried he'd get revenge on me because I snitched. You know, cardinal street rule. But honestly, street rules don't really exist when you're actually living on the street. Everyone's gonna have an opinion on what I did to survive. But let's see you homeless with no one to crash with. I Those have to piss are gonna so start sounding real fucking convenient. bad. Then again, you're probably not as pretty as me, so you'd only get paid for lower favors. Damn, I mean, she's not bitch. wrong. What? <sighs> All right, what's this? Are you still selling? Hey, my buddy Craig gave me your number. Are you still offering the whipped cream? Ham chops, or was it sans whipped? Is it sans whipped cream? I know what that means, but the first thing I think is, hey, babe. I got the whipped cream. Not sure if that was a limited time only thing like the Pizza Hut for all, for, for all. God, that was such a convenient option because I hated when me and my golf buddies were half onions and then the entire pizza tastes like onions. This guy gets me. See? It literally, see? It's the, the, the onions fucking ruin everything, dude. Like, you just keep... God, I fucking hate onions so much, dude. Just take them off. The onion cum has seeped into the meat, into the cheese, into whatever the fuck else. Tired pizza tastes like onions. Anyway, I'll be a very ungent gentle and respectful client. By the way, is it extra if I want you to pretend to be my daughter who died last? Oh, my God. How did we get to this from onions? Like, we talk about how you're doing in socials. You know what the worst part? Of this entire fucking thing is. Just like you. No, because I would never do the wrong form of your in a text message. This is where he lost me. <laughs> I was with him until that point. <laughs> but, but once he used the wrong form of your. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> How are you doing, you social studies or something, while you pound my hog to Jenny McCarthy show reruns playing in the background? Brownie points if you can cry on command. XOXO. I need to piss and I need to get a drink. I'll be right back. Oh. I'm back. Did you miss me? If you were in high school from like 08 to 12, this is accurate. You think so? Dude, that was the longest piss of my life. Holy shit, dude. Invaded by gnomes. How is this game not more popular? Uh, popular. I can't speak. I think it's because it deals with some really uncomfortable subject matters. Like, not everyone wants to play games that invoke, like, people's wives killing themselves or pedophilia every five seconds. Can you confirm or deny something? What's up? Oh, Which is completely understandable, by the way. Why not? Because not everyone had a fucked up, has a fucked up sense of humor. You said you pee outside while streaming. This means you don't wash your hands. No, I've explained this before. See, you think you've got me. But I'll, I'll explain it right here. You can take your waistband of your shorts, see this right here, and you can you can literally just 
prop your balls and cock up with it, allowing you to be in pissing position without ever touching your genitals. And then you just put it back. Easy. Oh. Okay. So, what the fuck are we doing now? Oh, no, not this one. Hold on. Record a video? We need evidence? No, just do it on your own. You can figure it out. Okay, working at D dying DVD store sounds promising. Please wash your hands. I, I do wash my hands. I'm just saying that if you don't... Okay, so number one. My genitals are clean. I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing. But I know there's no weird shit on my balls and nuts. But even if there were, I wash it if I touch it. But I don't touch it when I go outside. Because I can use my waistband. It's not a big deal. It's not bait, I swear. Piss is outside, so there's no flushing involved. Boys, your genitals are not... We don't have mucous membranes on our fucking junk pop it at. Oh. Penis eczema two months ago. Clean your fleshlight. Why can't a man be curious anymore? All right. I do the same thing total can't confirm. Doesn't matter. They still get bacteria. Maybe you should have mucous membranes. Some do. All right, moving it. No, no, no. Dude, all right. I told you I'm a germaphobe. I wash my hands when it's appropriate. And to some, the little fucker, I know rinsing isn't the same. You use hand soap whenever you wash your hands. I wasn't born yesterday, God damn it. We don't have to talk about dick hygiene. People can mind their business. Want your worm to smell nice? Don't wear pants in your room. Tolo calling me a little fucker? You're all little fuckers. Dicks are like a bottle of hand sanitizer compared to marinara. Okay, well, I'm not trying to start a germ war between the sexes. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just saying, you can piss without touching your dick. That's literally all I'm saying. I'm a big fucker. Me too, dude. I'm a fat fuck. Circumcised, not touching your dick. I think it's completely fine. Not if you, Okay, well, I don't know what having a dick sheath is like. I'm mutilated. So, you don't... Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What did you say? You don't touch your trench when you pee. So, it's okay if you don't touch your dick. Right? Checkmate, atheist. Let's go to the dying DVD store. Okay, so, welcome to FYE. I thought it was Fi. Uh, no. F-Y-E, it's an abbreviation. I'm Kelly, I'll be your manager. Yeah, we go to school together. Do we? I don't I'm think we I'm uncut and girls that. want me to kill Are myself. Nah, they don't. Okay, Come on, dude. Nicole, that language is okay amongst coworkers, but not in front of the customers. So, Wait. first training question. What does F-Y-E Yes, I want my dick sheath for? back. For your excitement? Try again. For your ejaculation? No, that's our adult video branch. <laughs> For your entertainment, good. But not okay. only are the products We're making for the customers' entertainment, it's also the store experience. Are you saying we gotta flirt with the customers? If you want to sell that rewards program, oh god, is that optional? Sell it once a month, or else you're fired. Oh, and it's like hours, Best Buy. To sleep in the break room. I mean, I don't care, but the regional manager might. I can close every night, even the days I'm not working. I'll just show up to close. Dang, really? Yeah, do whatever you want. Then go get her. And do you drug test? No. It's an FYE, not a hospital. This is gonna be sick. Glad to hear. Let's All right, cool. The floor so I can show you how this it's seems done. like it's gonna be better than the one where we got okay, we became like a, a whore. Customers are gonna show soon. Remember the four steps to the register: greet, compliment, help, entertain. Oh my God, good memory. I try, cause I have to now. Oh fuck. Oh, customer, watch this. Hey, welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. Oh yeah, hey. Nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. Uh, yeah, most people were kind of down on this Guns N' Roses. Really? I thought it was even better than the first movie. Movie? So you looking for anything in particular? <laughs> uh, some DVD box sets for a road trip. Oh, yeah. Collections are right over here. 
but you gotta pick the right one or you're in for a miserable drive. Yeah, really? My ex-boyfriend picked the most boring movies. That's why I'm single now. Damn. Man, sorry to hear. What a mistake. Have you ever broke up with someone because they their tastes in entertainment were too were too pedestrian? That's a fucked up reason to break up with someone. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's a lot of yeses. Oh man. Okay. They played League Whoa, 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 League of Legends? Come on. He liked Kingdom Hearts? Okay, but what if he's, like, pretty and he's got a fat cock and he's really, like, emotionally available? You know, I, we've all got our flaws. He's not and he doesn't and no. O okay, well, it sounds like it wasn't really the Kingdom Hearts then. You know? Don't you resident sleeper me. Not a, No reason to stay with someone? Men are not emotionally available, checkmate liberal? It's a deal breaker despite being pretty. Mostly Kingdom Hearts and the Slord's speech. Nobody in chat has dated his chat. Cage is viable grounds for a restraining order. Hmm. You can't like Kingdom Hearts and be... I don't know, maybe maybe there are people out there who have had their emotional awakenings through the, the story, the tragedy of Turtle Goofy. My friend broke up with his girlfriend because she was a K-pop fan. All right, you know what? I'm going to be a typical white guy. We're going to go out to bat and play devil's advocate. Are you ready? What's going on, Gaben? It depends what you mean by liking K-pop. Because if she just liked listening to K-pop, that's fine. But if she's one of those freaks who can't stop talking about how sexy Jimin is all the time, 100% justified. In my opinion. The difference between this and whoring myself out on MySpace is... I wonder if this place has anime. Oh, Nicole? hell yeah. Hi, welcome to FYE. I didn't know you worked here. Well, now you do. By the way, nice, um, damn. Nice what? Compliment. Uh, you <laughs> don't look like a regular <laughs> rapist. <laughs> Thanks. So are you looking for anything? <laughs> well, actually, an exotic. I wandered in here under the assumption there would be anime DVDs. Cool. Um, do you have any? No, we don't carry anime, so sorry, you're gonna have to leave. Leave? But why? You're just gross. You look like you were breastfed till you were eight. <laughs> what? You're just saying Holy that because of my breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you really have Okay, to okay, but, okay. But, Nicole, welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. Wow. Hello. I like your shirt, dude. Really funny. Oh, thanks. What's going on, Jormaru? You missed a bit. Target. That's really hot. What brings you here today? <laughs> anime. So, we only have a few anime DVDs, but you can look at them on that back shelf. Oh, okay. I could browse for a moment. And I'll be with you in just a sec. Nicole, could I have a word with you in the break room? We got fired. Okay, I got a redo. That was a psycho customer. Sure, he was a little off, but you can't just insult the customers like that. You saw how I handled him. Yeah, but you didn't see the other weird shit about his breast milk fetish. Nicole, we're in the business of sales. If the customer says he has a breast milk fetish, you tell that bitch to drink up. I like her That's attitude. Insane. That's customer service. That's what I, I do. remember what he bought. Drink up, he chat. I remember telling the pretty girl working at FYE about breast milk and her being totally cool with it. I don't get it. Is this Hooters? Basically. But instead of wings, we sell DVDs. And instead of a boob job, you get a lip ring. Why the hell did I get a job? This is just as degrading as selling my body on MySpace. You can do that? Hell yeah. Emily told me. It's on the internet so the cops don't track it. I've been having sex for free this whole time. You're telling me I could have got paid for it? Yeah, you want to try it with me? Fuck this place, let's quit. I'm the manager, remember? So you get a lanyard, big deal. This lanyard means I make $9.25 an hour, plus discounts, plus benefits. Yeah, you're kind of set for life here. How long do we have to work <laughs> before they give us the lip ring? We don't give you one. You just get it yourself. Oh. Well, I quit then. Okay, it was nice working with you. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, I mean, she was nice. On the phone. How do I make a new account? Oh shit, what's up? Hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere. It just tastes good. Are you still homeless? Basically. I'm okay, so I think we, we... It goes back around. Alright, alright. Back to giving fave hours. No, we're done with giving fave hours. Okay, so we did the theater class route and the art class route. What about the keep skipping route? 
wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey Nicole, you over here too? Oh great. Yeah, I just like I couldn't even I hate this character so much. This is still to break loose from it all, you know? He's like, up there with my least favorite characters. Sometimes. That was the longest Just because I hate his name. Also skipping. Oh no, like yeah, um It's hey, you? Like Dude, it is fucking not me. Come on. Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there like any sort of meeting behind it? Dude, no, dude, I don't wear jeans. Like, I will not wear jeans. I go to the store. It looks nice. It's not me. Buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh well, hold up. I'm not really like a bad religion fan. I, I mean, wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't really listen to bad now. religion either. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but I mean, it's cool that you know about him. You 100. Like I'm not. That was the most weekend dad question. When I was in high school, I was telling was bitches at church camp I didn't want to date them here? because I was Culture? too busy playing oh, hey, video man, games. I'm just on my way Crispin would bathroom. never get oh, that yeah, far. Cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Also, yeah. don't wear jeans. No, it's like mega fucking cool. Is there like a thing with it, like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I, I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking. You're, no, I was a shrigma JFC. I was a mushroom male. I developed I'm mushrooms sure. and fungus all over myself from extended periods of sitting still playing World of Warcraft. A show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Uh -oh. And if he uh -oh. loses, he's gotta like take his shirt off at the pool or something. So dead. What happened and to her? Of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. Cam, what do I do? Okay, Ari, what is it? Wait, what? I didn't. Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking. Shut the fuck up. What is it? Damn. Okay. She's so well, mean. I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due, and I have literally nothing. Yeah. So, wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary did- Ari is the VA of Shinobu from Genshin. Who the fuck is Shinobu from Genshin? How many of you know who that character is? Be honest with me. I know Chase here Jimbo does. Um, who else? Me? Okay, I yeah, shovel, that's not surprising. I do. I know. I don't because I don't give a shit about Genshin. Legit don't know who that is. Is that the one with the massive tits? Isn't that all of them in Genshin Impact? I don't play in English dub losers. Hmm. Okay. Determines how smart they are. Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last 10 minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Everyone here played? Like I don't believe two that. Day project or a three week project? Cross I'm sure there are a couple weeks. who haven't huh, played it. It's a problem that lasts more than three weeks. Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there, hold uh -oh. it. Here we go. Wait. How could you run this fast? Don't make me call security. Hey, you dropped something. Whoa, that is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You now we're fucking talking. Shit, she's coming back. MS-13, goddamn. Hey, Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, I was just on my way to the bathroom. Thank you, you Mr. Chicken, for 16 foyer, months. way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Why are you now. sniffing, dude? So you want some of that cocaine? Okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. And as I hope you remembered, I do not like Mr. Cats for submitting your community service sponsor. There's if bowling for Columbine again. In, MS-13 Southside. You cannot South graduate. Okay. Oh my God. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> Damn. Pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously. I. Yes. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. 
Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? <laughs> what did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police this are guy's here to a keep pussy! Is that why I take $200? They're keeping my safe. Holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing oh civics. My God. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who. Okay, so we have depression as an excuse or charity fraud. I'm I'm digging the charity fraud angle personally. It's uh it's like a non-profit. A non-profit what? This is our a specialty as Twitch charity? streamers. A non-profit charity for what? A cause. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy cause so people are healthy. And how do they make them healthy? Medicine. So, pharmaceuticals. What's the name fraud of is this fun, you think so? Non-profit. Gotta get back to you on that one. You signed up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kind of long. I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. I was asking. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It What's going on walking, today? talking, lefty jack? I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My That's policy not that on bad for late work. work. Dude, you need to stop watching C-SPAN. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape and murder stop happening? It stops most of it. Okay, let's tell all the rape and murder victims that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs> that's a really mean-spirited thing so to say. That's like, that's too far. Too old to date you, and I just ask, are you gonna buy me alcohol at one in the morning? Exactly. Like I thought you were supposed to look out for me, mom. If don't give me what I want, I'll find someone who will. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. And getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom a bitch or is it just us? Uh, Jekka hates her mom, so I guess everyone. Where is Jekka? Probably doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? Hey, he's being polite. Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up and let me go? <laughs> Hi, then. No, no, all right. I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next that week. That didn't last county's very long. Worship festival? Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee, and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Yes. The girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you then. <laughs> I think he was lonely. Like, we would even know people who set up church functions. Jesus. I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No. I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing, too? Uh, no. I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. Literally everything this dude says is for He's and the best character. Guys sick of their girlfriends. Aside from the fucked up yeah, shit he's done. Do but he's the funniest, for sure. I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics. I like the part I where he jumped off of a roof in the first or game. Just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. No kidding. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacate in Florida and write it off as a conference. How would you know? My fucking piece of shit dad who I want to kill works for a charity business. Oh. Is there... Okay, we want to explore that one. No, but that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. No, I had no idea. To who? We have Why that brick. Why did the Coke problem? Because I don't know any kid who could afford that. Where would he even... Hey, if it isn't oh. my favorite gym students. We never dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite students? Uh, I know what you're doing. You want to stay looking nice for your favorite gym teacher. Why would we care about that? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. 
You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, not ancient men. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. <laughs> He's the, he wants the coke. This month has he tried Did you hear that? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, Thank shit. Thank you, Vinny, What's for the 39 months we sub. I appreciate it. Still. Everyone's a little dry from PG. He's crying. No, there's no way he was crying. Been here long enough. That the creators of the game are polar opposites of what's in this game? I don't know. Okay, so I need a charity, a way to ditch this badass brick, and money in general. Let's see. I can't just sell the coke, because then they'll go looking for me. I can never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try it for real, but I don't know if it'd mix well with my mom's Vicodin. How is this a prescription med? It feels as good as the street drug. I got it. Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How... People who made this game probably play Toontown 14 hours a day. Yeah, maybe. Do I have to... Can I look up the Nair video with this? I like how I had to click on it. didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh, fuck! Excuse me. I keep my blinds open at night, gum jar. Where's Mr. Katz? Today, I'm filling in for Mr. Katz. I walk around my house a naked, too. Issue he needed to take care of. So, I had another two days to think of a charity. God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh, my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Katz took extra care to remind me of your assignment in particular, Nicole. It's your last day to submit, or you fail this the class cocaine, for the dude? year. Nah, so no, there's no way, dude. Uh, I have my charity. <gasps> what charity might that be? I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. Medicine Rocks? Yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't I heard of this charity? Because you're a stupid bitch. Know, PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer for something that could actually use some help. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> girls, girls! Uh, I'll have to look them up sometime then. They'd have a website, wouldn't they? No, they don't really have anything on the internet because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. What do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. She got you there. Yeah, uh, that's checkmate. It's well, over. I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. Here's your hour sheet. You only 25 hours in the next six weeks with signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate under the honor system, but don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm wet. What was that? Nothing. Hey, let's see you fail one of these other losers. Anyone else have a charity for me? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take elective gym? It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed by the gym coach. No, he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're old enough to tell our parents or something. Ew, I wouldn't tell my parents at any age. Yeah, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine telling your mom a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleave. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. <laughs> <laughs> Only I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. Hi, bar. So what do you want? <laughs> oh, yeah, I have a project I need help with. Nicole, my space girl isn't even fun to bully anymore. No, not that. Another project. Project for what? For school. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring some stuff over to my house. <sighs> okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a Zippo lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Where the hell am I going to get really tiny Ziplocs? Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. Okay, so Ziploc, serving spoon, lighter, what else? Baking soda, a whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. <laughs> Glad, dude. Oh, fuck yeah. Find this shit. You know, this is how OT Genesis got his hey, start. Sweet uh -oh. You got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with Lunchables chicken shakeups? <laughs> what the fuck are those? <laughs> Thanks for coming. I know it was super short notice. Yeah, so what do you need all this shit for? Okay, don't freak out. You found it? 
Was this yours or something? No. No, this is weird. Like some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke. I, I don't know how I feel about this art. Just ditch it in front of me while running from school security. And you didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs. Maybe more trouble than they're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? I'm not talking about the law. I'm talking about MS-13's name on the side of the fucking bag. They're gonna kill you if they find out. How do you know who MS-13 is? One of my friend's cousins was an MS-13. I guess everyone's friend's cousin's an MS-13. Now, and no way it's MS-13. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? What shitty ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? Isn't stupid enough to bring this to a public school? All right, don't worry about it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? Yeah, what else? Hell I yeah. I don't know, baking? Dude, why are you freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah. Yo, would you guys make crack in my basement with me? Would you whip it in the glass with me? We could, we could be singing, I'm in love with the coco. Come on. Come on. Why? No, okay. We need to turn some of those no's into yeses. Come on. I'm not a coward. Why not, bud? I would morally support you. No way. Dude, shovel. Come on. You you for sure have done crack before. Get the fuck over onto my house. I was in until the singing. Okay, I don't have to sing. Crack is a step too far. Okay, okay. Maybe we could make brownies together. Maybe we could start like an emotional support group for our fellow men where we talk about our emotions and make brownies together. You know, like no, just regular brownies. And we could be like, yo, man, that's fucked up that she did that to you, dog. Like, you know? And then we could play Mech Warrior after the brownies. Just for men? Yes, just for the men. Oh. Fentanyl? No, no, just normal ass brownies. You know, brownies are good. I like brownies. No girls out. Jenna can do a, a a girls brownie night or whatever. Mac Warrior, some kind. No, it's a video game. Men breakfast type beat. There's gonna be no gay sex. No gay sex allowed during brownie night. Maybe we can we can say maybe we can make an exception for Mac Warrior. But not during with the the brownie part of the night. Perks and Robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do for the community? Nothing. Selling crack's another story. We live in cul de sacs. Who's I'm gonna buy out of no gay I'm sex? Oh, Alright, whatevs. This is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another one. It's from Tiffany. Why How is that homophobic? To make crack. You never told me what it was for. Look, calm down. This will take like an hour at most. What's the point if I can't finish in the batter? What if Eve's come on? Eve's is not coming we over, dog. Of this. We filled so many oh, bags. this is weird. How do we know if it's good? The guy on the internet said if you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. So it's good enough. God, my gums are so numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try Coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh. I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. All right, the whole room smells like burnt plastic, so I think we made enough today. My parents are going to be so mad when they see this spoon. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. Okay, I got to go to PG County this, now. Can you give me a ride? This has the same energy as, like, Jenna and Misa Coco making crack together. You know? Like a younger Misa Coco. Like, if they were the same generation. Like, if they were born... In, in different times. I'm not times. driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll... But never mind. Jenna would never drive. Free base crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? I helped you with your community service project. I helped you with your community service project. You won't guilt me into anything. Okay, just drive... Fine, but I'm not driving you back. No problem. I'll have plenty for a cab when I'm done. Should have looked up how to actually sell drugs before I came out here. The fuck do you mean? Hey, what's up? Hey, what you got? You wanna buy some crack? Whoa! Damn, we did sound like a cop, huh? Hey, Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, uh, here you go. 
Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Just any fake name, it's fine. I P. <laughs> sign them yourself. What do you mean? Our signature. I think this is gonna work out. Uh oh. Jacka just got shot. Oh, I hope Jacka just got shot. Roll. I just wanted to apologize for my absence. I know you've all been working very hard on your community service assignment. Has everything been okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I hate this fucker. Some personal health issues arise and have needed time He's, away from my He, no, he was oh, the cocaine guy. Right. I don't give a shit. Yeah. He had withdrawal oh, or something. Over. Sorry. So nice of you to join us. Late as always. Fuck you. You've been gone the last three classes. He had a medical issue. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for Damn. me. Just have a seat, Nicole. You know, this real dick, for that. bitch. Uh. Dude, why, are you <laughs> why would Nicole, you make that what? noise? Dog, fellas. All right. Straight up. If a girl ever says you could have this dick or this nuts and you go, eh. Like, you're, you're. You might as well just get on all fours and turn around and show her your ass. I'm just saying. Like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community hours? I might be. Pull out your sheet then. Let's see what our star student has for that. us. Yeah, sure, here you go. Of course, as I expected. You... Wait, how many is this? I don't know, I lost count. 16, 18, 22 hours? Wow. I only have three. All the signatures are different. Different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. <gasps> I'm kind of awesome like that. I'm shockingly surprised, Nicole. Good to see you really took the initiative for getting these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm you, really I wonder if there's an ending where you're just good and you're Anytime like a good student. Me, they Goodbye, know gum jar. Quite the turnaround indeed. All right, who else has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean, nah? Why not? It's gay. Can you excuse me? <laughs> what does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? What's going on, Noodle? What does do with it's gay? <laughs> you think that way now, but go above and beyond for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate from the National Honor Society. Why would anyone want that? It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold on to it, show it to your grandkids one day. Who would do that? Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. <laughs> all right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? Yeah, you know. Nicole, I'm busy. Well, what is it? Oh, good, so I can leave? No, why were you sent here? One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes, take it off. I don't really have anything under this. Then turn it inside out and get back to class. Ew, how do I turn a hoodie inside out? It's gonna be weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that? Like a sport bra? Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, Nicole, I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? Oh, so some Asian guy shoots up a school and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's gonna think I would shoot up a school? He was only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of the opposite of that. All right, fine. Wear it for the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. Whatever. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations on your hours. Oh yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for it? Uh, I don't know. The community, I guess. The community. You love the people that uh -oh. much. Uh-oh. Yeah. Look me in the eye and say that. What are you, my dom? <laughs> Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? <laughs> Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, right. Shooting is in 2007? Yeah, dude, time flies. There's oh, been about a, a million up? others since then. Yeah. Cool. So, I, I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? Oh, I gotta no. do a video for a class project. Oh, no. I'm kind of wondering if you could be in it. Why can't you ask the other 30 people who take the class with you? Yeah, um, it's like, I don't know. I feel like they're gonna flake on me. And a girl who doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's gonna come through. I heard about your community. You don't like me? Oh. I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, quit like, you're always kidding around and stuff. You're crazy though, it's cool. I'm not laughing. 
No girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever want to fuck you. Whoa, whoa, quit jumping around a shit. What's the end game then? You're gonna awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean, friends kind of have a lot of definitions to it. Is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun while I sit? All right. <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? What else are friends for? So, are, are you waiting for somebody? I yeah, would cry, I dude. Either. Bro, you're acting wild. How can you even say something like that? If hey, someone sorry, said that to me, I'd be know. like, damn, Jack, bro. Would you fuck <laughs> Ew, no. See, no one wants to fuck <laughs> Man, you guys are wild. Fuck off and leave. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, guys. What the fuck are you talking to him for? Dude, I don't know. I was alone and he came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone? What was the holdup? I was flirting with my teacher. For business or pleasure? He's 50, what do you think? I was trying to get an A minus. Cool, yeah. I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He Chris is really the desperado Joe of this game. Signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been Dude. killed yet. Desperado Joe would literally never go up to a woman voluntarily and start a conversation. Not in a million fucking years. So no, it's not true. <laughs> oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not keeping to yourself, you're selling crap. The game where the cop yeah, shoots the girls? Me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. I don't even remember if that happened like last time. You sound like bitch Lynn right now. What bitch Lynn do this time? I got called in over Did they get shot by the cops in the first one? For doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community yes, service. It's like yes. suspicious or whatever. You're not I forgot doing about that service. part. Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. Giving pregnant women two for ones on crack rocks doesn't benefit the country. Oh, what? So now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No. Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. That's two endings? Yeah, I haven't gotten a lot. With me tonight? I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. How would you rather do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. Man, I was going to cut you in on everything. All right, then suit yourself. Uh, so you in school, or...? Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight, I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the fuck, bitch? You wild saying that shit. You wild. You anything. What, do you want me to lie? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> well, I got packs to move, so if you could... Nah, yeah. I'll see you some other time with it. All right. Damn, Crocs gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. Do it. Take some. Please, I want a crack ending. Is this a cop? Hey, if you're a cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? White guy buying rocks in PG? Yeah, you're definitely a cop. I'm not a cop. Wait, you sound familiar. Is that Mr. Katz? Keep your voice down. Did Miss Lynn send you to spy uh -oh. on me? No, just take the money and let me leave with it. Holy fuck, you weren't missing class because you're sick. You're a crackhead. I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem. But are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? Yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. <laughs> I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till I tell the school board you're buying Ready Rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff. Done deal. Here you go. Freeze! Huh? Oh shit! A little midnight marketplace here. God I the damn cops it! Tell you. Actually, sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across the that Potomac. That bitch! Yes, we got a runner. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, now we got to call in a body bag. Did you just kill my <laughs> civics teacher? It was a calculated risk. <laughs> but yeah, this off. is Did a good ending. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will Finally a teacher dies. Yeah, the teachers are getting fucked up in this one. <laughs> two weeks to visit me. Okay, if you're gonna be a bitch about it, I can go now. No, I'm so bad. That is here. okay, can we just that is one hundred percent like what Jenna would do if, if her friend got put into jail. Um didn't even bring a fruit roll up I bet. That's what I thought. So how's jail? I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's like no options. It's not the loony bit and there's no options at all. Oh my God, there's no sleeping pills, no sharp objects. The sheets rip easily and the guards walk by every hour. So you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. 
Wait, oh, no. how long are you even serving? The fuck is this? It's the class of 09. You're trying to kill I don't even know how years. to describe it succinctly. It's just what you see 20. is what you Two get. weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block, and all it plays is UPN reruns. And that's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going insane. They lock you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every just night like you my try stream. to go to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell whether they're having sex or withdrawing from heroin. Wow, sounds kind of like torture. But I guess that's how the system works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a broken ass system. They just assume we hustle for fun. Well, yeah, I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? Not for us. You're born into bullshit. No tools to get out of it. And they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act like you want to be in jail. Like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. And when you get out, it's even more bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats. But you literally you had a choice. rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about is dying. <laughs> you literally had a choice, though. Right about what? Let's get rich or die trying. Oh, my God. I did what I had to. Okay. You're white. <laughs> You're white, yeah. Nicole. You didn't have to do anything. Yeah, yeah there it is. But I know if you live in cul-de-sac, you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac. I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean okay, to you? Okay, but she's based for that. Yeah, sort of. So all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They she would have gotten the crack mean, from, you from someone else. You Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next week, maybe. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 Can go. white people be Islam? I always thought I had a bad memory until I spent two years in jail. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted than others. And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. You go by months when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologists in here. No therapists in here. No nothing. It is popping so, yeah, out. I feel like I've changed, but what if I'm getting worse? She's making ramen and then pizza. I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new Yum. story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. Thank you so, for asking. 55 month else, resub. I, guess I appreciate it. it. Thank, thank you. Kind of up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Now to just serve my time, get back in society, maybe make some new friends. And buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd shoot her in the legs first. Watch her cry for mercy before I finish yeah. her off. Change feels pretty good. Hell yeah. That's character development. What was that? Alright, we got a new message. Let's see what this is. Sorry, sis. Not sure if they let you have your phone in jail, but I guess you'll see this when they let you out since you're an adult now. I sold all your furniture, thrifted your clothes at that shop in Arlington. I've been renting out your room on Craigslist. You can visit every now and then, but you do not have a home here. So find a job in your own place when you get out. Recession shouldn't make it too hard. All right, that's from the brother, for sure. All right. They live in Texas. Okay, depression is an excuse is something we haven't done. About that. See, um, I've sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah, it's from all the PTSD and some other letters. It's that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? Well, I tried a couple times, but when I did, I just started cutting myself. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Because I'm a burden on everyone around me, <laughs> oh, and the community would be better off if I was dead. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That's really not <laughs> Oh, no. A am I bringing the mood down? I'm sorry. <laughs> anyone has a gun I could borrow? I could just take He's care of myself now. He's in the corner now. again, a dude. A gun? Shit, I left mine at home today. Oh, my God. Do you want to talk to him? No, I don't want to bother anybody. <laughs> Unless it's for a, a gun, I can use to blow my worthless fucking brains out. Oh my God. Okay, Nicole, this is not for the classroom. I think you need to go to the Jesus. counselor's office. But don't I need a community service sponsor? We can worry about that later. Just go to the counselor. Okay. And, and you're sure you don't want me to kill myself? Because I will if you want me to. I'll fire it right in my mouth. My nose will bleed like the Chocolate River from Willy Wonka. Oh my God, no, please dude. please don't kill yourself. Right, Mr. Cat? Well, Oh, Nicole, come in. Your civics teacher told me you'd be visiting. Holy Have shit. a seat. Sure, but I thought these were one-on-one -on -one sessions. What's she doing here? Normally they are. However, I thought I'd try something different given you're both here for the same reason. What reason? Depression. You bitch! Nicole, I understand you're going through a lot right now, but that's no excuse for lashing out at Ari. Sorry, won't happen again. Not like she did anything to deserve it, right? Ari, using an I statement, please tell Nicole how that made you feel. This'll be good. Um, I feel like you might not be considering my own situation, too. That's very good. Thank you. Now, Nicole... Please respond using your own I feel statement. Go ahead. Ari, I feel you're a conniving fucking bitch. How's that? This is going to be a long Word. session. Nicole, wait. What? Need another excuse to steal? No. Well, no, it's just... What if I wasn't making it up? Goodbye, Riel. Making what up? At first, I went to class thinking I'd lie about the depression, but after talking to the counselor, I'm starting to realize there's something I actually am depressed about. Okay, cool. Talk to him about it. I can't. All right, fine. Fuck off then. Bye. Wait. What is it? It's something about me. Something I really can't let him know or he'll tell my parents. What, what are you, gay? What? How did you know? I've never told anyone that. Dude, look at your hair dye. You're either gay or colorblind. But Damn. Are you okay with that? I mean, I wouldn't use that color, but do what you want. Not that. I meant the other thing. Are we in Nebraska now? No one cares if you're gay anymore. Are you sure? This is the most 80s conversation I've ever had. But my cousin in West Virginia is gay. He says it's horrible. <laughs> it's West Virginia. What the fuck isn't horrible there? So around here, you really think no one will care if I'm gay? Maybe like a weirdo or two, but everybody's gonna be like, look at that asshole. We're in a white-ass high school ten minutes from the capital. This is such a non-issue now. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal anyway. I'm not that optimistic when it comes to our government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still gonna worry about you. You really think so? Oh, hey, Nicole, you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Look, hey, Crispin, you want to hear something about Ari? Oh, my God, don't. Ari's gay. She's gay? Yeah, like lesbian gay. Oh, that's cool. Is, is there, like, another part <laughs> of the story? Or? He's an no, ally. Criteria. You'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. That's pretty cool. You're so creative inside. All this time, I thought this would be the end of my life. If you lived in Texas, it would be. Oh, hey, come on. Is. Steers and queers, well, dog. There are plenty of gay somewhere. people here. And thanks a lot, Nicole. I feel kind of free. Every other person I bitch. see still here still is gay. Excuse. Now I have to think of a new one. You didn't start the No, Dallas actually has that, a huge gay district here. An excuse at that school. Look no it up. Doing that before me, and now that she took it, everybody's going to water it down. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know. Hold on. What's another mental disorder I could pull off? Thank you, Anonymous, for gifting yeah, a sub to Joel Jutsu. I appreciate it. Little, Thank you. Right? Yeah, Dallas yeah, is one of the gayest cities so overall. For sure. Symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Holy shit, where's my laptop? Oh, wait! Schizophrenia.
Brenia, good choice. No, I forgot to tell you what happened after the counselor. Ari came out of the closet to me in the middle of the hallway. Closet with a glass door? I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. Holy shit, I can't think of anyone either. I this can. Is, like so Democrat, you're just- Okay, straight up, there is no fucking way Kyler would vote for Obama. Uh, thank you, Anonymous, for gifting a sub to Dirty Shovel. Mr. White, yeah, I don't, I don't know, dude. I feel like most of the teachers would not, would not vote for Obama. And can't vote. Kyler wouldn't vote. Obama isn't homeless. I, yeah, Teaching okay. The choir. Yeah, no, last year this gay guy sat at our table and was immediately the most popular person there. Because he was gay, or... I mean, kinda. He quoted Amanda's show a lot, I guess he was funny. And no one gave him shit or anything? I mean, Kyler came up to us, but everyone was like, what's his problem? That's exactly what I told her. Well, as long as she's happy, like, whatever, right? I'm so happy for her. So happy I have to see her ass every week with the counselor now. And I wanted to say, Ari... How proud I am that you've been able to come to terms with your sexual orientation and openly share it with the rest of your peers. Thanks. It's just kind of liberating to tell someone I'm gay, you know? Every chance you get. Truthfully, you are so brave. Liberal high school, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Everyone's been so supportive. I can't believe there was a time when being gay was so hated. You believed it last week. Yes, yes. Times have certainly changed. Isn't this supposed to be a group therapy? Is there something you'd like to add, Nicole? Just thought it'd be worth the time to spotlight the I'm surprised he hasn't society, been creepy yet. Though we still have a very long Oh, no, there it is. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, God, maps. No, not that, but he's going to go on about maps for sure. He did in the last game. Other petty qualities of our partners beyond gender. Financial background, race, religion, and even age. There it is. Age? Why would someone have a problem with age if they're legal? But isn't that the problem? Letting legality control love? The state law says you can't marry another girl. But does that mean it's wrong for you to love her? No, but I'm pretty sure age is one we, you know... Society creates laws, but laws didn't create society. I hope both of you girls realize we should never be critical of anyone's preference regardless of what your parents or TV says. Like gender, age is just another thing on your driver's license. Um, how do you feel about that, Nicole? <laughs> do you have an I feel statement? I feel like he wants to fuck children. Yeah, but that's not true, right, counselor? Like, you wouldn't date a 15-year-old, right? Would you date a 15-year-old? Maybe, but I'm only 17, so it's not illegal. I just said, going by legality means you'd be in the wrong, too. Did you say in the wrong, too? As in you would date a 15-year-old? I never said that. I'm merely open-minded enough to not doubt the romantic value of anyone of any age. You're trying to sell a teenage girl on pedophilia using her own gayness as leverage. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Fuck your therapy, you tennis pedophile love 15 looking bitch. Let her Damn. go, Ari. She's just having a personal moment and needs her space. Uh, okay. By the way, I didn't want to make Nicole jealous, but your hair looks absolutely Ugh. beautiful today. Actually, I'm going to go check on her to make sure she doesn't uh, kill herself. Yeah. Nicole, wait. Wasn't walking. That wasn't like a normal thing, was it? No, him campaigning for that is a pretty normal thing around here. You didn't Can know? Can we kill this that, fucker? I meant you sticking up for something uh, like uh, that. Oh, no. I never really seen you do that. Sticking up for who? me okay i i really appreciate it uh-huh this is um oh my god this is so fucking stupid kind of is nicole i've um since we started doing this group counseling oh, no. together i've actually kind of we're gonna been fucking make her kill herself a lot about you but not in a weird way right no it's it's in a weird way. Oh my god. I really, really like you. I'm sorry. It's just you were the first person I came out to, and what you said in there, and your whole look, and I think I'm in love with you. Oh wow. You're someone you know for two weeks. You're okay. Yeah, that's boy. rough. No matter you're not what. Not like all sketched out now, are you? A little, but it's not like you're a man saying this. No, 
How's it different with a man? Men kind of have a tendency to rape and murder. I'm not sure if you've seen a TV in the last forever. Oh god, that reminds me. I never even asked you. Ask me why. You, um, do you like girls too? Try lesbianism before college or make a gay girl cry. Jenna, Jenna, hey, hey, Jenna, what do you think we should do? It's number two, right? Hey, Jenna, I'm going to do what Miyu Kuki did last night, Jenna. Huh? We're going option number two. Oh, this shit's fun. Fun why? You don't think it's weird to tell a girl you love her and then ask if she's gay? I, I guess I wasn't thinking. I don't know. So let's say I said yes, right? If you were my uh -oh. girlfriend, what would you do for me? I don't know. Anything you want? Anything? Damn. So any depraved ass shit you're just down for? For you? Yeah. Could I choke you while we make out? If you want. Could I smack the shit out of you in public? Yes, please. Ah, so what the fuck? No, not your self-esteem. My self-esteem is through the roof right now. How come? Because now that a girl wants me this bad, I'm like universally hot now. But you don't... Yeah, not really. Sorry. Not there yet. Oh. Look, you're probably better off. It doesn't feel like I'm better off. Speaking of off, you're not going to off yourself over this, are you? Because if you do, will you leave me your eye touch? <laughs> Fuck what I give my eye touch to a girl rejecting Damn, me. Damn, all right, there we go. Mind. Does this feel like a hole in your chest or what? I feel like I'm going to be alone forever. I don't know any girl who's gay here. You could find out. How? Sex to pick of yourself to every straight girl you know. One of them's bound to be in the closet. What? And if they're that not, doesn't seem worst like case a good scenario, idea. they forward it to their boyfriends. He'll text back like, ha ha, what an idiot, but the picture will absolutely go in the rotation. Rotation for what? Look, I gotta go. Just forget what I said. Good luck, excuse me. <laughs> the Discord show, well, come on. Damn. Do you like date movie? Is that the parody movie? Yeah, the one with the milkshake song. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I thought so too, but I was trying to- Wait, hold on. Is there a fucking- There's a gut turtle that turns into Steve Harvey now? When the fuck did this happen? I haven't- I don't think I've, I've like, acknowledged that existing. What the fuck, dude? He's like a Transformer. It's been there for a while. I haven't even noticed, dude. I'm terrible. Wow. Shit. Fucking Animorph Steve. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. To watch it online and the movie website said it was 3 out of 10 stars. What? It wasn't that bad. I know. I tried clicking 9 stars to bump it up and it said I had to sign in. Did you? Who the fuck has time for that shit? I just wanted to watch the movie again. Huh. Sometimes that appalling guys are. Yeah, he's okay. Opinions on the internet are only from weirdos with enough time to create an account. I know it's so dumb. Like maybe if you fucked a bitch, you'd know a good movie when you see one. Is, wait, is that how it works? Do you think we should ban versions from voting on the quality of media? I need to, I need to get ideas for my presidential run. What would Kyler say? Probably he'd agree. Are you that would saying be a date movie makes you a virgin? I mean, basically. I could get behind that. Okay. But no, so I go on the rest of the site, like, what did they think's a good movie? And all their nine-star movies are so boring. Have you seen The Godfather? I've heard of it. My dad made me watch it. I fell asleep. How is that a nine? What else was high? Uh, there was American History X, but I haven't seen it. That one's cool. Kind of long, though. What's it about? A racist guy? You like a movie about a racist guy? It was like a whole moral whatever. Weird Christian bitch. What the hell was that? Yeah, I don't know where he got that. But so another movie? Wait. Oh no. Goodbye, Beanie. Oh, oh no. We're going... We're homophobic now. This is literally what Joelle would do to me. Like, if I was like, nah, Joel, if I made Joel cry, he would tell everyone I was a homophobic Christian. I'm getting canceled. Oh, look who it is. 
is. It's the school bigot. What? Don't play dumb. We heard what you said. And we Shit. heard what you did to Ari. Shit. You don't really reject a gay girl, then have the nerve to say no one's homophobic here. Oh, so now conversations are worth broadcasting? I only mentioned it to one person. I didn't think it'd be a thing. Ari told people too. You're sick, Nicole. Pretending there isn't bigotry here it must be nice to ignore. It really, it. What, oh man. You gay? No. Then fuck off. You don't need to be gay to fight homophobia. I never said she can't be gay. I said no one here would hate her for being gay. Indifference is as bad as participation. What the fuck did that have to do with what I just said? Do you just have a list of sayings memorized? Actually, we have a list of 500 signatures. <laughs> 500 signatures in favor of expelling me. That was quick. Ari. Damn, that's a lot. When the hell did you get 500 signatures? Over the last two days. Okay, and maybe it was. I, all right, I thought it's been like five minutes. Spoken. Everyone we went up to immediately signed to fight homophobia. Okay, kind of proving my point. What point? That you hate gay people? If there's such a mass homophobia problem at the school, how'd you get 500 signatures with no pushback at all? Ugh, so ignorant. The GSA club weeps for you. Yeah, I don't think you're ready for a conversation about this. Come on, let's get more signatures. Homophobic? Come on. Holy shit. Can you like talk to people for me and clear this up? <laughs> no, no, I'm not getting involved. Oh, Ari. Yeah. What's Wait. About me? I get it. I get it. It's she's wearing a Target shirt because people from California say Target, which kind of sounds like Target. Hating gay people? I didn't tell anyone that, but they. I got it. I got the commentary. Oh, I got the shit well, downloaded. Can you tell them to chill out. Why the fuck would I do anything for you? You rejected me. This is bullshit. Oh, Ari, I'm I cooking. got your picture. You I'm did? cooking. Yeah, you looked hot as fuck in it. Oh my god, thank you. Would you want to try, like. No, sorry, I'm not there yet. Maybe in college. Dumbest advice ever. Who would advise her to randomly sext people? Oh, shit. What? Nothing. Show me the picture. No, get your own. As you might be aware, the school's GSA has been petitioning for your immediate expulsion. What the fuck's a GSA? Gay Straight Alliance. So if a that's gay like my Discord, out, I'm just not allowed to reject her. I'm not exactly sure that's what they're saying. The claim is that you bullied a gay girl by downplaying homophobia. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this all became a thing because I wouldn't go out with her. Well, I'm sorry, but that detail doesn't seem Discord to be relevant. Discord is the gay the gay alliance. Yeah, probably. Petition. What do I have to do to prove I'm not homophobic? Make out with her on public access? Nicole, you know the public access stations wouldn't allow Straights that. Straights don't, don't have rights. Okay, then channel four, oh five, the CW, what? That's not what I meant. Well, what do I have to do? I believe the best course of action is writing Ari a formal apology letter to- Fuck that shit. Do you even know how I got involved with this bitch? Language. Do you even know how I got involved with this hoe? Slightly better. She stole one of my homework excuses and I got I think I would rather be called a bitch than a hoe personally I don't know how you guys feel about that but I feel like I would prefer the bitch treatment I don't want to be called a hoe stuck in group counseling with her Ari screwed me over first Nicole this is like telling police they should arrest someone for selling you bad weed I wouldn't put selling a bag of stems past her either look it's either write her a letter go to a sensitivity retreat or be expelled sensitivity retreat is that like conversion therapy should I go Third to a sensitivity retreat conversion therapy you have a week to decide you're excused what a waste of time Karen homophobe no. Karen your days are numbered, bitch. Holy shit, got a hobby. Sucks, don't it? Okay. Let's oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, this is this is what happens. Okay. Oh, what did he say? Why is he homophobic? What? Pilot on. I'm a homophobe, right? You think I'm just another sheep, don't you? Is sheep interchangeable with dipshit? Don't get defensive. I've heard what they're saying about you. Let's just oh say my a God. place that can help you out. What could possibly help me out of this situation? I don't know. Maybe the straight club. <laughs> the straight club? <laughs> this is literally, this is me in the Discord. Like, I DM people like, hey, yo, bro, you want to go? There's actually a hidden, a hidden part of the Discord called the straight club. We're all in it. Uh... Dude. What the hell is the straight club? Just a place for us straights, you know. A group to avoid bitches in the GSA for sure. If they're so proud of being gay, then we're proud of being straight. I gotta be dreaming right now. That good, huh? 
more like so incredibly fucking stupid, there's no way it's real. Oh, it's real, all right. And you're invited. I feel so special. Come on, it's fun. We make signs, plan events, talk about John McCain, <laughs> have friends, friends, get together. I told you he wouldn't vote for Obama, dude. I told you. All right, eat crow, dude. Come on. You can't deny it now. I told you this motherfucker wouldn't vote for Obama. Some huh? Hundred percent. Do you still have Percocet? I'll go if you give me some. Uh, all right, sure. Okay, where is it? Follow me. We can't disclose it verbally, okay? You're in luck too. It's straight club movie night. Oh no, dude. Wow. What what movie could they possibly Guys, be watching? New member Nicole. Oh god. Oh, what's up? Fancy seeing you here. Why am I not surprised it's all men? It's movie night, boys. We got the projector ready? No, nah, but I got it. Cool, let me help you. So you're Any in the Marvel club, movie? Huh? Let's not use the word in. Visiting, then. I guess. Why are you in the straight club? Isn't it obvious? Don't make me say it. Well, okay. He Maybe seems like he hates story. gay people, but likes lesbians. When I finally started narrowing down my interest to a couple key hobbies. Like video games and anime, for starters. Don't make me say it. And I love stuff like that so much, I wasn't afraid to tell anyone about it. But I didn't think so many people would find it annoying. My hobbies are practically my identity. And ever since middle school, I've been bullied for every hobby I have. Good. Yeah, that's what they said. What's too. the straightest movie? Uh, Avengers Endgame. Being gay or foreign, and everybody immediately rushed to their defense. But when I got bullied for how I talked or what I liked, no one really cared. Like, I wasn't supposed to be protected. Almost as if liking anime is a choice. Exactly. And that's when I realized no one's sympathetic when you're regular bullied. They only care if you're bullied for something you say you're born as. Before they were jerks for bullying me, but with this new group, they're gonna be bigots. Okay, that surprisingly clicks. Except for one thing. What's that? Why the fuck did you pick the straight club? I couldn't really pull off being gay. I get too nervous around girls. My friend Jasper loved cartoons and Amanda show, but then he came out as gay, and it was like no one was allowed to call him annoying anymore. Did you say Amanda show? Yeah, why? No reason. Straight pride isn't going to make anyone want to protect you. Straights are way in the lead here. Well, if that's true, why do we have to be so secretive of the straight pride club? Feels like everyone gets a pride rally but us. It's called a Redskins tailgate. Uh, Damn. never mind. Let's not get into this on movie night. Really not the time for politics. It's not politics. That's not it's even the, the, the tip shit. of the what iceberg to sponsor adopt. this. We couldn't get an official sponsor, but one teacher agreed to oh, under no. the table sponsor us. Okay, so what teacher would under the table sponsor this? Greetings, fellow straight side. <laughs> of course. Now that we got a pretty girl in the straight club, we're really in business. Dude, perfect timing. No, it's all good to doc. Coach. It's not Rambo. This is the second one of these now games, I by the we way. Switch things up from the last four weeks. I got a very special copy of American History X. Seen it? I'm leaving. Not so fast, young lady. What makes it so special? See, when the movie first came out, it was great. Just a man proud of his heritage kicking ass. But then Hollywood had to come in and put in their BS progressive agenda on the last part of the movie. So this is my copy of American History X with the last 30 minutes cut out. Who wants to watch? Well, I love director's cuts. I'm going to get us some popcorn. Be right back. This is going to rule. So, Nicole, what brought you to the straight club anyway? Some drama, don't worry about it. She's just being shy. Some dyke bitch told everyone oh my was God. homophobic because she didn't want to date her. What the fuck is wrong with these gay people? <laughs> I'm not blaming all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's what they always say, but these freaks won't stop till society's oh underwater. We should publicly execute those weirdos. Now that's what I expected to hear at a straight club. Yeah, it's a straight club, club, all right. Let's show that bitch a lesson. Whoa, chill out, I don't know it. Don't hold out on us. Tell me where she lives or I'm gonna choke slam you into the sugar cube castle. I told you, I didn't know her fucking address. Kyla, Kyla, calm down. This is way over the top. I don't get it, coach. I thought this was the straight club. I know, but you're being messy. Besides, I'm a teacher. I'll just look up a file and get the address that way. Great thinking, coach. Get her address for what? Just gonna teach her and her family a little lesson in humility. Come on, straight club. First a student files, then a drive down. Oh, oh boy. Gas is cheap. Down oh, 95. No. Wouldn't that take forever? I'm not gonna burn her house down with expensive gas. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, boys. Finally, reparations. Hating these holos. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that's 
blamed for this too. <laughs> what the fuck? Get me out of this shit. All right, so I would like, I would like what to say that uh, the Discord go? straight club is not like Maybe this. I find something other than being straight. <laughs> because the Discord straight club doesn't exist. Come on, come on, try not to get blamed for a hate crime. I'm watching Drake and Josh. This better be really fucking good. It's actually really. Are bad. you sure, dude? Okay, so I'm a hundred... I, I mean, I own the Discord. I know there's no straight channel in it. Uh, like, why would I ever do that? Can we make one? No, how, how would... Why would you ever suggest something like that? Oh, we'll see you later. Dude, wait. What? I was invited to the straight club, and they're on their way to burn Ari's house down right now. We have to stop it. Okay, slow way the fuck down. What the hell is a straight club? The gym coach started an underground cult for straight pride. They all think they're victims for being straight. Aren't we victims of being straight? Name one good boyfriend either of us had. No, it's all men. Oh, how are they victims? They're jealous of gay pride rallies. That's all I gathered. They should be. They're fun. It's the only place where you can make out with three different girls and feel proud of your cold sores the next morning. Is that true? Cool. So they're on their way to kill Ari right now. Oh, yeah. Why would they burn her house down? Because they heard she spread the homophobic rumor about me, and now they want revenge or something. They were set off, like, instantly. And so why is that your problem? I thought you hated her. Because it's a hate crime that I am going to get blamed for. These guys are insane. They want is there an American echo right now? Is there? The ending cut out. Is the audio fucked up? This guy isn't cutting it down good. The ends where they learn how to not be racist. Okay, okay, I get it. I thought Except the end was where they learned to be racist. What? Why the fuck did you come here? Call the police! When have the police ever done anything good for us? <sighs> All right, let me get my shoes. Is she already asleep? Ari? Ari! Why can't it be like the movies where they're just conveniently 10 feet from the door? It better be like the movies soon. When are they getting here? I think they went down to Woodbridge where the gas is cheap, so we maybe have a few minutes. The price is cheaper, but don't you burn that driving down there? It's not for their car. Oh, yeah, to burn the house down. Drake and Josh is on. This better be good. What the fuck, still? Marathon. Fuck Drake and Josh. That show suck no, ass. I'm sorry, dude. Want? Fuck Drake and Josh. Here. Someone's on the way to burn your house down. Fuck, no, fuck you. you. Coach Colby Straight Club. No, 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 Fuck Drake and Josh. Okay, you boob. Nah, dude. Nah, nah. Fuck Drake and Josh. Fuck you. No, fuck you. I'm flipping you right now. Fuck Drake and Josh. You icon. No, I don't like. Okay, you know what? I hate every single fucking one of those Nickelodeon live action shows. Not a single one of them is good. Not one of them. Fuck iCarly. Fuck uh, Drake and Josh. Fuck uh, uh, Hannah Montana. Fuck all that shit. Not a single one of them, dude. You're off the meds. Yeah, man, I'm going crazy right now. I'm going gorilla mode. I'm riding Twit longer. Not even Good Burger. Even the sweet... Especially the sweet life of Zack and Cody. All of them. Not a single exception. Okay, maybe the Amanda show was alright. But the rest of them... I, I like the Amanda show because it's like the, 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 the fucking... The lobster is in the courtroom. General idea of homosexuality and want to kill you for being gay. Yeah, so pretty serious. That sounds so made up. It's not even funny. You already rejected me. George now, Lopez show me. only the She's opening song. Up there on the way. Why the hell would Nicole go out of her way to help anyone but herself? It doesn't make any sense. Because if you die, the school would indict me as homeschool. By the way, yeah. You know what that means? It means I actually watched it, and I'm not. I'm not some fucking sixteen-year-old zoomer like you, famed Ultra Fox, jumping on the stolen valor of shows you never watched. The cause of the hate crime. You really gotta get out of here. Why wouldn't I just call the police? So they can show up 10 minutes after you're dead? Okay, where's the camera? There's no fucking camera! No MTV, no Ashton Kutcher, no... The guy from Drumline, come on! What do we have to do to prove we're not making this up? How should I know? I don't know, just anything she wouldn't do to pull off a prank? Uh, fine. Kiss me. Oh, easy. Not you, herpes fully loaded. Whoa! I mean, Nicole has to kiss me. Why me? I thought you were mad at her. Oh, I am. I hate her. Nicole, you're a cold, corrupt, Herpes selfish, fully loaded. Bitch. Jesus Christ, that one was whore. rough. I wouldn't be surprised if you like killing animals. 
Haven't tried. There's literally, I heard the line herpes fully loaded and I immediately thought of one specific person in Discord. Who it is, I'll never tell. Winky face. You don't even get mad at the assumption of that. You're severely twisted, evil, manipulative, and in general, just a heartless bitch. Doesn't mean I don't want you every waking moment of my sad Fuck. fucking life. Excuse me? You show every sign of an abuser and I don't give a shit. You're the kind of girl who'd choke me goodnight. The kind of girl who'd walk in on me cutting and take the razor blade and do it for me. I don't want a girlfriend to marry. I want a girlfriend who helps me plan my own suicide. What You're the right fuck? Girl, and I need you back. <laughs> Bitch, you need me. <laughs> yeah, I agree. She her love for you. Are you going to kiss her now? No way. Fuck this bitch. Why? She stole my excuse. I don't kiss depression posers. You are so petty. How no, that, she no she's standing up for what she believes is right. Is final. We're here to save you right now. Shame that you hate being a homophobe more than I hate dying. Even if you're telling the truth, I don't care. You know what I want. Nicole, we lost five minutes doing this and she hasn't moved one inch from her house. Uh, what if we took you to the Super 8 and I kiss you in the lobby? The lobby? What am I, worthless? Do you want to hear yes? I'll get my shoes. No time, get in the car. Barefoot kiss in the Super 8. Remember how being nice lands you in a hostage front? I remember that from the first well, game, yes. Well, being blamed for inciting a hate crime lands you in hostage relationships. So, after her house burned down, it went from everyone in school hating me to everyone in school threatening to kill me. And I only had one option out. I've had to date Ari for the last two months so far, so they wouldn't think it was my fault. And I gotta keep this up for another six and hope she doesn't figure the charade out before graduation. She's really, 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 really fucking annoying, too. Do you wanna watch Heroes? No, I don't wanna watch fucking Heroes. Heroes sucks. Word. Jekka's the only person who's in on it, and every day... See, there's homophobia here, but them burning our house down for being gay doesn't prove anything, okay? Obama's literally the president now. If a plane crashes, does that make 99.9% .9 of the rest of airplanes unsafe? Yeah, that's what I thought. If it's so bad, she can move to Brooklyn, or wherever annoying people live after they graduate. All right, going back to the reality television thing. Guess what? I can say it because you know who I am. You know what my name is. Say my fucking name, chat. Say it. It's Kyle. Kyle XY. I don't got the belly button. So I, I've, I'm literally a character from one of those stupid fucking shows. So I get... I. I love Kyle XY. No, you literally nobody likes Kyle XY, dude. There is not a single fucking person who not ironically likes Kyle XY. Not one. Okay. This is 911 with an SMS update on your service request. The approximate wait time for your police officer arrival is in one hour. Please find a safe location until your first responder arrives to assist you with your arson hate crime. Thank you and have a nice day. To no longer receive these messages, reply stop. All texts from 911 are subject to a 25 cent service charge. Thought it was pronounced Kyle She? What? What? It's called. See, that's the thing. That's what. Dude, so now you know I'm genuine, Sifoni. I don't know the difference between slop A and slop B. I'm sorry. You know, forgive me. Go watch the Jersey Shore or something and, and, and listen to Blink-183. Alright, we need to find a different route. We did both of those. I don't think we did fuck drawing. Let's, oh, oh, no, hold on. I, I, yeah, we have to try let... See, fuck! See... I was trying to be straight, and you guys called me out on it. I was trying to avoid this one, but I guess I have to. I have to gay bait and try lesbianism before college. Do you want me to? Y yeah. How badly? Extremely. No pressure, but I might cut if you say no. Where do you cut? On my upper thigh, so my parents don't see. Damn, that's actually kind of hot. It is? Yeah, because you look too normal to cut, so it's like a fun surprise. Are you messing with me? Yeah, she's no, like a kinder it's egg. like a cheerleader with a nipple piercing. Ooh, wild side. Really? Do you cut too? Duh, but it's not hot when I do it. It's like, look at that trashy hoe. I bet she cuts herself. 
I don't think you're trashy. I don't think I should have an F in gym. Shit happens, though. So, if you think I am hot, would you want to start dating? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try it. <gasps> really? Well, that's what you want to hear. really funny if I said no right now? Please don't do that to me. No, okay, I'll do it. You have a car to take us out? Yeah, my mom's old Camry, and only three of the windows are broken. Does it have power seats? No, they're just manual. Ugh. Oh, but I could borrow my dad's Lexus if it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Okay, I'll see you after school. I love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, okay. Wow. Why do you take me to a bookstore? It's like the library. But what is it called when you enter a bookstore and you really have to shit? Like, the Japanese made a word for it. I get that so bad, dude. Like, it's 100% a real thing. What? Okay, people think I'm fucking... I'm just... I'm going schizo. I used to know... Okay. Book, store, need to shit. That is not a thing. Hold on. It's called the Mariko Aoki phenomenon. And it means the sudden urge some people feel to empty their bowels when in a bookstore. We are not kidding. Imagine you've been walking the aisles of your favorite bookstore for an hour... Letting your gaze gaily hop from one spine to the next? You smell the ink in the paper? Yeah, I have to shit now. When he said gaily hop from one spine to the next, like, my, my bowels rumbled. I like how every, literally, like, every time, like, that's not real, Tolomeo. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Always right. Never taking L's. All I do is W. Call me George. But all the books are new. Do I look like a bitch who reads? Not even Harry oh, Potter? No. It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read oh, here, too. You had to stop in the graphic novel section. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you're... Hold on. Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Th though, it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little different, like me. We are nothing like you. And why is that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on whippets and make out. Hey, that was completely on Yeah, they're being for. mean to this guy. Oh, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. She shouldn't act like it's wrong, though. Word. Oh, God. Shouldn't have helped him. I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. Oh, oh hell you yeah. You want to see it? No, we got to go by whippets. I never tried whippets. Do they taste bad? I wanted to see his YouTube channel. And then the counselor got so weird, he called my mom and told her I might have schizophrenia if I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour long fight over it. Right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I said don't call me that in public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it in private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. Boundaries? I didn't know you're dating a marriage counselor. What's up, queers? Who <laughs> <laughs> you guys were dating now? What are you, special or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was like you always looking for attention. <laughs> Room, who cares? No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Word. Dude, fuck Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. <laughs> Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. Word. Oh. Well, sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, you're gay. Eventful. Thanks for taking care of that. No problem. Hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? Yeah, sure. Anything. Okay. Okay. Why aren't you going? You won't kiss me on the cheek first? Oh, my God. Okay. I'll be right back. Ugh. Disgusting. What? Are you straight again? No. I have dollar store foundation on my lips now. Ugh. This could double as baby formula in Pakistan. Oh, Jeez, shit. Or a girlfriend. And thank so, you, Sukin, so for the 83 month resub. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. The exposure. That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated. How you been, dude? Fucked up, right? Did she do something? Good to wrong? see you. She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Me too. Awkward? How? Okay, so she was in my room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, "Oh my god, I'm sorry, I look, but you're so sexy. You're so sexy. I'm so lucky to have you. Like, bitch, fuck off." 
I've seen her with guys before. I don't know why she's acting like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with girls. It's like a higher echelon. But if she's so gay, is that true? why was she even with guys in the first place? Because hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing on earth. Even if a girl's gay, she's gonna try it at least once or nine times. Is that Wait, true so too? First time you're curious. Second time you're bored. And ninth time you're just trying to keep the lights on. And All I right. just want to see how cool it is that you guys are so open about this, right? Usually yeah. lurk these days, generally busy, once, gotcha, totally it's all good. Lesbianism is just so, Hope so it's good, busy. bold. Have you thought about, like, going full time with it? You mean, like, gay married? Yeah. What? Fuck that, then I wouldn't have a rich husband. Isn't there more to a relationship than money, though? Maybe? I see you guys ride around in that beat-up Camry, and it's cute, but I'd never cuff a broke bitch. Can you believe her? Wow. Yeah, these by curious hoes, fuck them. By the way, did you wanna- Hold on, I'm replying to something. Okay. Are you done? No, shut up, hold on. Nicole, I, I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck up, okay? Maybe quit the box die, it's fucking your brain up. <gasps> oh, shit. I, um... Hey, listen, uh... I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. Oh. What? But I was totally the in the wrong. You had every right to say that. Yeah. Well, as long as you're sorry. You dated Nicole, who was a lot bitch? like this? I know I'm a dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I love you. I think I'm starting to love you, too. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. You guys see the new Smallville? Dude, Smallville's for straight people. Who watches that shit? You were straight three weeks ago. Yeah, and I didn't watch it then, either. Guess it's just universally bad. I saw a couple episodes once. It was okay. Was anyone asking me? Wait. I think I'm learning. Didn't that... Oh, oh. Doja Cat made a song called Bottom Bitch. Is this what that song was about? Yes, sir? Okay, cool. Um, no. Just checking. Anyway, I was gonna buy lunch today, but the lines are like so long. It's probably spicy chicken sandwich. It used day. to be funny. It'll get funny again. Don't worry. Me too. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's gonna take forever. Can we just. Don't you love me? <sighs> okay, I'll go. Cool. Yeah, and get me two if they have enough. They're big. You gonna eat two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. All right, you got all that? Be right back. You're forgetting something. Oh, right. Sorry. Mwah. Good girl. Don't make me ask again. I know. I love you. That's nice. This is getting real oh, weird. I know. What's her problem, right? No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Yeah, so you know how I wanted out of the relationship? What I thought would be more fun than breaking up was just seeing what I could get away with. Get away with what? Dude, like everything so far. I'll literally call her a bitch to her face and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh... It sounds like abuse. I get that. But honestly, if it is, abusing feels fucking awesome. Don't knock it till you try it. Huh. Yeah, but you know why you're getting away with it, right? Oh, let's hear this. Because you're her only option. So you're taking advantage of the fact the only lesbian in school knows there aren't any other lesbians to date here. She's basically stuck with whatever you want to put her through. She can break up anytime she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, so she breaks up to move on to who? The only girl willing to date her is her abusive ex-girlfriend. And? No offense, but you're like an evil fucking bitch. Being gay you know, is okay, hard. If you're so high and mighty about it, why don't you tell her everything you just told me? The dynamic, the game, everything. I don't know her like that. Awkward, ew. If only life was like TV, where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely know. You probably don't even watch anything good. You watch Smallville. You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Holy shit, don't say it that loud. Again, I apologize for the misunderstanding we had last time the two of you came in here. I would never want to be mistaken for an abuser. I can assure you that. Uh-huh. Abuser? Yes, anyway. Nicole! Dude, no, I see what they're doing. This guy is actually going to do, to convince he's going to he's terrible, but he's going to he's going to break her out of the abusive cycle. The worst person you know did something good. That's what they're gunning for here. It's been a while since we've chatted. What's going on with you? What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the hell do I say to that? 
A variety of things. You could speak about what you did over the weekend or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. Really? Tell me more. Um, he was in jail and then he wasn't in jail. So why was he in jail in the first place? He broke somebody's camera and now his new album's delayed. I'm not, I, I never new use album. the word redeem. We're not redeeming him. He's just going to do one good album? thing because no. it's funny. Why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. Uh, name one Kanye West song. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. What are some of your favorites? Dude, you're so fucking gay. Nicole, you know that word isn't... Like, like how earlier I had a... I said all of the, the, the TV, like the, the Nickelodeon shows were bad. And I said the Amanda show was good, but that didn't redeem me in your eyes. I did one good thing. I made one good point, but I'm still just like evil. Welcome on this campus. I'm gay now. I can say it. The F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Well, actually, I actually wanted to ask something. When you said we mistook you for an abuser. See, it's happening, yes, dude. go on. Like, how? Y you weren't violent or anything. I don't get it. Abuse can come in many forms. Not just violence or physical assault. It could be psychological, emotional, financial, anything that asserts control over another person. Like how you want to molest kids? I think they call it sexual abuse. Nicole, what did I say? Something about fucking kids? That's it! This session is over! I'm sorry, but you'll both have to come back at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't- Out! Finally, fuck. He's like the guy in every sitcom's pedophile episode. Every sitcom has a pedophile episode? Yeah, where the- All of the episodes are pedophile episodes if you're watching Nickelodeon shows. Kids learn a lesson or whatever. Oh, yeah. Nicole? What? Could I ask you something? No, sorry, I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, it wasn't about that. It was, uh... Why are you dating me? Why am I dating you? Why am I doing anything? I don't know. It's just, I was thinking about what the counselor said in there. Dude, your shirt doesn't see through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but I'm just. See, he about got through to her. Right now. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been for the last couple weeks. You mean awesome? Maybe awesome for you, which is good, but what he said about how abuse works, it, it kind of made me worried. So I'm abusing you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't think you mean to. When have I ever hit you or anything? You haven't, but the emotional abuse and how it controls... You're really putting weight into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. He knows about this stuff. I'm your girlfriend. I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How am I getting outclassed here? No, I always have to pay when we go to five guys. Okay, well, your dad drives a Lexus. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, how are you going to let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole, I've had these ideas for a while. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Tell me what? I don't think we should see each other anymore. Good for you. So I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? I'm sorry, Nicole. I got dumped before the counselor got reported. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. Well, I'm gonna go home and kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> is dust off? Damn it! Whippets? I never tried dust off. Really? Why is that surprising? You've tried everything else when a guy offers. Why would I flirt with a guy to get a free hit of dust off? You can get the whole thing at a store for like three dollars. Only three dollars? Yeah, have you ever gone to a Staples? Oh, Staples? What, are you too high school musical to walk into a Staples now? No, every time I go in the one near school, the manager always flirts with me. He's like, let's find you a new computer, sweetie. What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? With his hand on my ass? Okay, a little late on that detail. You don't complain when the guy at Paxson does it. Because the guy at Paxson can get me something I actually want? I'm not going to make out with a manager for a free pencil case. Are you saying you Miss made Staples? out with Nah, fuck Paxson? Staples. You're gay, right? Don't ask, don't tell. Fuck bitch. Office not Depot, me. too. More. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. I'm over it. Are you sure? Didn't you, like, 
Try killing yourself over it? Honestly, not really. Like, I got in the tub, caught a little, when the water Why the chairs nice suck? And and, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I get that. Oh shit, she's coming over here. What? Why? Hey, Nicole. Put it off his... We got people kind of going to out to bat for Office Depot. I'm just saying shit. Don't worry too much you about haven't it. showed up to the group depression counseling in a while. Oh, no. Yeah, I sort of oh, no. Figured it would be awkward and everything. Uh-oh. Kind of like this. Sorry, I know. I just worry a lot. Uh, are you trying to get back together again? I don't get it. Yeah, uh... That's not exactly an option for me anymore. Hey, Ari... What's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up here. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Um, Nicole, this is my boyfriend, Hunter. We've been dating for a couple weeks now. Hey. What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about Staples. The store? Long story. Ari, I gotta get back, but your tray is at the table for you. He's the oh, guy who works so at Staples. Sweet. Thank you, Snookums. Who the fuck says Snookums? What was that? Oh. Sorry, what I said was, I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? Are you thinking about Staples again? No, like what the fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. I love how they talk, how they laugh, how they use moisturizer, how they do makeup. I love how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, how they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand and how it feels when they kiss you back. Dating you helped me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like, even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. And so the month we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? I realized that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> you bullied a gay girl. <laughs> she's not straight now. She's just going to be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. Are you oh my seriously God. not seeing how bad this is? How bad what is? You bullying a gay girl into being straight? I didn't bully her. I was just abusive while dating her. What's the difference? One's homophobic, the other's just regular bad. So you get how bad this is then? Bitch, you watch Smallville. Do you get how bad that is? That's not gonna work this time, Nicole. What the fuck is this? Why do you even care? Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy. Holy shit. No, explain to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. Because usually you do it to men? I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? You didn't care when it was the other bitch well, who was Christian. Like a idea. Fuck her. You should have said nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Do you ever feel guilty for just wondering if you should feel guilty? She poured her heart out again and again over how she felt about me, but it's like, isn't she better off? Like, I told her it's hot she cuts herself, and I wasn't lying, but am I really the one here? Going by Jekka's bitch morality, abusing her was a good thing. Figured it out sooner than later, right? But then you gotta ask, would you rather be alone, or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real questions that plague society. I wonder if it's like that for the other physically bisexual mentally gay girls talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for him they're both worried about what girls are thinking both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back they experience the same dating dynamics and yet they will never bond over it because the guy will say well if you're sad and lonely i'm here and she'll go i'm actually more gay than bi and then he's like all right bitch fuck you then guess you don't know how it <laughs> i'm not saying i've seen it but it's totally possible do I have a moral with this? Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. You kind of lost me like a few sentences ago. Fuck this bullshit. This game is awesome. What do you mean? You're a fucking bitch. Every time I miss you, I remind myself exclusively for the sex and I can pay for that. So, bitch, you're not priceless, not even close. P.S. Call me for friends with benefits. Sorry, high as fuck right now. Damn. 
Okay. We have to go all the way back, I think. I don't even fucking remember what we were doing at this point. Oh. I don't think we, we riled up a potential uh, stalker. You know, Jeffrey, don't tell anyone, but I actually think it's kind of cool that you did that. Art class? We did art you class, do? though, didn't we? we? Yeah. We, we did the drawings and stuff. About it, but I've totally been there before. What, what do you mean? I literally do the same thing, but at home. I just didn't think anyone else would be that kinky. Maybe splitting. Wait, I don't remember. While you're playing a video game, too? Obvi. Like okay, the I'll do the other path. Nowadays. Yeah, what game? After this. Oh, um, Crash Bandicoot 5. She's lying. I don't think there's a fifth one of that. Yeah, sorry. I meant, um, Crash Bandicoot 1. He has they the outfit? One, right? Dude, Crash one. That's a classic. straight up, you guys are hating. He's swagging out of his mind. Look at him, dude. He's He's got confidence wearing that shit in public. You're just haters. You all need, like, fancy fucking clothes to get, like, a fraction of his power. Wow, we're in the presence of a master gamer. Did I mention I had a thing for master gamers? A thing? What Zelda's normie? That? It wasn't normie when this game took place. Uh, what I mean is, you want to come over to my house and play Jack and Daxter sometime? I, I would never uh, wear cargo shorts, Yonster. I've never really done that with a girl before. But cargo shorts. Oh, 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 oh. Would you do <laughs> that? I want you to watch me while I do it. What's this all about? Jeffrey, we went over how to control oh. these patterns. I'm just so... Uh, take me, Miss Lynn. I'll do anything for your sweet relief. Stop it. Right now. Wow, Miss Lynn, that's pretty embarrassing. We'll get out of your way for this one. Good luck with the Master Gamer. Damn. Have you heard anything from the principal since yesterday? Nah, I think her hands were more than full with Jeffrey. I thought I need to say way more to get him going. He's really got a problem. I didn't even know why you'd subject yourself to that. We got out, didn't we? Yeah, I guess, but playing with some weird kid like that? He's gonna, like, go home and think about you when he's master gaming. Dude, we're in high <laughs> school. Master he could gaming. be covered in spaghetti sauce. They're still gonna think about us when they jerk off. No way, that often. Are we on Team Nick? Bitch, Zoe101's a good show. Is that true? Is that true? Nope, man, not even these Nickelodeon heads like Zoe 101. All right. Hey, Emily. What's up? Do you guys think about us when they, you know, do it? I've gotten texts when they think about me doing it. Oh, I got that once. It's like, yeah, thanks. I wonder how I'd feel about that if I really liked the guy. Well, no, if Johnny Depp did it, I'd be like, tell me more, but it's never Johnny Depp. It's always some guy who looks like a Travis. If this happens, what the so much, fuck is wrong with Travis's? Is? You're kind of too preppy for it, honestly. Yeah, we're more trashy, so guys think we'll be into it. I wonder what being trashy's like. Uh oh. You could pierce your tongue and find out. By the way, where are you headed, Nicole? Okay, we've done all of this. Then let's do let's do the the art class one. Hold on. I could have sworn when we did this, I actually drew. Do running from the car? Well, I'm going backwards. You didn't do fuck drawing? Okay, let's do fuck drawing. Bitch, you do that shit. <laughs> Excuse me? Dude, we're seniors. I'm not drawing during one of my sleeping classes. I'm sorry, but you're in art, not a sleeping class. Is this an elective? Well, yes. So what What's are you going to do about it? Fail you for your lack of participation. Oh, yeah, and the elective that doesn't stop me from graduating. That'll really show me. Yeah, actually, why the hell are any of us drawing? <laughs> for the easy GPA. What would you draw in this class? You some bullshit picture about your feelings. They'd rather see an A in an easy class than a B in a hard class. I don't want to be in fucking any class. We had to do 12 years of this shit. You're going to volunteer you big for more of it? Thank you, Big Animal Titties, for the two-year resub. I appreciate it. You have a real it. attitude problem. You know that, Nicole? You have a teaching a real class problem. 
Go work at Starbucks with your little apron. Damn. <laughs> Let's see how the principal deals with your abundance of comebacks. On my comeback, I wipe it off the face, bitch. Nicole, we're not even a week in and you're getting sent to the principal. New record, don't be jealous. You're on your final warning, Nicole. Final what? warning? This is the first time I was sent here. I've decided to roll over your warnings from last year. That's bullshit. You made a habit out of coming here. It's hard to forget over the summer. You don't do that with anyone else. Yes, but anyone else doesn't seem to deliberately disrupt the class as much as you do. What, am I supposed to accidentally call my teacher a bitch? You're supposed to follow the class and not insult faculty. No shit. Then why do you continue to not do that? Because that's boring. So your life here is a game to you? No, Candyland's a game. This shit's torture. What's up? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kyle. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you. If the current curriculum isn't working for you, we could always have you transferred into a different program here. I swear to God, if you put me in special ed, I will bully all of those kids into killing themselves. What the Nicole, fuck? don't be ludicrous. They're special, Miss Lynn. One little push, and you'll have to make a really awkward Damn. phone call. I wasn't implying special ed, Nicole. We have alternative learning programs for students who feel they can't quite get along. Really now? I wouldn't look at She's it as lying. A My birthday is actually uh, April 17th. The classes you're in now are a lot more pleasant. We'll see about that. Again, final warning. I just don't understand why we can't upload anime to YouTube anymore. <laughs> a lot of the time, there's no other way to watch the original Japanese version with English subtitles. Uh-huh. Besides, Thank you, Nako Kurakawa, for the 21 gift subs. Thank you for giving Mouse MN, Zef17, JLFW, Splashstar, Saki, Cactorm, Jimmy Viscardi, Gen236, Jump is Koi, Vase, Spike Striker, Stray But Not Lost, Homebrand91, Double Bubble, Energy Peachy, 910, Taco 5553, Valley Ivis, Slot Baker, King the God Slayer, Japanese name, and Sauce Boss is up. Thanks, dog. Toes now 21. Yeah, man. Uh, what can I say, dude? Started streaming when I was, uh, fucking, how, how old would I have been when I was, like, eight years ago? Fucking, God, like, uh, 13? Yeah. Streaming since I was 13, 21 now. Feeling, feeling ripped. Feeling shredded. Jack 3D. I can't even stomach the American version. They just change so much. It's not a faithful adaptation, so YouTube is the only way we can watch the true Word. original version. Why do you think I know what any of the shit you're talking about is? Well, it's sort of been a big deal in the online communities. The Digital Millennium Copyright he Act. He really Have sounds like it? like an actual Will you anime shut the person. Fuck up? Well, hey, you're going to <laughs> Not going to lie, dude, it's accurate. I know how to tie shoes. Slip-ons are just quicker is all. Quicker is all. You sound like a cartoon character arguing age of consent laws. But what's wrong about sounding like Damn. a cartoon? Cartoons are my favorite, second to anime. Weren't you talking about how much you want a girlfriend yesterday? Yes, and I still want one. And you plan on this hypothetical girlfriend touching your penis? Well, I don't want to rush things, but one day, yes. Okay, let me help you out. Approaching girls in your Velcro shoes with the current events of YouTube anime will not make her want to fuck That's you. factually who, incorrect. Who said I was trying to do that with you? Just a talk between friends. What's going on, Roberts? About you in that way. Really? Yeah, not at all. Not even a little? N no. Wow, that's a shame. Why? Because I wanted to give you a hand job after lunch, but if you don't think about me that way... Wait, I mean, well, I could reconsider my feelings if you felt that way. You are so fucking pathetic. I hope you kill yourself while your mom watches. Wow. a bit of profanity over here. Is everything all right? Oh, I, I don't know. You're not going to write me up, are you? I'm on my last warning. That depends. Jeffrey, what's going on here? N nothing Nicole was actually helping me out with some life advice. Well, all right. Back to work on your lab. What's going on, Samurai? Don't worry, Nicole. Usually you just ignore me. But I understand you were trying to be extra mean today, so I'd better myself. No, I was extra mean to get written up, so I don't have to take these shitty fucking classes anymore. Oh, well, if you're ever feeling like you need an escape, the manga club's doing a... Just stop there. Hold on, you told him kill yourself while your mom watches? It's a little yeah. mean. That's really good. I know, right? And that didn't get you written up? 
Yeah, the teacher wasn't there when I said it, so the response was lukewarm. You're really going for these remedial classes, huh? Is that what they're called? Yeah, but it's for major fuck-ups. I'm not sure you want to be there every day. What, stupid Mr. kids? Mr. Berlinay, the no, best teacher? It seems so. straight after graduation. It's like the worst of the worst. Every day is Saturday school, but more eventful. I know it's going to be rougher, but I'm just tired of these lame-ass teachers who won't leave me alone about anything. You think the other teachers are just going to let you do whatever you want? If I just want to sleep in class, then by default, yes. A collection of the worst kids in school means distractions for me. But you still can't find your way there. Tragic. Well, hold on. What's your textbook there? It's for government. Why? Can I borrow that real quick? Sure. I'll be right back. What's, what's gonna happen? What the fuck? This should do it. Why'd you ask what subject it is if you were just gonna throw it out a window? Huh. I don't know. All right, what the hell's the matter with you? Acting out, felt alone. Do I look like a therapist to you? Nicole, we've been trying to take a more understanding disciplinary approach lately. Tell me what's wrong. Because you're disappointing us here. Wait, are you not going to write me up? It's the no child left behind act sort of thing. I don't want to escalate anything if we can resolve this through a dialogue. So, why would you feel the need to break What the away fuck is this? Yeah, it's the class of 09, the best visual novel ever made. Nicole, is What's there going a hostility on, GK? towards How government been? class? Are you really not going to write you me up? Thank you, Smug, for 15 months. I appreciate question, it. What's wrong with government? Oh, uh, God. Because our government hates Our women. government hates Excuse all of us. Excuse me? The government hates women, dude. We can't get abortions or anything. Oh, I see. A political extremist, huh? Using violence to spread your message? If you want to call it that. The dictionary calls that terrorism, young lady. Is, is this the, the path where she's going to join ISIS? Years, if you haven't noticed. Are you connecting this to 9-11? It is. Sick. Straight to the principal. Come with me. Inshallah, Habibi. Wait, am I at lunch alone now? Join the club, Jekka. I can sit with you if you want. No, fuck up. Damn. You really don't waste any time, do you? Guess not. So I'm out of regular school now, right? He accused you of acts of terrorism, Nicole. That's a bigger punishment than remedial classes. What? How's throwing a book terrorism? You threw a book through a window for a political message. And did he not explain the message? Nicole, I'd rather not get into your diatribe on the Communist Manifesto. Communist? That's what Mr. Colby informed me of. I didn't even know what the fuck communism is. Neither does 99% of no, America. Is it like for people who go on the internet too much? I have no clue. Well, if not for communism, why did you break the window with a government textbook? Because the government hates women. I don't even That's what know I told them. So if anything, it was feminism, not communism. That's this when you make a community in like the woods, right? And you all jack off together, See, I think. See, he's fucking insane. He wants to rape women and force them to keep the baby. Total psycho. Just despicable. Right there with you. So are you writing me up or? Women's rights are no reason to write any student up. You're very brave, What? Nicole. Now I'll be having a word with your gym team. Someone's you actually but siding I with broke me? A window. Isn't that delinquent behavior? You had your reasons, behavior. but this is an intricate conversation we'll need to have later. But what if I just did it for fun? Like, no terrorism or feminism or anything? Well, that would be different, now wouldn't it? Okay, then I made the feminism shit up. Just give me the regular trouble. You're not getting sent to remedial classes. No, seriously, I hate women. Nice try, Nicole. I I'm not messing around. All women are good for is sucking dick and watching Desperate Housewives. Out of my office. Wow. Good news, Nicole. Very good day today. Did the mean lady at Marshall's transfer? Even better. I got a new job. Mom, you get eight That's not true, Joelle. You've Where got a mean you a support. You're going to be 18 soon, and when that happens, the well dries up just a bit. Also, it's a reason to get out of the house. Is daytime drinking at P.F. Chang's not getting out of the house? Will you be serious? I am. Well, I got a job. Is P.F. Chang's good? I've never been. Is that a good restaurant? Would you recommend P.F. Chang's? Wow, that's a that's a wall of no's. Holy shit. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I like shitty franchise restaurants. Okay, P.F. Chang's or Chili's? Which one's better between those two? Okay, that's a lot of chilies. God damn. Chilies is microwave shit. It's not even close. No chilies, so I can only go with that. Chang's, but you will pay more. Chilies has alcohol. 
Well, they're talking about day drinking at P.F. Chang's. They don't have alcohol? Man, I want to go to Chili's now. I've been catering for that little kosher deli in Falls Church. Rossler's? Yeah, Rossler's Deli. I'll be prepping the sandwich trays. It's not the most prestigious, but I think there's value in working amongst the common man. Okay, cool. Why would you work at a kosher deli? I thought you hated Jewish people. Nicole, I do not hate Jewish people. You said my third stepdad only got a good settlement because the courts <laughs> won't let the Holocaust go. We all say brash things when we're upset. Let's not read into it. I won't feed Christ. into your negativity and let it ruin my moment of progress. Oh, what book is that from? Again, happy He's thoughts. He's in the corner. So he I'm is. School today. I got in trouble and they transferred me to remedial classes. What? I know. Took them long enough. No, what the fuck is the matter with you? I need remediation. My grades and behavior are apparently Game is like watching not an hour of gore? You go to school oh, every it's day. way longer than an hour just by showing up. I feel like gore is less anymore. traumatizing. You just show up and get a C. You actually have to do shit now. It sucks. Excuses, excuses. Oh, weren't you supposed to be happy or something? <sighs> I'm gonna go up to my room and read up on how to fold the pastrami. You better find a way out of those remedial classes. You better find a real fucking job, bitch. Dang. Jacko is so freaking out mean. over nothing. These kids aren't that tough. I'm surprised this is its hey, own route. Remedial English too? Wait, just English? I thought all my classes would be here. No, nah, they only have it for math and English. So I still have to go to art class? If you need extra time here, they'll let you skip electives. Guess I'll have to take it. So did you get put here for some bullshit reason like the rest of us? You could say that. Why are you here? Just some bullshit with Mr. Horvitz, that sheeny shit-faced fucking fairy. I wish the Holocaust happened. <laughs> what was that last part? I said I wish the Holocaust <coughs> happened. I think you need remedial history. I'm pretty sure the Holocaust did happen. <laughs> There's a gnome in the oh, corner. Well, Dude, well, he's laughing at me. He's sitting, there, he's sitting there looking at me. These remedial <laughs> All right, time Ooh! is up. I want to see you all in your assignments. Oh, man. I want to see you what, in a The game, I wasn't bitch. laughing at the game. This is oh, fucking numb, names. dude. He won't leave me alone. Are we finished? Oh, she didn't say shit. I see we have a new student. Who the Welcome fuck is this? English. My name is Ms. Ames. What shall we call you? Uh, fiance. <laughs> okay, I'll just look it up during attendance. Can we listen to our iPods? Listen to what? Does it matter? If you're listening in class, it should serve to benefit the course in some way. Would Wheezy benefit the course? Yeah, and what about Kanye? Are these rappers? No, they're accountants. Come on, we'll just do one earbud. While I'm sure this music is catchy for all of you, she's racist. It serves little in terms of lyrical substance. Yeah, yeah, Not she's racist. For English. Then who can we listen to? How do you feel about the Oh, nah, things? fuck this. You're such a fucking white mom, it's not even funny. I'm sorry? Dodge caravan, bitch. <laughs> yeah, so we can't listen to rap or anything? I never said that. You just need to choose something with meaningful lyrical content. What do you think about Tupac? I think he's dead. Yeah, think he's dead. He could be hiding in Ecuador for all we know. His music? He's whatever. Yeah, he's okay, I guess. Okay? Socially conscious music is just okay? The lyrical content of Tupac was such an important submission of modern poetry by the African-American community. You wouldn't say any of that shit unless the Washington Post did an article True. on it. Yeah, do you have Tupac on cassette or something? Irrelevant. No, no, that, what, the, no, that's 100%. She needs, she needs that one rapper that she likes so when people call her a racist she can say oh tupac was a poet i was actually expecting her to say tupac uh to, to really fucking drive the joke home but. to my point but i say all of that as a lead-in to your next essay dude why the fuck do we have to write i just want to watch fight videos an essay on the state of modern poetry it needs to be four pages double spaced and feature a variety of citations of proper modern poetry we don't read proper modern poetry. That is and the most pyroman thing you've said in months, pyroman 15. What about our music? Poetic merit seldom exists with these modern rappers. The misogyny alone is sickening. Disagree. What misogyny? A variety of things I'd rather not repeat. Are you bad at pronouncing the slang? I might too, it's okay. Why is lunch at like 10.30? It's remedial lunch. They gotta keep us away from the other kids or we'll cause trouble or some bullshit. Remedial Tyler, lunch, holy shit. was that shit. a negative remark? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even negative. How's calling some bullshit negative, huh? Do you recall our chat last lunch about the energy in which we charge our language with? 
Why don't you come with me for a refresher? Hey, talking. Talking's for gay people. <laughs> hey, can I sit with you? Why? The kids at the other table keep throwing ketchup packets at me. You're not covered in ketchup, though. They don't know you have to open them first. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you like remedial English? My God. Because it's whatever. My mom was really pissed, though. Yeah? What about your dad? My dog killed himself. Wow, dramatic much? Oh, no, he killed himself last year. Fuck. You want to trade dads? <laughs> What's wrong with your dad? Literally everything. He's so up his own ass all the time. I'll be happy about anything, and he'll go, what about your grades? Like, go away. He sounds like a weekend dad. He is a weekend dad. Every week, I hope he dies so I don't have to see his ass on Saturday. That's a good dynamic. So do you guys actually do the essays here? Yeah, and remedial you have to or they transfer you to a hood school. Dude, that's such bullshit. I wouldn't worry. They're not expecting a good paper. It's remedial, right? I guess, but like modern poetry? How do I even write half a page on modern poetry? Every paper here is just zoning out to the last minute. By the way, you want to pop C's with me? Triple C's? No, bitch. Quadruple C's. How many you got? Like a ton. I stole a bunch from Rite Aid yesterday. They weren't behind the counter? Yeah, you get far away enough from the beltway, they don't care at all. No, if only I had a car. So, you want to do them with me? Paper and modern Maybe poetry sounds like fucking hell. It seems like you yeah, could like bullshit your way through it, it pretty bitch, easily, though. This way, quickly. Ugh, how do I reach these kids? How do I show them there's more out there? I hate her so much. They really picked the right teacher for punishment. Oh my god, I can't even go back there. What, are you gonna skip? Do you wanna? But if we don't do the paper, don't they send us to some hood school or whatever? Dude, it's just one class. It's not like we I don't believe you, Cifferoni. Well, where do you wanna go? I don't know. Out? Around? I got a prescription to pick up. We could go do that. Do that as in go there, or do that as in abuse the prescription? No, you can't do that with Sarah Quell. It's not a fun high. Oh. So what's Seroquel for? It's like an antipsychotic. It's like an antipsychotic or it's an antipsychotic? I don't know. It just makes you sleepy. My mom forced me to get it after I slashed her tires. Uh-oh. Cool. Yeah. So she's so, crazy. Go Why can't you just go yourself? I'm not going to skip alone. That's like a step above reading at lunch alone. Just ask some other psycho remedial kid. No, so I imagine Genitox? No, not really. Cool. Are you hitting on me? What? No, I got a boyfriend. But do you actually love him? Yeah. No. I love that my parents hate him. Close enough. But seriously, come on, let's go. Okay, so this is an unexpected choice. What do you think we should do, guys? Is it toxic to Zelda t-shirt weed? I wouldn't agree, but I think it's closer than, than Emily. Two? I really don't want to go back either. See? But I don't know. You already know what you're getting if you go back there. Some white bitch with wholesome bumper stickers. And a sun damaged poster telling you you're out. Sarah cool to a lot of my dementia so patients. You're going to be giving that to me attitude. one day. Yeah, so in like fuck three that years. Bitch. Fuck that petition writing Prius driving bitch. Okay, but if we don't go back to class, where should we hang out then? I don't know. I have a car. Total so play the game before. I played the first what one, not this one. 98 Saturn. You said that like a Saturn's badass or something. It's the two-door. Oh, shit. Yeah, but all the AC vents are chipped because we kept using them as bottles. Who the fuck it's does high. that? You're like Avril Lavigne if she never got famous. I know, right? All right, let's go. Cool. But first, we got to stop by my locker. Yeah, sure. What for? I need Adderall to stop at stop signs. <laughs> Why does he have to be right in front of my locker? Yo, yo, hey, you guys hang out. Oh, dude, too? Crispin, can we kill this fucker? specifically here, or are you just some annoying free spirit? Well, if skipping is free spirited, doesn't that make you guys free spirited too? It's, it's not a bad thing. When girls are free spirited, it's actually cute. Yeah, when men do it, it's like, fuck off, go die in a war. Exactly. So if you don't have any business here, go to Iraq <laughs> and leave us alone. Actually, I kind of, okay, okay. I think I might like her as a sidekick more than more than Emily. Or uh, not Emily, sorry, uh, Jekka. I might have some business here. Business like what? Business like... Although Jack is pretty like good, too. It. Jesus Christ. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, but not everybody buys good shit. Okay, what do you got? How much? A quarter for 180. Jack is a god as fuck is off. Is it laced with gold? I know. You're gonna see. You're gonna... Some, some of you are gonna be changing your tune by the time this route's great. over, you I think. You better turn 180 and walk away, gringo. Ringo. My boyfriend's an MS-13. I have the pass. 
Okay, so what? 170. Literally. How about one? It took five X? seconds. I'm open to trades. What you got? You're in an X, right? I could be, but why is your X shiny and red? Is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, it blends in with the necklace. Is red a Mardi Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? Take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. <laughs> That wasn't even 20 minutes. Now I can finally open my locker. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, I got it. That was really good. You were really good. The Mardi Gras save was awesome. I was surprised you didn't fuck it up. When I try that with Jekka, it takes her a second. And then they'd know something's up. Yeah, exactly. We're really good at fucking with people. I told you, no. dude. Just wait till we get to the mall. God, this isn't even that much weed. You want to roll some? No, marijuana's a baby drug. You can't even die smoking it. Okay, we'll just sell it. Thank you, Responicus, for 68 months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you. Small. Yeah, did you see the homicidal slut shirt with a gun on it? The one in Spencer's? Yeah, that was awesome. What about those panties with Kurt Cobain's suicide note on them? Those were so hard. Bad person similar? Yeah, that's Maybe literally what it is. Speed. Described oh, as a VN for Cole? people who are sociopaths. Like me. Why is Jeffrey here? You know his name? We're going to get this guy to no, kill himself. I just a nerd shirt. Jeffrey, why aren't you at school? It's 3.30. School's been over. Wow. Time is, like, automatic in here. Well, Jeffrey, since you're out and about and everything, you trying to get faded? Faded? Uh, are you gonna throw bleach on me again? No, no. What she means is, like, are you looking to blaze right now? Blaze. Like, Blaziken the Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> she could choose a Pokemon. What the fuck Dude, is Blaziken? It's so Blaziken's a newer Pokemon. <laughs> You're up to date on all the Pokemon? Is it everybody? They're only up to 493 now. How much head do you get an hour? Can the two of you just speak English? I was expecting the Sonic really character too, honestly. Push. Wait, I know what that means. Are you guys trying to sell me drugs? Dude, shut the fuck up. Don't make us stab you with an eyeliner pencil. Nice try, but I think my time and money are spent better elsewhere. I don't. Let's just hope the both of you learn how to pay attention in health class. I'll see you never. I Not 493 Pokemon so online. This game's total How bullshit. How can you shit when you can't even tie your shoes? Yeah. Did that seem out of character for him? You seen him with a blunt before? No, not that. He's never been that dismissive with a girl before. I've literally told him to kill himself, and he'll still try to be friends. Oh, me too. He just likes female attention. But if he's turning ours down, that means... Sorry I'm late. Got a little caught up. What it's the okay. fuck? What do you want to do next? Oh my god. He actually found a human... All right, all right. A female <sighs> willing to listen to him. What the fuck is I'm this? I'm not happy for him. After the way he just talked to us, me neither. Are we going to do something about it? I think you already know. Yeah. By the way, did I mention the YouTube anime copyright controversy? You did, actually. It's okay, though. Oh, sorry. It's just a big deal. A lot of people have been talking he doesn't about need, it. They don't even need I to ruin mind. it. Do you want to hang out after school again tomorrow? Tomorrow? I guess so. That'd be good. In, like, a date sort of way? Yeah, I'd like that. We have a lot in common, and you're really nice. Well, a girlfriend. What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Um. Oh, look at this. Is this your next jump off, Jeffrey? Um, okay? What's going on? Oh, he didn't tell you? Then again, he didn't tell us either. Yeah, Jeffrey loves telling girls they're the only one. Then he blocks your number after you're left with herpes. Fuck the herpes. You got me pregnant, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Is true? You told me you're a virgin, Jeffrey. You <laughs> just never existed to you. But they're making all this up. I don't understand. I am a virgin. Would a virgin say there's 493 Pokemon <laughs> going down on me? 493? You told me that exact Pokemon number yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> on me? No, I don't even know that. Not only will he cheat on you, he's also really Christian. Yeah, he'll tell you he's pro-life wall finishing. Oh no! You're not believing him, are you? I, I need a Holy minute. Shit. I need you to pay for my treatment, and you better pay for this baby, Jeffrey. <laughs> I gotta go. What the, Karen? No, come back. I feel wow better. Yeah, I don't even feel like selling this quad anymore. We can just go back and steal all that stuff. Drop me off after, though. Yeah, okay. That was fucked up, dude. Christian, yeah, of course yeah, it is. Productive. Why does Skittles taste better when they're stolen? Dopamine rush. 
I thought Seroquel stopped that. Nicole, where have you been all night? I don't know, are you a cop now? And who's this? Should I go? Nah, you can hang out. We were at the mall, Mom. So I'm supposed to believe you were just at the mall all night? The fuck you mean all night? We were there for like, what, two, three hours? Yeah, two and a half, like the sitcom. It's one in the morning. Damn, we hung out with that guy that long. What guy? Nobody. What guy, Nicole? Mom, don't even worry about it. You're gonna freak out. Tell me! Oh my god. Tell me or your friend has to go home! Ultimatum. You really wanna know? Yes, what guy was this? The crackhead in front of the mall we sold weed to! Where did you even get- Ugh, you're so stupid! Oh, so I guess you hate homeless people too? No! Dealing drugs in public, dealing drugs in general, just how can you be so idiotic? Uh, it was actually kind of smart. Excuse me? Bitch, you better fix your fucking tone with me before I slash your tires. Really? We sold to a crackhead, because what would a crackhead want with weed? Cops would never expect that shit. It's genius. Yeah, why don't you shut the fuck up, Mom? How about I call the police? Your plan's just so bulletproof, you shouldn't worry. Oh, shit. Go the fuck ahead, bitch. They'll side with us anyway, because we're cute and you're cool when you stop. I told you. Uh, this bitch is way better than Jack. So why don't you go to your room, pour your little wine, put on Grey's Anatomy, and shut the fuck up. I, I can't believe you! <laughs> God, that felt good. Wish I could say that to my mom. Why don't you? She'd probably cut me out of the will. Yeah, that's a... Huh. But hanging out with you, this was easily, like, the best day of my life. Shutting your mom down was just the cherry on top. Yeah, you're cool. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, can I spend the night here? I guess. My mom's too busy crying to say no now. Awesome. Where's your bathroom? There's one downstairs. Cool. I'm just gonna flush my Seroquel. All of it? Yeah, I'm just done with it, period. Uh-oh. Oh. Why? Because today was such a just good day. All the stuff we did today, how I ripped your mom to shreds, that's the real me. That is the real unfiltered me. So fuck this med shit. I don't want my mom controlling me anymore, and yours shouldn't either. Yeah, I got you. That's cool. Besides, I want to take a Percocet to fall asleep, and perks do not mix with Seroquel. I think we're in for a bumpy what do we ride. Do this paper, dude. There's got to be a way to get out of doing this. Do you find these this? games? This one was recommended to me by uh Miss Ames. What is it? By me Nick and Pasco. Nicole were wondering if we could pair together for our essay. We were? Pair together? Yeah, like we make it an oral presentation for class. We'll make flashcards at everything. An oral presentation on the state of modern poetry? Isn't poetry all about the spoken word? Hmm. I'll allow it. But just know I'll have a higher Best level of... Best game ever made? You think together. so? No, that's fine. Thanks. Since when are teachers okay with switching the whole assignment? It's remedial. They just want to see it done. Something you two would like to share with the rest of the class? Like what? Actually, could we be excused to the restroom? Since when do you ask? Well, I just had an anxiety flashback to when Hillary Clinton lost to Obama <laughs> last summer. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, we don't care what color he was. It's still misogynistic. Understandable. Take all the time you need. Yeah. Well, that was spontaneous. What? How you switch the assignment? No, not that. Spontaneous? Oh, yeah. It means like... Are you trying to talk down to me? What? No, it's just a word. They had it in the Cat in the Hat live-action movie. Who the fuck watched the that? Dakota Fanning. Oh, no, you're right. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. But if you were talking down to me, I'd smack the shit out of you. I'd make you bleed. Good to know. But anyway, I wanted to switch to a presentation because I've had a pretty big idea for that class, but no one to do it with. Until now, obviously. Exactly. You're down for anything, even if it crosses. Hold on. I wat head er every night to fall asleep. What are you trying to say? Seen that movie hundreds of times. Oh my god. Just the line. Bitch, what line? Uh, thank you, exactly. she, for 58 Ms. months. I appreciate it. She's a little bitch in her perfect little world, and I want to ruin that for her. Oh, yeah, totally. What do you want to do? So, I've had this plan for a while, actually, but, um, sorry, it's really wild. Let me think how to word this. No, take your time. It doesn't smell that bad in here for once. Right? Yeah, uh, fuck, I need a cigarette to think. There's always somebody in here. Oh, Ari, do you have a cigarette? 
I don't smoke. Of course. What's your problem? Do I look like I want to be asked? Calm down. You hear this bitch, Nicole? Yeah, she can't tell you what to do. Okay, what the fuck is this? Can you stoners act normal for once? Stoner? What is it, 1990? Show us your purity ring, Jonas sister. Show me the guy in his 30s you're banging this bitch. Jonas no. sister. You're really cute, Ari. Shut up. No, seriously. Your eyeliner is always sharp. Your lip gloss matches your hair. You're actually really pretty. Thanks. That's why I want to look you in the face when I stab you. Okay, I'm out of here. I knew that bitch was soft. Yeah, she's weird. What was the idea, by the way? <sighs> I still need that cigarette. Jekka has a ton. She's not in remedial, though. You want to ditch and go to regular lunch? Not like we do anything in class, anyway. <laughs> Always the same table. What are you guys doing here? Hanging out. Do you have any cigarettes? Uh, are you guys skipping remedial? Are you at lunch alone? No, Kelly just wanted to get water. You guys are gonna go to school jail if they catch you. Well, they won't catch us, right? Emily's gonna kill shut, Jekka. Right? Nicole. No, no, Emily, she's cool. Oh, oh, cool. So, yeah, can I borrow a cigarette? Uh, if I have one in my locker. And yours is by the science rooms, right? Yeah. Sweet. Don't get up, I got it. Wait, you don't even know the conversation. Sith. Don't worry, I'll get in there. Isn't she great? Nicole, what are you doing with that girl? Just yesterday, triple C's in Alina Park. No, why are you hanging out with her? Oh, dude, don't be a bitch over this. I'm allowed to make new friends, okay? No, I'm not jealous. She is fucking insane, Nicole. I think she's pretty level-headed. Psych ward visits, choked a girl in class, set her ex-boyfriend's car on fire. Yeah, but that makes her fun. Besides, you're a hypocrite because you buy scripts off her all the time. Buying her Adderall isn't the same as hanging out with her. That bitch is going to get weirdly attached to you and snap as soon as you get tired of her. Well, I'm not tired of her now, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Were you guys just talking to Emily? Sort of. I hate her. She literally choked me in gym and didn't even get expelled. See? But hold on. But why'd she choke <gasps> you? Because I said she wasn't as pretty as Fergie. That's so a no fucking... A girl can... That... That is a fucking insult, though. That's fucked up, dude. That's like saying a man isn't as pretty as, like, fucking Danny DeVito. Th those are fighting words. Fucked up, dude. All right, I'm going to let Sif out and get some drinks. I'll be right back.
that sure is a lot of messages deleted. Have you guys been behaving? Yes, I'm not sure you have been. You don't look like you're behaving to me. All right, let's get back to it. Confident. Confident? I was passed out on the floor for like two minutes. Bitch, that sounds like a you problem. That's true. By the way, where's your mom been? Uh, she hasn't been here since you yelled at her. I think she's afraid of you. She better be. Oh, yeah? For real? I don't like how she talks to you, Nicole. You're actually, like, really cool and smart, and you should be treated as such. Chris been dead? I don't think wow. so, unfortunately. That's, uh... What's wrong? Guys tell me that all the time, and I just say, I know. But now that a girl's saying it, I forgot how to take an actual compliment. We're friends. Don't worry about it. Are you trying to have sex with me? Not really. Yeah, I have no idea how to process this. Does your mom ever compliment you? No. Not really. she can't appreciate what she has. And seriously? Like, seriously, Nicole? If I ever see her talk like that to you again, I will rip her beating heart out and hand it to you. Okay, chat, chat, help me out here. This is what they... This is what the anime people are always talking about, right? It's, uh... Da, 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 da. Sun Deer. Right? This is Sun Deer, right? No, this is Yandir. Okay, what's the difference between a Sun Deer and a Yandir? Sun Deer is just a bitch. Yandir is crazy. How old are you? A 31. I don't know all this Zoomer shit, I'm sorry. Yandir is crazy, bitch. Sun Deer is a dick, that's nice. Yandir is crazy, but is actually a dick. Okay. Regular deer are annoying. Are you always post fucking videos of deer uh, defacing your property? So yeah. Deer culture is millennial. Some deer is brat, and yan deer will drink your blood. Okay. Are there other types of deers? I'm older than. Of course you know this. Your name is Umi Kami. I bet you know the full fucking script of Boku no Pico de Gallo, too. Don't shame me for not knowing that. Deer, deer? What's a deer, deer? Only normie, normies only know the popular ones. Deer squared, coo deer, reindeer. Yeah, deer, sweet on the outside, acts crazy on the inside. Okay. Deer, deer is basic bitch. Okay, give me an actual description of Deer Deer. Normie. Okay, so you're you're if you're not like an axe murderer, you're just boring. Okay, got it. Got it. It's just a girly girl, right? Asked for a load, and you guys gave him a bukkake. Well, that's what I'm here for, right? Deer equals soft, so all these archetypes are some kind of gentle, soft mix. Okay, cool. You on a silver platter. And you don't want to have sex with me? No. Are you sure? No, come on. If you saw someone talking down to me, what would you do? Oh, uh, damn. Killing my mom is a tough act to follow. Okay, like, if you saw my boyfriend cheating, what would you do? Kill that bitch. Oh my god, please. He's such an asshole now. Things are rocky with your gang member boyfriend? No way. Yeah, he fucked all his shit up on heroin. The sex isn't even good anymore. Yeah, competing with heroin may as well kill yourself. Oh, that reminds me. The idea for the oral presentation? Oh god, that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, no, don't worry. I got all the supplies ready. It's just flashcards, right? Not exactly. So you know how I want to, like, screw up Miss Where Evans? is this going? Yeah, sure. And we don't even really, like, have a plan ever high school, right? Like, honestly. Oh, no. No, you're right. So I thought I'd be really bad Suicide bomb? Real state of modern poetry. Real suffering. Not some bumper sticker bullshit. Dude, I'm down for it. What do we do? Okay. We go to the front of class, say a few words, and then we'll swallow this pill mixture I made and... A mixture of what? So I started saving all my Seroquel instead of flushing it, and then I mixed it with stuff my boyfriend gave me, and then I bought Percocet off Kyler. Well, hold up. You're gonna OD in front of the class? We're gonna OD, cause death is fucking poetry. And when Miss Ames sees that, she's gonna shut her- Would you guys OD with me at Tolocon in front of me, Sokoko? 
Just think how fucked me Sokoko would be after we all did it together. It'd be really funny. Come on. All right, all right, all right. No? Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm glad so many of you said no. I'm glad you all have a love for life as I do. Not funny, if you say so. Yes, if it was Kool-Aid, I'm a scientist, so someone has to document this. The guy that would watch, when cops ask, I'd say I'm legally blind. Not in front of me, so that's mean. You're right. Her ass up about poetry for the rest of her life. Uh, are you sure about that? Are you backing out? Well, it's just a little... We this never agreed. This is a gang here, Nicole. Don't make me jump your ass out. No, no, I'm cool. Shut the fuck up! I said I'm cool with it. No, not you. I was hearing voices again. Voices where? Like, in my head. They always tell me I'm wrong about something. The psychiatrists might disagree, but have you considered listening to the voices in your head? Whatever. Look, are you down or what? Totally. Anything you want. Awesome. You're awesome. I love you, Nicole. Like, I really fucking love you. If you told me to kill someone, I'd do it. I wouldn't tell the cops shit. What if I told you to not kill someone? Like yourself? <laughs> Nicole, I know you're worried, but we're gonna do it together. It's gonna be okay. We got a big day tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. We sure do. Okay. All right, I like where this is going. You're not gonna kiss me goodnight. Oh my God. Mwah. Thanks. I love you. Yeah. Are you gonna say it back? Okay, now I do wanna kill myself. <laughs> Airy was and better? Is why no. Modern poetry is written. Done. You certainly are. Is that a threat? Hey, Miss Ames. Sorry we're late. Not actually, though. Late again. What's the excuse this time? I tried ironing my shirt with a hair straightener, and it caught on fire. Witness. Putting out a tiny fire wouldn't make you ten minutes late, would it? What? Well, no, it was a really cute shirt, so I cried for, like, nine minutes. I find that hard to believe. No, it was actually such a good shirt. Yeah, it had a Jack the Ripper crime scene photo and said, all work is sex work under it. I meant the crying uh, front of the class. Do you this think that's a good shirt? Better be good. It will be. Uh, yeah. Well, go ahead when you're ready. No, can't really see it, but I think I, I like the see idea. Why you need one. Does public speaking make you nervous, Nicole? No, there's just a few things higher on that list. Okay, let's just start. Go on. So, me and Nicole have been looking at modern poetry and made one main conclusion. Yeah, a real big one. When you really get down to it, any living poet is a whole ass poser. <laughs> and why is that? Poetry is about the spoken word, about storytelling, right? But movies have stories, too. Yeah, last I checked. And movies suck when you see the ending coming a mile away. Why should it be I, different? I'm following so else? far. Yeah, and poetry sucks, too, because... Because a writer's life is reflected in their work, and if their life is boring and stupid, how can we expect their work to be any better? We can't. The poetry is linked to the poet. Good. Most people's lives are boring. Lots of waiting around. Lots of doing nothing. But when does it suddenly get interesting? When do people care about you more than any other point in your life? When you die? <laughs> exactly. Especially when it's unexpected. And especially when it's voluntary. Like suicide. And so I noticed a link. Basically all the best writers kill themselves. Hunter S. Thompson, Ernest Hemingway. Hemingway, whatever. It's pretty obvious to me, modern poetry sucks now. It's ruined. <gasps> ruined by what? Therapy, self-help books, psych meds. It's like you're not allowed to be sad anymore. Yeah, what about the pursuit of unhappiness? Happy people aren't interesting. They don't tell good stories. They'll Hello, Roy Fire God. Science Fair Project or some other shit you don't care about. Language. So get rid of the good poets? Get rid of the people who keep you guessing? You're left with no good modern poetry. So all poets and storytellers need to be suicidal? It's not about what they need to be, it's what they are. Their life is their work. Then what's the thesis? The what? The central message of your essay? All great writers have suicidal thoughts. Because you can't have a good story knowing there's going to be a happy ending. That's very nice, girls. C+. That's it. 
decent length, but a little inaccurate and rather melodramatic. Oh, then how many poems have you published? Excuse me? You graded us low because we implied you're a shitty writer. Just say it. That's enough, Emily. Sorry your world's too cozy for anyone to care about what you make. This is entirely baseless. Have a seat. You're soft, bitch. Face it. Yeah, honestly. Truly deep thoughts come at a much older age than 17. Whatever. You'd probably call Bob Dylan deep. What's really deep is voting, volunteering in your community. <laughs> you never vote anyone other than yourself. You did not say that. Lip service, ho. You're the type of bitch to fuck one black dude, then call yourself light skinned. Okay, I'm I think you need to be written up. Go ahead, write me up. No one's gonna want to read it. You're teenagers. You think you're any deeper than any other adult in the world? Deeper than you, bitch. We're about that shit. And how's that? Watch us. You ready, Nicole? I'm not actually gonna do it, it's right? Honestly, super humbling when the trashiest girl you know. I did it. Choked out of her mind. Says the most thoughtful thing you've heard in years. I thought I was like deep and misunderstood and made the text and background all black on MySpace so it's like a blacked out profile. But no, I never planned a suicide pact. I never cut anywhere other than my wrists. She took her shirt off in front of me. Cuts all over her body. Had one of those angel wing shoulder blade tattoos. In the feathers, it said, proud mistake. I can't compete with that. What I'm trying to say is, you could skateboard, smoke cloves, get your tongue pierced. There's always going to be a hotter bitch than you. And you just got to accept that. I'm jealous of a girl who just killed herself. That's how fucked up I am. You might be wondering how I'm even telling you all this, even though we both followed through with it. Well, I cut her little pill concoction with crushed up... What a pussy! So, I passed out. I had a seizure, but it was just diluted enough to where I didn't die. Can't say the same for Emily, though. Okay, so I'm not sad about it, but at least I have the serotonin to not kill myself. What the fuck? That was not where I was expecting that one to go. Okay, so we have one more out to find. We're almost done. You won't see this because they make us turn our phones up. I just want to write this... For me, I'm glad we are dying together. It just feels right, and I can't think of anyone I would rather do it with. I may as well write this, too. I'm super fucking gay for you. Sorry I lied in the hallway and didn't tell you before we shared a bed and changed in front of each other. I don't know if that's rape or whatever, but if it is, sorry, lol. I could die fulfilled because dying together with another girl is a bigger commitment than some soft-ass bitch getting married to Jack, the construction worker, or some other boring white guy who can't pronounce... SHIT! SHIT! But yeah, if you pass out first, I'm going to try to fall over on you so it looks like we're cuddling. Less than three. Fuck. Beanie Seagal? Say it? I don't know how to... It's going to... It's going to be pronounced something fucking stupid. Get his ass? Whatever. I don't even know what the... Fuck that is. Sorry, I'm, I'm a boring what? But I'm not a construction worker, so I'm even worse. Kill the streamer? You can make all the fun. Okay, okay, but here's the difference, though, JFC. When I can't pronounce something, it's some name that's not even a real fucking word... It's, it's like giving someone the alternate spelling of Ladasha and expecting them to know what the fuck it is. It's impossible. It's literally impossible. It doesn't make sense under the constraints of being an American. All right? When you motherfuckers who are criticizing me on this criticize spelling, or, or not criticize, when you, when you criticize my spelling and you fuck something up, you literally can't even get the, for, like the right form of your. You say should of instead of should have. You non-ironically say, I took it for granted. Like we're at a fucking quarry. Go back to listening to Blink-184, Cifferoni. Ah, Who are you talking to? JFC. But I guess I hit Cifferoni's battle shit too, because she's piping up. Oh, I love it when there's collateral damage. Chad is, no, I'm not saying Chad is dumb. I'm saying the people giving me shit 
for for not uh not being able to pronounce that random name nobody cares about are are being hypocrites. I am dumb. Well, me too. It's okay. Loose or loose? That's so fucking weird, too. Alright, um... Come on! What? But we have a runner! Free! What the fuck? Ah. God damn it! Oh my god! Oh my god, no! Hell yeah! Fucking shot me! What the fuck is wrong with you? Maybe now you'll think twice about breaking the law. You shot five bullets, so she'll think twice next? Yeah, it could have been less, but I fired with my eyes closed. The little inside challenge down at the precinct. What are you? Why is this the best art in the entire game? You remind me of my wife a bit. I want to fucking kill my wife! Oh my god, what? Shut your mouth before I blow your fucking brains out on the tile floor! Oh no, please don't! I'm sorry. Now that's more like it. I'll call you girls an ambulance. One sec. Oh my god. But yeah, do you want to go to my party this Saturday? I don't know, it's just kind of tricky for me lately, like PTSD and everything. One of the guys from All Time Low might be there. I'm fucking All Time Low, I have therapy twice a day now. That's what a happened? lot. You don't remember the news two weeks ago? Oh, that was, um, no I don't. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, totally, just RSVP by Thursday so we know. What a fucking bitch. Hey. Oh my god, you're out? Yeah, they cleared me last week, but I didn't feel like going to school. You didn't feel like answering your texts either. I thought you were dying. Well, yeah, I was emotionally. I'm always dying emotionally. Yeah, I'm in therapy twice a day. Shit was wild. So what happened with your leg? Oh, yeah, so they said the bullet went deep into my thigh and almost hit an artery. But they got it out, right? The surgery went well? I mean, I'm walking as well as it could go. That is pretty good. What? I don't know. When they were putting me under, I was so afraid they were gonna like violate me or something. That, that's a fear, Nicole. dog. That's a fear of mine too. When I had to go to the dentist and they put me down, well, I, I'm not a dog. I'm not getting euthanized. When they put me under, I felt like they were gonna sit there and like fucking, I don't know, like squeeze the tip of my dick really hard or something. They're not gonna do that. Okay, well, that's what they said about teachers, parents, and police. So who the fuck can we trust anymore? I totally, aren't pretty. God. Don't you complain way, about being like five hundred pounds or some shit? My Shut dad the fuck heard up. They gave the cop paid leave or something. What the fuck? Being Why a are cop you always is piping up here, Jimbo? In the world. Really? Think about it. Here, you know There's what? Some loser I'm gonna with a give myself a happy birthday you, present. So you go out, and ben, shoot a teenager, you're fucking and annoying. Get the fuck out. That sounds kind of good, actually. You gonna join the academy? Why would I? I'll never be in a situation where my spouse doesn't want to fuck me because I'm a perfect 10 with a high libido. How many times a day you say you go to therapy? Hello, girls. Are we staying oh, out God. of trouble here? Whoa, what are you doing here? After our little skirmish at the mall, the is it actually my birthday? It is, Stale. Happy birthday. Pay my debt to the youth. So let's stay in school this time, huh? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Okay, bye, dude. Sure, but one more thing. If either one of you get in any trouble, I will not hesitate to fucking murder you. Have fun in school, you girls. Yeah, sure thing. No, don't worry, Cifroni. Nothing you say will be worse than the, the Sunday stream comment, but Chase Yojimbo, everything he says is annoying. Like, he's always piping up with some comment. I'm not... I got enough of that growing up with my mom. I don't need, like, another person in my chat acting like a, like a fucking cracked-out ha housewife who's passive-aggressive against everyone. <laughs> like, I don't got Dude, time that for that shot. shit. Calm down. He said he was gonna blow my brains out, Nicole. Oh my god, you're such a poser. What the fuck am I supposed to do? We can't all be sociopaths like you, Nicole. Yes, Walsy. You'll get there. So why are you here? Are you gonna skip again or what? Let's see. It seems like... It seems like there's no, no, no ending we can get here. I have to do the other one for the essay. Let's see. Oh, did I not do it? No, I did. We've got to do something evil with the essay. I kind of wanna, but I just. This can't should right be now. different. This I is. Told you the yeah, don't I think this will be good. They just need to be done. Yeah, but I want it to be good to me. What? So you care about school now? Never said that. Good to me, but bad for the teacher. Oh, so you're plotting? I'm plotting heavy. I want to write something that gets me the grade, but destroys her reputation. This sounds like way too much effort. How would you even do that? Everybody has biases. 
And when push comes to shove, those biases turn into major personality flaws. Are you trying to get Miss Ames fired? Maybe. And if I can't get her fired, I'm perfectly happy with showing her she's just another Democrat in a gated community. Double suicide's yeah, not evil enough? Well, well, they haven't gotten that far yet. Tupac. Does she like Tupac, or does she feel obligated to mention Tupac? Name it. Oh, Tupac, shit. Tupac yeah, she songs. Yeah, she always says it as a response to something. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to class. I need to do some research. Okay, well, I'm going to skip anyway. Do you want to hang out, though? Oh, no. You know, yeah. Come uh -oh. over after school. Seriously? Your mom's not going to bitch about it or anything? I mean, she will, but fuck her. Okay, yeah, so does it. this end I'll up being tonight. the same thing? You had to make this shit about poetry. Are we having trouble over here? These poetry books suck ass. Can I just say the state of modern poetry sucks ass? Remember, four pages. So, can I just copy and paste modern poetry sucks ass until it fills four pages? Are these books you gave us really all we're allowed to use? Unless you're able to find some contemporary works on your own. And that's other than the rap on your iPods. But what if it's meaningful rap? And what's the likelihood of that? You find a stanza about drug use and misogyny? There will be no papers on the meaning of hoes in this classroom. I think there Not really should fan, be. Huh? I won't lecture you on intellectually stimulating music, but I think it's necessary to not voluntarily degrade yourself. Uh-huh. So, what if the angle is on how rap is bad? I'm listening. I could do a paper She's on racist. this culture of rap and how it's so awful now. That would be a new one. You can try that. Just make sure to give it real effort, even if it might disagree with some of your stances. I'll try my best. Who knows? Studying some other opinion might change my mind. Finally reaching these kids. Re reaching what? Is this like a movie for you? Yeah, we need to be a Mexican or anything. You don't need to feel good about helping us. Back to work. Fuck. God damn it. <sighs> Today was hard, but still rewarding. What was? My day working at the deli? Oh, I wasn't asking, but all right. You don't want to hear what happened? I think I'm good. Nicole, just because I'm your mother doesn't mean you can take me for granted. Who said I was taking you for granted? Then talk with me like you would with anyone else. This is how I talk with anyone else. Somebody says boring shit and I let him know I'm not interested. You know, it's not surprising why you only have one friend at school. I have more than one friend. Oh yeah? Who? Emily. Who the fuck is Emily? Girl that goes to my school. I was She's expecting cool her to, and to way more fucking barge on drugs in. than I am. Really no. And you're not making this she's, up. She's right? gonna she's Mom, gonna I'm show not gonna up, right? Make up a person to look less lonely. Am I some guy on AOL with a model girlfriend? Alright, okay. What's her last name then? I don't know. I knew it. Mom, I'm not a cop who just asks for people's full names. Well, if she's real, why don't you invite her over? You wanna meet her? I'd love to. Cool, because she's coming over in five minutes. What? You said you want to meet her. How could you invite someone over? This place is a mess. Well, she's a mess too. It's a perfect match. Oh my God, every little comment will just come back to haunt me. Tell her she can't come. Too late. And I'm still in my work apron. Hey. Yeah, hey, let's head to my room. Nicole, you're not going to introduce us? Mom, do not fucking do this right now. What? I can't even know her name. Emily? Hello, Emily. It's nice to meet you. You are such a fucking bitch. Nicole, don't call me a bitch in front of your friends. I'm sure Emily doesn't call her mother a bitch. You can believe that. Excuse me? Okay, mom, so we gotta go to my room now. <laughs> well, hold on. I'd like to know some more about your friend. Emily, what do your parents do? Uh, my mom is like a nurse or something. A nurse practitioner? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and how about your father? He's a boardroom person for a nonprofit. It's called United Police Fund. Oh, I see them collecting donations at the mall sometimes. That's really interesting. Yeah, okay, so let's go. <laughs> Before you leave, I God, just I hate to the say way she it's talks. very nice to meet a friend of Nicole's with such an impressive background. You didn't even ask about her. I'd love to, but I need to take care of some things. I'll see you later. You never told me you were rich. Is that rich for real? God, now I look like an even trashier bitch. So are we going to your room? I kind of just want you to go home now. Okay, so it is you different. See Nick and Nora. Wait, see who? It's the new, like, romance movie with the guy from Superbad. They put McLovin in a romance movie? No, the other one. Who would watch a romance with that fat piece of shit? No, oh my oh, god. The other one. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I saw the preview for that. Yeah. So are you gonna see it? No, why would they make a romance starring ugly people? It's like different and free-spirited. Are we talking about me? No, Nick and Nora. What are you doing here? 
Nothing right now. You got any good shit on you? Jacko said you're in remedial classes. Yeah, what of it? Don't you have a different lunch from the rest of us? Are you skipping remedial? Snitch and I'll drown you in your dad's swimming pool. What the hell? Come on, Jekka, let's go. You can go. No, I meant go with me. Why the fuck would I go with you? Bye. I thought we were friends. I only sit with you so I don't sit at lunch alone like the weird kids. Damn, shit hurts. Fuck you guys. Whores. <laughs> Dude, how have you handled a week of Kelly? No, she's pretty entertaining. Entertaining like... Britney Spears in 1999 or like Britney Spears now? Oh, Britney Spears now for sure. All of her stories start with her and a guy who graduated three years ago. How did the end? Last weekend, she told me she went down on a guy during High School Musical 3. Is that the one in theaters right now? Yeah. That movie's for children. Why would she do it there? I don't know, but there was a baby crying two rows down while she did it. Was it Kelly's? Not yet. So why are you here? I need a little help with a paper. Since when the fuck do you care about turning in a good paper? Since I got an idea to fuck over a teacher with it, Miss Ames wants us to do a paper on modern poetry and hates rap music. So, you think she's racist? I don't follow. I know she's racist, and I want to write something where she shows High her High School whole Musical? Ass I remember that shit. Nicole, if you write about rap music being good, you're just gonna get an F, which won't prove shit because all your other papers get Fs. No, 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 no. I'm gonna write a paper that agrees with her. And if she agrees with it back, it's gonna get her fired. Yeah, but you're gonna write the racist paper she agrees with. I'm a kid, what do I know? Then how could I possibly help you with this? Do you wanna ask my dad about Katrina refugees? Well, no, so you read books and shit. Is there like a really racist book I could just plagiarize? Uh, I have the English version of Mein Kampf if you wanna borrow it. Why do you what? have the- <laughs> Why the fuck, fuck did she have that? For AP history. Bitch, you pop pills and fuck on the first date. Why are you in AP history? Cause maybe I wanna fuck on the third date one day. Literally for who? Ryan Sheckler, obviously. And he's not gonna marry some dumb blonde hoe, I know that. But a smart blonde hoe? That's where the alimony is. By the time I graduate, I'll know three different languages, so I'll be set to impress when I see him at the X Games. Who the Everyone fuck is Ryan? What was his name? Language. It is if you're good at it. Take the book. I don't know who she's talking about. I'm sure he's really hot though. Reading Mein Kampf alone at the diner. Skateboarder see, guy? Turn this into a conversation Skater? Starter. Gotcha. It's one of the blinks, I is he? I am acting in accordance with the will of the almighty creator by defending myself against the Jew. Okay, let's cross out Jew and replace that with rappers. What else? The ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of the Jew. Hip-hop. Artists. So, all right. If you could even. We're gonna ask. We're gonna ask the tough questions now. You know what I'm about to ask. I have never read a single solitary fucking word from that book. How many of you have? Call them. <laughs> <like that. laughs> so fucking easy. Nicole, I didn't know you were in AP history. Huh? No, I'm not in AP history. Then why are you reading Mein Kampf? I'm racist. <laughs> oh, all right. Man, Ari's cool about it. Holy shit. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? What the fuck do you want? What? No, nothing. Just saw you reading and was like, wow, she looks real smart like that. Is this like a usual thing for you? Reading in public? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So what you reading there? Mind Good night, Rick James. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. It's supposed to be really interesting, right? Not the uh -huh. route when, where he what was dead? What do you think dead? about it, like, specifically? I think it has, uh, like, really good themes and a story. Route was being too entertaining. Better like Crispin in here. Yeah. You can yeah. What's your favorite part? What's yours? Oh, uh, like the middle. Did you read it in English or German? Was it in German first or something? Yeah, it's the only German book America cares about. True. Oh, that means it's super good, then. I should recommend it to a friend, right? Right. So can I sit with you? Mein Kampf is the Nazi book. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> so can I sit with you? Why did he block Crispin? What the fuck, mind? Crispin? Come on, dude. Oh. Get it together, Crispin. Remedial class? Yeah. All I want to do is see what this bitch is saying about her infected snake bites. To be emo and unclean. Tragic. All right, settle down. Your papers were all interesting, to say the least. Yeah, because they're good as shit, right? Kyler, 
F. F? I, I turn it in and everything. Three paragraphs about how gay poetry is doesn't make for a comprehensive think piece. Do you agree with that? Piece, how do you fail a paper in remedial English? I didn't know we weren't allowed to tell the truth. You're dumber than the bitches on Next. Yeah, an MTV reality show hoes are really fucking dumb. Emily! D! Are you even supposed to call our grades out like this? Just so the class knows the bar they're setting. D in remedial? You're gonna end up on Next. And Nicole. Uh-huh. A. <gasps> A? A as in A or the loud at, or like the letter? Almost A plus, if anything. I was happily surprised with the gripping prose you provided on rap music. So like the letter. Really? You thought it was that good? It was excellent. The best paper I've ever received teaching these classes. The persuasive wording, direness of tone, as if you were a poetic politician wise beyond your years. What a dumb F, bitch. Right? Literally got an A. What are you, white? I've earned the title. It's actually perfect timing, because next week your principal is bringing a few members oh, of the school board to demonstrate why this program is still worth funding. With this paper, I think it'll be obvious remedial programs can still reach troubled students. What, you're gonna, like, read the paper aloud? Of course. An amateur written work like this deserves an audience. If it's okay with you, Nicole. Um, yeah, definitely. I think that is an amazing idea. Great. And I trust you'll all be here this Friday? Let's hope. Anyway, for today's lesson, slang. The death of Now, finally, English. something I can fucking agree with. Why are people saying Zaza? Why would they pick the cafeteria for this? It's freezing. Yeah, how many people could possibly be on the school board? What's the school board do anyway? Stupid shit, like making the lunch healthy and covering up sex scandals. At least with the scandals, someone enjoys themselves. Take a Zaza, it's weed. Up, everyone suffers. I wish you were in California, where the schools have food courts. Yeah, then it'd be too far for your mom to wander in. Well, go away when yeah. they legalize it, man. Wait, what? I saw your mom in the hall 20 minutes ago. Is she picking you up early? No. Wait, what the fuck? Did you Zaza? actually no, see my Zaza mom here? Zaza is pizza. I'm pretty sure it was if your mom. You, like, she was with a bunch of people, pizza too. Pizza squared wrong with her? is Why? weed. Uh, are you sure you're not Everybody knows that. Meds? No, Sarah Quill doesn't make you hallucinate during the day. I'm going to kill myself. Nicole. No, Mom, get the fuck out of here right now. What? I can't see my daughter when we get called out Why to her school. Why does she have the apron? Called by who? Your principal called us at Rossler's Kosher Deli to cater your little remedial presentation. I was so proud to hear a paper you did would be the main event. I've been excited to hear this all week. This is going to be great. You knew about for a week and didn't tell me? I thought it'd be Seracle a fun surprise. Seracle is nasty stuff. I can imagine if so it's an anti So instead of telling me so I could blackmail you to call in sick, you just want to swoop in and socially ruin me. Oh, you're so dramatic. I'm sure Emily wouldn't mind if her mother was here. I would actually choke her. Right this way, here's our star student. Hey, yo, oh, we need you with the sandwich tray. Looks like my boss needs me to set up. Good luck, sweetie. School board members, if you could just line around over there for our presentation. Yes. Before we get to the catering, we wanted to present just one of the works produced by this remedial program. Right. And as I've come to understand, the remedial classes are up for renewal at the end of this school year. A lot of talk has gone around asking, what's the point of helping these troublemaker students? And after hearing this paper? We think you'll see the progress that can still be made here. Nicole, would you like to read your paper to the board? That is okay. Well, I'd love to read it for you. Go ahead. Right, so this is Nicole's paper I'll be reading for all of you. When Nicole first came to us, she had a 1.1 GPA, several truancy That's really good, violations, right? and even more in-school suspensions. I'm all too familiar. Look at all these sexless marriages. At it's first, like she didn't want anything to do with language arts. But after we exposed her to the right literature again and again, she was inspired to write this incredibly like vital piece got it. on contemporary cool. music and poetry. This better not take forever. I got temple at three o'clock. <clears throat> As a teen, I've come to be disappointed with the ignorance of the broad What if they all agree? What, what if this doesn't backfire at all? Thank you, our noodle, for the 62 month resub. I appreciate it. classes make the people an easy victim for hip hop's campaign of lies. Little Wayne's domination in the state seems so assured that now not only can he call himself a rapper, but he ruthlessly admits his ultimate national and political designs. Huh. A section of his genre owns itself to be a foreign people, yet even here they lie. She lie. doesn't know what the word Zionist means! Oh no! 
<laughs> oh no! Oh my God! The national consciousness of the rapper finds its satisfaction in the creation of MTV. The rappers again slyly dupe the dumb. Politics are weird, like really fucking weird. Like everyone doubles down till they're eventually Hitler weird. Honestly, I just thought the school board would get her fired or something. Did not plan on the owner of a kosher deli listening in on it and calling the ADL afterward. Thanks for the heads up, mom. Everyone involved had to go to court. Everyone. I took the stand the like, fuck? I'm a kid, what do I know? And that didn't work so well. What worked better was calling the McDonald's hash browns latkes and saying uncircumcised men are disgusting, because they are. Then I was in the clear, and they went through all of Miss Ames' past, and this bitch was fucked up. In college, her thesis paper was about how interracial relationships were misogynistic against white women. You can't make this shit up. The school itself was a problem, too. It's, it's in the 2000s, Pinja. And Jews been, like, the number one insult for the last 10 years. I so think two, yeah, two, literally class of 09, it's 2009. Miss Ames is losing her teaching license, and me, I've never been more satisfied. Wow, so she wasn't very good. That was a good ending, kind of. Sorta? Video message, uh oh. <laughs> Wheelchair? Wheelchair escape from the hospital. Was I just faking? I'm not in the wheelchair anymore. Vulcan Raven and Sushi Fish 100, an empty perspective, a bipolar carp. Uh, there's a few people. If you're receiving this text, it means you were selected for the Rosslers Kosher Deli Sweepstakes, a chance to win your very own free catering at any event you would like. Events excluded from this offer are schools, political rallies, neo Nazi gatherings, comic book conventions, <laughs> KKK meetings. Book clubs discussing Mein Kampf and any other anti-Semitic events or assembly. We hope you understand. Good luck, contestant. And thank you, Pirate Idealist. Gifting a sub to Big Dump Farts. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. There's no hidden thing. It was the video we watched. Maybe there's more to it, but... Mm -hmm. Well... I think this this concludes uh, today's stream. I'm going to go eat a Slim Jim that I've had for over a day, which has got to be a new record. Goodbye.